in a nutshell. This is from Shadow Sunny, it's not from me, please. Quote him. I am quoting what Shadow Sunny wrote. Get to represent the people or even offending a circles in the diaspora. I know that some of you mean very well for what we are doing on the ground, especially our men on the front line. Nobody wants to hear that our men are hungry or that they are sick, they are not receiving the right treatment. Nobody likes that. But I want to warn all of us in the diaspora, please. Very, very important. Stop calling people who are on the front line. You must desist from contacting commanders on the ground from today. No more. Because it breeds insubordination and ill discipline, which we cannot afford right now. If there is any complaint, very soon a number is going to be released. The command of ESN flows from me to our high command, to our general on the ground who now gives instructions to the men in the field. We don't want a contamination of that chain of command. You may mean very well, no doubt. And all those who are in the business of doing videos, complaining to people in the diaspora, you must stop coughing. You must stop it immediately. We are not going to tolerate or allow that nonsense to continue. If you are an operative of ESN or a commander, I must also warn you, please, not to contact those abroad unless you are instructed to do so by your state commander. In every state, the state commander is found. What he says goes. In the fullness of time, if he's not doing it very well, we will know and we will seek to correct it. Stop speaking to those who are in the diaspora. The zoo can plan to go abroad to know where we are. You don't know. After talking to them, you compromise your position. It will be attacked already. Please, that nonsense must stop tonight. I don't want any meddling in the affairs of our men on the ground. All the funds being contributed is being discussed on the ground to meet our day to day challenges. You must understand that, please. Every ESN operative in every state is under the state commander. I don't care who you are. Even some non rangers, some special schools that we have, you are under the overall command of the state commander. Every ESN operative in every state is under the state commander who is under the overall general who in turn reports to the high command. Very, very important. Because the only thing we have to defeat our enemies is discipline. Any army that is disciplined always ends up winning. Very, very important. We understand this today. Discipline is key. And we don't want people who are abroad meddling in what we are doing. It is not good, please. Without, disi with, without discipline, we cannot defeat this monster. Remember that they have their agents in your governors and all the rest of them. You must understand that our governors are evil. And like those that sold our forefathers to the white men, they will do anything now to sell us to the full of the well, They there. have no conscience. Well, they have no soul. Well, I'm there. Uh, my name is Sili Mehmet Yusuf and one name is Sedek. Uh, many of you know that this instruction is very, very pivotal in the life of every freedom fighters. And that is why I think I will now make it a kind of national anthem that every day I come in here, I replay it so that for many of you that we claiming that they didn't hear it, you can now be able to know. So that we can now begin to differentiate those that are working for the restoration of Biafra and those that are using emotion to destroy things. Many of us have dabbling into issues they don't know nothing about because of emotion why some many of them do the, am i you know double into it knowing to destroy this man and that is why today we are going to bring in the discussion concerning you know the history of biafra from their own context they are not the best but at least they are conscious people to try to discuss issues a country, a name of a country cannot fall from heaven. A name of a country doesn't fall from heaven. It must emanate from either a historical event or a spoken war from somebody. The same way today, many of you have a street name after your names. Does not mean that you are the originator of that street, but because of the event that people decided, so, okay, let us name it. We have today places called names in our various communities. That's an origin. But people must come together to agree. So what we're going to watch today, or rather listening today, is a conversation between 
the great leader of this noble movement, Mazen Namdekano, and some solicitors, and at the same time, intelligent men from Biafra land, discussing whether Biafra is supposed to be a nation for the people of Biafra on how it came about from their own point of view. But at least they did it, they deem it fit to come together to ask themselves if this name, how does it come about before our eternal leader Ojuku started with it? We just only know Frank Opigo reminded us, but we want to know before he reminded us, what are we known for? A name is some name they come together and they form it. And I'm happy the reminder is also from a coastal region. I did mean from Igbo speaking Biafra, they will say they are dominating, they dominate everything they will bring. So this message today is for Idu, the Idu autopilot infiltrators that are still in our midst. And that today I will be very calm to speak with many of you because I know that many of you are here. Many of you are lost roads, and um, I have to be very calm to talk to you. But I sometimes I can't imagine it. I can't imagine it up to this extent. You are still wallowing in your own stupidity, and you want me to take you as human. I will try my best, but if I cannot control it, I have to I have to go by the way I used to because um, sometimes stupidity is a uh, is sometimes it's it destroy it disturb brain. A woman does one mad woman came from somewhere and said we are Idu. Some say, Yeah, yeah, we are Idu, just like many of you that did physics about um Archimedes principle, how he discovered this um um what did you call it? Um the law of um hi Archimedes, yes. Um, you know, he shouted Arioka, I think he was in the bathroom to definition of um, I think this is um uh, what is it? What is it? um um up trust yes up trust um that's by the way anyway that's by the way uh that is physics for you um people can discover things on their own but you need to ask them you need to ask them how they come about their discovery uh let me bring the let me bring the comment section so that i can be able to see people uh before we go into the matter of the day what i played for you now is the instruction he gave he gave an instruction Nobody should double into ESN, especially those in abroad. What we see today, can't we see your okay, Kenangwe? Uh, I'm talking to ESN. They reach out to me. They say they are hungry. They need pampas. Uh, they, they call me now. They say they are, they, are, they are lacking a lot. We need to make a contribution for them. How did you get in, in touch with them? How? That's a question many of you will answer when the time comes. I rather say the volume is low. The volume is low. Let me check from my screen yard whether it's low from here. Volume is low. Yes, people are saying it's low. Let me work whether it's from your own phone. You know, many phones, many of you are using the Biafra land sometimes. Let me check it from here whether it's whether it is um low from this side. Yeah, hello. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for that. I have um let me do something on, on it. Let me do something on it. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, all right. Umuchineke said the volume is slow. Matisala, you have to increase your volume. Um, I'm seeing somebody here. I said not yours, but okay, my voice. The word, the volume is okay from my location. Thank you, brother, for that confirmation. Uh, maybe it's okay. It's okay. All right. All right. It's okay. I have to speak a little bit audibly. Yes. The low is low in my two phones. Turn up as <laughs> your phone. Check on me in Pakistan. The volume is okay, our brother. Our brother, Biafran Freedom, please um, check your phone. It's okay. Let me continue without wasting more time. Let us go to the conversation between our leader and some um, some people today we are seeing that are still fighting. It's okay, our brother, my able coordinator, is okay. 
let me go straight to let me go straight to the conversation what we are doing today look at what we are doing today for those that don't know um in respect of you do you do syndrome you do autopilot syndrome are you here please you need to be here you need to be here because of um i didn't say that's something that is i, I have never condemned you do as a name i want to i want to make myself clear we are not stupid if you want us to be do you have to bring it to the table for us to discuss it number one secondly at this point in time we are the leader of this mass movement is nowhere to be found he's in dss custody biafra is the one biafra is the reason that brought him there you never consider that you brought out you do what what is going on in your mind is there is two things is either you are completely mad insane that you don't know what you are doing or you are purposely to distract the attention at the same time to frustrate him that thief in finland knows what he's doing and is the reason why i'm also here so that let's pay attention to this uh, that's why i said brief discussion of the history of biafra by mazen and other Igbo elites even though some of the voices you are going to hear today they are still talking rubbish that is to tell you the wickedness of a black man they can speak evil about you knowing fully well that what they are pursuing is a genuine cause but because of what they are not the leaders they are not among the leadership so they will try to frustrate you that is one thing with us but let's go uh let's go to that let me see if it's what i have here i have a lot in front of me okay let's start it from here if he has a contract in abuja he should tell us if he's um if he's on an errand for an Haji from the north he should tell us if vanguard newspaper is pursuing a campaign against the effectiveness that or the phenomenon that is radio biafra they should also be able to tell us and let's quickly um, i'm going here because a lot of things we have said that people need to get clarity on dr Gemma, i'll come to you in in a, in, in a second for, for, for summary this particular um, um piece was written in english circulated to the whole world possibly from lagos so we have audiences listening from all around the world so we have to be able to enlighten them please if i can start with you Barista, can, because the reason why we brought you back you are the let us start with the crux of the matter anyway this man is arguing. He claims he's an Igbo son, um, um, but very soon we'll be able to, 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 to get into it in detail. He is saying that there is nothing like the indigenous people of Biafra. In other words, this is an, he claims he's Igbo. That's, that's why I'm doubting if Vanguard got their story right. But he's saying that there isn't anything called indigenous people of Biafra. So, Biko, uh, in English and also in Igbo. Let them understand what Biafra is all about and the nationalities that come under Biafra and why that is the case. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Namdi. Um, this is a very important issue. Uh, many people have shying away uh, from this issue, but um, I think the time has come for us to discuss it very well. The rights of indigenous people, who are the indigenous people? And do they have rights? No, he's continuing. He, he, the man is saying that there is yeah. nothing like indigenous people of Biafra. Fine. Is that a fact? <clears throat> no, it's not. Now, the man, the man is ignorant of the facts of history. Now, before what Nigeria, he lives in Lagos. He, 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 he said he lives in Lagos. Now, so, I don't know now before from. Nigeria was formed, there were people living on the land. Now, the rights of indigenous people are guaranteed by the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, which was passed on the 13th of September 2007. So, the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People was passed on 13th September 2007. The laws of Nigeria, Cap 10, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 1990, which is the African Charter on Human and People's Rights Ratification and Enforcement Act, Cap 10, Laws of the Federation of, of Nigeria, 1990, also guarantees the rights of the people, the indigenous people, their rights to self-determination. Now, people try to misunderstand or they try to confuse themselves or argue against the rights of indigenous people to self-determination. These indigenous people are the people that had been living in that land before the nation came into being. I mean, before the Nigeria was formed, for instance. The Biafrans were there before Nigeria was formed. This is, the, this is where it gets confusing, please, Paris. Paris. The, the difficulty that some of these people are having is that they don't know that there is a relationship between 
the Ebos, the Ibibios, the Anans, the Ethics, the Doma people. Not a lot of people know that in Benue State that they have four market days, aka Ori, Afo, and Dongpo. People don't know that the Doma people, that they have four market days, which are um, basically no, Igbo market days. Idomas, Idomas are Igbos. Right. And like the dress, no, the, 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 the Idomas are Igbos. So, so like can you help me explain to this man yeah. that Biafra is the thread that holds now, all these people that share the same ancestry, the same heritage together? Now, he doesn't understand it. The, 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 in fact, the, the first map of Biafra produced by the, by the Portuguese was in 1492 mm -hmm. AD. 1492. From 1492 to 1729, you will see the map of Biafra on the ancient map of Africa. You will see the map of Biafra. Then it encompassed large areas, including what we know today as part of Cameroon, part of, um, yeah, uh, 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 part of Ethiopia, part of Gabon, mm -hmm. uh, Angola, part of, it enclosed a Cameroon, lot of yeah. goods. Uh, so, but over the years, the size began to dwindle. Now, as of today, the people that are identified as the, as, as the in descendants, descendants of the ancestors of Biafra land, today, the people that are boldly identified as descendants of, in, of the ancestors of Biafra land are the Igbos. The others have, through assimilation, through renunciation of their identity, have lost their identity. But all these people, they all have one common... They all have, they all all have the same... Up to today... You check their blood, have them DNA. Up basically. to today, some and uh, some descendants of the ancestors of the Afra land, up to today, uh, uh, can be found in Cameroon. They can be found in parts of Nigeria, like you mentioned, the Middle Belt, or some Western part, some Eastern part in majority, even some part of Ethiopia, different parts, even in Gabon. These are... And these are descendants of the ancestors of the Afra land. Some have been external, assimilated. External influence. Good. Some have been assimilated into other cultures or into other nations. The same way Fulani culture was absorbed within Hausa Good. culture, isn't but, it? But the Igbo still maintain their identity as descendants of the, of the ancestors of the Afra land. So the fact is that the law, the law guarantees your right. If you identify yourself as a people, of common ancestor, then you are indigenous people and you have right of existence. If the Igbos still maintain their indigenous identity as descendants of the ancestors of Biafra land, yes, then they have the right. They have the right. And what you're saying in effect is that there is something called indigenous people of Biafra, and these people are the Jaws, the Ethics, the Anans, the Bibios, the Domas, the Adnoma people, all, all, the, all, all of them. Yes. Even, even to an extent, even a uh, to a limited extent, which may even tell us. I, I think maybe what we you know, need to, in, to engage. You know, you know why I'm saying this? No, no, you know I'm saying why people, those who agree, because you have rights. Right. Yes, if you, you have right to denounce your, even your nationality. You can change your name, I can change my son. You can even change your nationality. You can even say you can renounce your citizenship. Understand every person has rights. People have rights. So if... The, these people you have mentioned their name, the Ejors, the Edomas, and so on. If they decide that they are not Biafra, then you can't force them. No, nobody can force them. But what Good. we're, but say we're saying that explain. Yeah, they explain this very this very thread that that binds people together. Because uh, please, um, if, I'll, if, I'll, I'll come back to you in, in a minute, Barrister. But doctor, can you then tell us why if the Ejors, the Ibibios, the Ethics, the Edomas are not and their Nyomas are not blood cousins of the Igbos. Why is it that the president is um, is um, a belly as it is? Did that name is it was he living in on it and they gave him that name? Or is that name was that name given to him in recognition of his heritage? Because this thing tends to happen all the time. When the Nzogu coup happened, for instance, Igbos we are we are slaughtered because Mzogu is an Igbo name, is that, is that correct? In fact, we stand to be corrected because the owner of them, um, we got, um, our, 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 our listeners are, are highly um, learned and into. The owner of this day newspaper will report it last week on, on Saturday is Ndoka uh, Obeguna, not actually a maker, so we, we, we do apologize for that. His name is Ndoka. But Ndoka, quite clearly, for goodness sake, is an Igbo name. For, how okay. can somebody with an Igbo name say he's not Igbo? Okay. It doesn't. It, 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 it strikes me as, as stupidity. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, Nande, it, it shouldn't um, strike you 
that way, just as uh, Barrens has said. Even if um, uh, my name is Yechukuna Edenba, and uh, for one reason or the other, I said, no, I am not Igbo, I'm not a Biafran. There's nothing anybody can do about it. But I will still, I can still retain my name and continue to answer my name, but will not identify myself to a particular nation. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, 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 right, yeah, Brad Kuma, there's something I saw one day, somebody in River State was answering an Igbo, Igbo name, he's an Igbo, Igbo man, well, he has Igbo name. So we were talking about this thing. He said, well, after all, some Igbos have English names. Yes, they are not English people. So he has Igbo name, but he's not Igbo. Yes, he has Igbo name, but he's not Igbo. Just like some Igbo, uh, they're not English. Uh, they're not English. Yeah, you know, but, uh, and, and, and to our listeners as well, nobody wants to identify with failure, I suppose. I think the fact that the, no. the Igbos lost the Japan war, I think nobody wants to identify yeah, with I them. Think that's the the yeah, that is so it. Even their cousins are running away because. It's very important that we, 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 we bring certain things to the knowledge of our listeners so they understand that the Nigeria they live in today, their closest relatives, their closest um, 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 cousins are the Bibios, for instance. The Bibio and the word Igbo, they have a lot in common. We'll go into that at a later date. The Okonko we have in Igbo land today is that it was directly derived from the ethics and the Bibios. So we have Obasi, which is um, um, God in heaven. Which they, have, they, they have the same, Abbas. you know, Obasi as well. Obas, we call Obasi. They call Abbas. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So it is the same thing. Why do people keep denying the obvious? Is it, I, I can't, for the lack of me, get my head around it. So we're not going to go into more because I have a lot to cover. But yeah. very, very briefly, I want to touch upon what the man also said. Or yes, what that's Vanguard what... reported. Vanguard right. is saying, why? Can't radio be afraid. We have a call coming in. Yeah, this is why can't radio be afraid. Uh, can, can we just take this call very briefly, please? Um, hello, this is Radio Biafra. Give us your name and where you're calling from, please. Yes, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Umo State, Nigeria. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, you're, you're, you're welcome to the program. Please go ahead. Tell us what is happening. What is what is happening on the ground? What is happening? Because people are saying that nothing seems to be going on in um, um in Biafra land at the moment, and everywhere is very quiet. What is the feeling like? Are the corpses coming back? Um, the issue is that Biafra Bir Bir London will try to the Biafra Bir London and we are happy for that because it shows that Biafra has come back to life. Um, for those who are reporting that uh, they are not carrying anything, we have to no, see us from the track on. We want to know if anything good to happen in this in, 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 in Biafra land. And like uh, the publication today, we read from one of the newspapers, they said that we should not need to celebrate Biafra land. What is wrong? We, we condemn that, well, that attitude, we condemn that publication. All we know that we, 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 we have having faith and we are all alive. The only people who are not the people that are not happy that the people are not back. So that happiness, that joy at home. So this, this man, this the Vanguard newspaper is making us understand that um, a lot of um, Igbo people who are living outside um, Igbo land, uh, are, some of these groups anyway, with links to Abuja and the contract in Lagos, that they're against the coming back of Radio Biafra. Is there any reason why that is the case? Uh, come on, they, say they, say what? they seem to be giving the impression that people are against the, the return of Radio Biafra. What are the masses thinking? Have you been out on the streets? What are people thinking? What are they saying about this rather um, um, poisonous publication they, in the Bangladesh? They, they, they don't know what they're saying. Anybody who said that, they're saying, know that they're, they're bought over by Nigeria to say what they're saying. People are happy. Go to marketplaces, everybody's happy. Go to bookstands, people are, are, are congratulating those who are working with the people that they've already done a compact to air. So, for that type of publication, I don't know who sponsored that kind of publication. Anything that's just all that's going to be in any of the Thank you very much for, for, for calling, and um, please um, keep doing the good work that you people are doing. Um, Radio Biafra, please spread the message to everyone. Radio Biafra is on air, not by 8 p.m. anymore, but by 9 o'clock. Mbahonyo will in week, she has a lot of anger on her lot of his week. In a traffic, they generally make noise for four, five, six, seven hours. When we can, you know, we're not passing on by four. When we can, you know, because they will not pass on the decision. Yeah, what? Yeah, because when you need, then yes, um, we have uh, to read in the now. I have us read this article this morning. Um, hold on there, hold on there. I will come back to that. Uh, it's a very long um, episode, but I'm going to come back to this. I will revisit it as time goes on. But what am I trying to let you know here? A lot of uh, individuals are trying to trying to destroy this struggle by coming with an analogy that Biafra is a Portuguese name. 
that uh, we cannot go with it. That is why they are not supporting Biafra, allegedly, which we know that is a lie. They just have an evidence to destroy what this man is doing. Um, the continent I am in here is called Austria. In German, it's called Österreich. They don't know where their name comes from. They have no problem with it. They said the name is unclear. The derivation of where the name comes from is up to today, unclear. But I have no problem. Provided they have agreed on it. There are no problem. It's only in a black nation. Why? Organ. Somebody will wake up in the midnight and tell you that he sees his spirit. That the spirit is said that the Biafra is a cause. That the Biafra is the reason why people have never gotten their freedom. Whereas you have never done anything before to, to fight for that freedom. Have you ever fought for freedom before? The answer is no. You just started. You are just starting. South Sudan fought for their own 30 good years. No, no retaliation. You only just started. You never even go to war. Ibo Holia spirit. Spirit Ibrahim. Now, let's go. Let us see. This is Austria. Uh, so that let me make sure that I put my record straight. This is the country where I live in. Um, let us just, I don't want to go far. I don't want to go far with this um, article. This place I will highlight is where I want you to put your eyes on. Look at it here. Though I will come to that. Just pay attention to here. This is where we put attention. But let's go. Uh, it says, Osterreich is derived from Old High German Osterreich. The term probably originates as vernacular. Now, vernacular. Vernacular translation of Latin name. Machia Orientalis. Which is, means Eastern Borderland. The Oster is related to Old High German. Oster which is Eastern, but its exact derivation is unclear. It's unclear. They don't know where the thing originated. It just is unclear. But I have no problem with it. They move on. Are they not one of the best countries now in the world? I'm a better now. i to come here. You do. They said I seen the spirit. Where are you from? From you do. Who do you say? No, spirit told me. Okay, and then I'm going to now. Now, she's doing everything to release mass in America, and of course, of Japan's in this case. Now, where you people are not getting things right is that if you believe that Biafra is a spirit, the spirit. He had a maybe he had more. Where are When somebody begin to speak. The language of the more, the more. You, you should be able to respect that. When somebody tells you the more, na Biafra restriction, the more. They supposedly, allegedly, claim to be a learned man. You are speaking with the whole people watching you. That's the the more. I know our leader used to use. He, used, he normally use that language. He use it, and he's doing. He's doing, he's doing things physical. Had he been there, he depended on them more spirit, spirit. There will nothing be like Eastern security at all. Where I want to know where this is do come from. Who told that woman? Before many of you start to back it up with him more. Him more. Man, I'm not a spirit, and we are going to read today. We are nowhere. If you are a pastor, here, please, you raise up your hand. I will bring you in. I want you to explain what you understand by that word, Chico Kigabia. How does it function? You know, sometimes what 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 creates darkness in the minds and the life of every black soul is because we are run away from debate. We shy away from the things we can confront because of the fear of uh, is a blasphemy. Don't talk it to no, it's, a, it's against the God. Though. Don't say it to who is God. And how does it function? We are going to know it today. From my own perspective. If you have your own, you can call in as a pastor. No, no, call, no, no I know they work like that. But we are going to know. Let me not rush it. Listen. When somebody begins to speak the language of Indian more, mm. you, you should be able to respect that. Okay. When somebody tells you the more, okay. when somebody tells you that what I am doing or what she is saying is something that was given to her, by the Whether moment. it is true or not. Or not. But for the fact that this Biafra struggle that you believe, you have to respect that. 
respect that. That is exactly what I'm doing because I am not ordinary. At all. I, I, I am not you. What I see, you don't see. So if you come <laughs> to join the Afro struggle with your canal mind, when we are discussing canal canal thing, you your mind. <laughs> but when we are discussing something of this, you just say, I'm sorry. Simon, no. <laughs> If you talk of people that have canal mind, the man all now looking at Nilika continue this talk because for me I have canal mind. <laughs> this guy is a buffoon. So he's telling many of you, if you know you have a canal mind, don't put mark when they are talking about the things of the African restoration. One day when I'm canal mind. So I want to do many of you that have spiritual mind, follow them in the spirit. Oh no, only spiritual power, and they, they are wiping our people away. Our people are the G shares them more. Many of them houses brought down. You know, Hannah Gram his spirit. It's a hard time we stop to distort to deceive our people. I gonna go on you show. Things function physical. Yeah, maybe him more. I know for um they can now can I mind. Talking of the spirit, you just stay aside and allow those who have. The wisdom who have the gift of hearing from the spiritual world, you know, to be the one that will be making comments. So I went on a comment session. I went on here now from the spirit. So I will know again we try and be afro in the spirit. So you should allow those that see the spirit to talk about the afro. I that religion and I am not Many of you don't understand me. As some material say, they talk about religion every time. And we are going to listen to it today. Can I have one that idiot? Uh, let us leave him. Uh, let's leave him. Uh, this is um, this is um, 16th of April or 16th of August, rather, but I will leave it there. Our leader, do you have anything to tell us here before I move on? Do you have anything? So reporting very sadly that the suicide plague in Nsoka is continuing. Young yes, people please. are beginning to take their lives, as we warned you earlier. The sooner Biafra comes, the better for everybody. Without Biafra, more abominable things will be happening. Today, we are presenting the case of an eight-year-old that hung herself, that took her own life, and now this very plague has caught on. People are beginning to kill themselves. Young people with hopelessness staring them in the face. It is called out where we come from. They are now taking their own lives. They are beginning to kill themselves because there is nothing to live for. That is why everybody must hurry up to ensure that Biafra comes as quickly as possible mm -hmm. because even our younger ones are taking their own lives. Those are our headlines. Before I go on to bring you the news in detail, I must go to the barrister himself to ask Barrister Madness to please acknowledge the presence of the wonderful people of Biafra all over the world listening to Radio Biafra this moment, please. According to the leader, some people will say, now have the critic gun on XTM that we may make true what the American intelligence services have known for very many years, that the zoo is a fraud, that Nigeria is a haven for criminality, that anybody referring to him or herself as a Nigerian is a born rogue. That is why we are here to seek the destruction of that very devilish entity. Somebody is telling us that Nigeria will then shock the Western world. According to these people, they call themselves the Khan leaders, Christian Association of Nigeria. They we are not there when Christianity was formed. They knew nothing about it. Somebody told them about Christianity and they are running with it. Let us see what they have to say. They asked somebody, what is your opinion on the national conference? Does the Christian body have any agenda? To promote. I will not tell you what the agenda of the Christian body is until it is made public in the conference. As I have always said, I wish they can give me the name of this very person. I don't have his name. I wish I can have his name of the Khan leader. This is Christian Association of Nigeria. Those that have done nothing as their own congregation and flock, so to speak, are being slaughtered by Muslims. Muslims are getting help from Islamic countries. Christians are being killed, and Christian countries are not doing anything about it. Well, okay. They send out these people with their private jets. Who will blame them? I must continue. I will, this is according to a Christian Association of Nigeria leader. 
can leader. I will not tell you what the agenda of the Christian body is until it is made public in the conference. As I have always said, we need to pray. Here we go again. Prayer, 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 prayer. And people are selling their babies to feed. Babies are being snatched from the backs of their mothers. The primary schools now have security guards, unheard of before, to stop ritualists and kidnappers from taking our children when they go to school. And all they can do is to tell you to pray, 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 pray. Mad lunatics, mad people with their private jets and very privileged lifestyles, and yet our people cannot see because they are blind. They are stupid, they cannot reason. They follow these men blindly like fools. Keep praying while Boko Haram will keep killing you. We must continue. They are asking you to pray. Even more prayer will solve your problem. Some people awesome. will say, this is according to the leader, some people will say that things are still rough with all the prayers. But I tell you, Nigeria cannot survive without prayers. Even for one week, prayer is the glue that gums Nigeria together. If you remove that glue, Nigeria will break into pieces. Let us put aside tribal and religious sentiments. Nigeria has long awaited this conference. So advise, I advise that those who have not been chosen to attend the conference should take away any malice or sentiment and even pray more for his success. They asked him, you just spoke about the tribal and religious sentiments, but these diversities are recognized in the selection of the delegates and each of them has his agenda. Don't you think this could have a negative effect on the conference? And this is the answer of the Khan leader, Christian Association of Nigeria leader at the conference. Nigeria is the United States of Africa, which is a direct insult to US people, a direct assault on the on the sensibilities of the people of the usa but we must continue he's an african man he's a black monkey he doesn't know anything so you don't blame him please don't blame this monkey in a cassock don't blame him at all he doesn't understand comparing the great united states of america to a zoo to a place where they groom animals to eat we must continue that is why this is this same Idiot speaking. That is why our diversities are language, heterogeneity, uh, grammar, heterogeneity. <laughs> this is the type of English they speak there. Have not all these years disintegrated us. Like pieces of cloth in tailoring are able to allow themselves to be sewn together to form a beautiful dress which should absorb and accommodate one another. That way we will overcome. For instance, when the matter of gay was being deliberated, the way we joined forces, despite our diversities, helped us to conquer and outlaw it. On this national conference, I want to say that Nigeria is looking for solution and will get it with prayers. If you don't have employment, prayer. If your lecturer is harassing you at school, prayer. If you don't have food to eat, prayer. If there is no bus to convey you to where you're going, no means of transportation, you pray. If you close your eyes, you'll be dead the next day. If you don't have any way to feed your children, you pray. If they kidnap your baby to sell, you pray. If they kidnap or rape your mother, you pray. If house of planning people are killing you, you pray. If Boko Haram is bombing you, you pray. Do you see how African people have bastardized reason and understanding? If anything happens to you, just pray. The same idiot saying this thing went to Abuja on an aeroplane built and manufactured by white people. He is wearing cloth tailored by white people. Everything he is doing is coming from the land of people who do not pray, but they do something. Everything he's using is half made in China. But in China, they're not Christians. They don't pray every two, two minutes. But they manufacture goods and services you can see that these useless people consume. These useless leaders calling themselves Christian leaders consume. That, that. Not prayer. How many times do they pray in China? How many times do they pray in the USA? How many times do they pray in South Korea that gives you Samsung? How many times do they pray in France that gave you Porsche cars? How many times do they pray in England that gave you the aerospace? the engine of the aircraft that you're flying, your private jet. How many times do they pray in a day 
when there is unemployment where you are, I'm talking to those living in Europe, in Asia, and in America. Do Obama come out and say to those in America, hey, let us go and pray. His prayer that will, will solve the problem. You develop economic policies to solve economic problems. Black people, African black people, please. You develop policies to solve societal problems, not prayer. Not prayer. That is modern day superstition. The same superstitious mumbo jumbo yeah, we, we had that. in the past has found its way back into the Bible, into the new interpretations of Christian doctrine. Pray, 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 left, right, and center. The more you pray, the worse things become. The more your daughters become prostitutes. The more your men become essentially those that patronize prostitutes. The more your mothers are raped, the more your children can't go to school, the more people are kidnapped for ritual purposes, yet you are praying. But the container you imported from China is coming from a country that does not pray the same way you do. Yet they can make something. Yet they are blessed. But you claiming that you are praying morning, noon, and night, prayer, 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 you have nothing. But because you're an African, you cannot see that you have nothing. You are a black person, you cannot see that you have nothing. Your stupidity is so staggering, it is untrue. The stupidity of an average black African is so mind-boggling that it is unbelievable. Unbelievable. If, okay. if, if you have problem, you pray. If you have miscarriage, you pray. Everything you pray. If you get to Roger Sokolacha, pray. Or if you get to Wazulike, oh, please pray. That they can leave you. So when you land your container, you know, they will not take 20,000 from you. Those defending you. If, you, if, they, if, you're, if, if it's one of your sons at the Zoo River, Killed by Peter B, go and pray. Don't take Peter B to court. Go and pray. The one killed us. And we are still praying. Harana killed us. We are still praying. It is that same prayer that led us to allow Omar Sanda Wachuku to go and representing us, to go and represent after killing us. You kill us, you go and represent him. Baby. You kill evil people, then you go and represent them. Because you are praying. Our people, you are not praying. You are dabbling in stupidity. It's not prayer. You are being very, very foolish. You're not praying. What can you make? Nothing. What can you manufacture? What do you have in you they have to Jesus. offer as goods and services to other people? Nothing. They Only have good oil. No, they have Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Come on, Lord. I wish that um, Hopefully. some anyway, I don't want to speak Hopefully. against the, the Holy Spirit. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's what they want to do. <laughs> so that I will not see the after. Hold up there. Hold up there, my man. You know you are talking about prayer, prayer. It cannot can, can be any. I will end down on about how he do. I'm about how he do autopilot. He just gonna pray. How about a prayer here and there? My brother Maxwell is calling for prayer and fasting. Now Facebook. Like I don't want Biafra to come with these people. Are they possible? How can I not with these people? Nigeria and I come and run inside Nigeria. Than to enter into Biafra with this smelling brand. In a book, what have you be your nation? And I got to pray Now watch, watch. If you are with me here now, and you are wondering what is the motivator that push these people to be doubly into Idu. Because many of them they were ministered by Elohim from Auchi. This one, the one, the Elohim that I'm talking about, he do. He's not from Abba. He may be a different type of Elohim. This one is from Awuchi. And the, the, the Elohim from Awuchi passed the message of he do through one stark illiterate child. One bumbling, ugly, small girl in Norway. Then the man, the woman now transferred it to one mad woman in America who takes care of mad people. Then that one, uh, I could buy on a Twitter. The thief in Finland, the uh, Paria. We have defined ideology. Empty brand. Our leader, like when they land autopilot. If you are here now and there, you are so confused about autopilot. Uh, autopilot, I don't understand them. I don't know how to recognize them. Look at them here.
Look at how their brain function. I just bought one of them today. Even very tattered human being, they preach. They're preaching. They're preaching in one woman, the which are in the job. Is there everybody pregnant? There are people you lie with, you know, Caribbean. So, pregnant is a sin. Ask God to forgive you. You are free. Hey, you are free. 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 You are God You are free. 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 They are talking hand and one carry their shirts and wear two bags here. I have noticed them. They are shirts and wear two bags and they are on sleeve and are they oversized. And when you can call this thing, it's always all, all the same thing like saying a man kill himself and run away. It's the same. To marry is ordained by God, by their God. But to impregnate your wife is a sin. Ask God for forgiveness. How do I come out first? If not by somebody that impregnated my mother, that gave birth to me. Do you not begin to see that the way we reason is not the same? And we're going to see today by our spiritual, by mine, not mean, let me not just generalize, by my spiritual mentor, Sadhguru. The way we reason is not the same. Don't begin to imagine what is coming in the mind of many people that are pursuing this struggle with us. You get one high beep. So the way we reason is not the same. Uh, you don't need to call me now. I've never opened my line. Now listen. If you are if you are a pastor and you are here, please, you can write me on WhatsApp. Say I'm a pastor. I have something to tell you on what you are saying is not to do. I will bring you in. You know, we like I said, the only way we can be able to create a nation that is very very conducive for human being to inhabit is by looking eyeball to eyeball and debate without being arrogant to each other. If you win me with your point, I will say, yes, I acknowledge. It doesn't make me lower than you. Rather, it means that in that aspect, you are more knowledgeable. Instead of your mama, your papa, come and get your boyfriend, and we are you do. Uh, autopilot, we move. Um, 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 da. Are they here today, sir? Let me check my comment section. I'm not here. 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 Why not here? Give me that Don't be afraid. Don't be. Don't be scared. Be proud of your autopilot to do. Now let's go. Let's go to the young man that said to marry is ordained by God, but to give pregnant to your wife is a sin. Ask God for forgiveness. Is everybody pregnant? There are people you. You lie with you, not carry belly. So pregnant is a sin. Ask God to forgive you. You are free. You don't have to know to marry your wife. Marriage is your day. But giving birth is not necessary. When you pregnant your wife, ask God to forgive you. I delay that fault that you have sinned against God. I fault that you have sinned against God. You are pregnant your wife. So when you bring that towards the sin, taking medicine sin, selling medicine sin, doing timber sin. Aye, ah, God of mercy, chai hao. When they want to chew gum, chewing gum is a sin. That's the Israel is not a sin. This is the brain of Idu autopilot. If you doubt me, you bring one of them here. I will expose, I will tell you. This is how they reason. Sit at home. We are doing sit at home. Uh, for what? Uh, sit at home uh, for economic sanction, to cripple the economy. But uh, how is he going to get us Biafra and bring our leader out? Yes, now he's working. How? The uh, governors are crying. Look at their crying now. You can't see Obi -Am. He's shedding tears because of economic sanction. <laughs> maybe, maybe of a 
May God bless you somehow. <laughs> because without you, I wouldn't know that I'm with such people. I know I'm all here. <laughs> you have to be grateful. You know, sometimes they said every disappointment is a blessing. Now, let me borrow that word. Look at here. Look at Bleaching cream, same. To win gum, same. Eyelashes, for one, and then I watch him. I am a pilot, I don't know how to I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. I'm the candle. Don't worry, keep it. But I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I will ask question. Now, on day for the last day, that really is key. Oh, the command. Oh, that kind. He didn't know. He didn't know. Darkness is coming. Position yourself. So, then, you know, if you are a married man or married woman and engage your wife before marrying, but I'm just talking about for you people. That's why, you know, why I'm playing this. I know you will not understand the angle where I'm coming from. I want to advise you, IPODs, especially those that know what they, they are doing, don't think too much. Some say I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. What do you, why these people are behaving like this now? Look at how they want to destroy what our leader created. I, I don't know what. I, don't think you will get problem. The way they reason is not the same. The way we reason are not the same. You may see it as a uh, his uh, name is Okechuku or his name is Nadozia. We are not the same. How are we going to know who is your own brother? The way you people assimilate issues of freedom because generally we are entrapped in the Nigerian state, struggling to free ourselves. Not a pilot. I am happy to that. I don't want to mention them. I was so happy. I I I, I received three people, three when I mean hefty people from autopilot. They wrote me. And I, I have to I have to, to be honest with you, even one name you know. If you see your brother, you will know, no matter what has transpired. I have three people. They wrote me, say, Methuselah, we have now realized that we were deceived, manipulated. There's nothing like when you go wrong after a long time. But they have, even, in fact, they are coming back, supposed to, they're supposed to buy wine for us. You know why? Because if we have allowed them, they would have destroyed everything. Then when they now begin to realize it, it's too late. That's why we stood our ground and fight back. And as God may have it, they now begin to come back. Many of them are coming back. Many of them are coming back, to be honest with you. The genuine ones, so the ones that are, are the, the ones that are purposely want to destroy this struggle, they can't come back. It's impossible. Because their mission must be fulfilled. That is why on, that is the, on the time they will retreat. If they didn't destroy the IPOB structure and struggle. They won't. But the genuine one who have realized that they were manipulated. Because our mental capacity, they are not the same. They are not coming back. Say, please. It was a mistake. 
what I've done. And uh, for me, who am I? When somebody writes me, say, please, let us work together. We are brothers. We were deceived. Who am I to say no? You have, you can, I accept it. I'm not to go guardian. All I have to tell them is let them continue doing their good job. It doesn't mean whether they expel you from IPOBO, whether they didn't expel you from IPOBO. Continue doing your job. The world will vindicate you. Nobody in life that has never made a mistake in life. In this life. The great men today, many of us are anchoring on. Many of you used see them as their leaders. When you talk about Nelson Mandela, you talk about uh, 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 Mahatma Gandhi them. They were all in one way or the other find themselves in a mess. And they come back. So coming back does not mean that you will join IPU. Just come back and be doing a good job. The world will vindicate you. We are not doing it for anybody. For our own self. So, when I learn the brain of you do autopilot here. If you all know. When I'm at home, I Who will she have not paid? I got it. Obitrate. Tell my hobby that daddy. Or his girlfriend is the same. Don't go home to the woman that you have not paid. I got it. I got it. I got it. I of spirituality to deceive many of you. Let me lay a foundation before I start. Because this is a very delicate issue. I need to be very careful. And if you are watching me, you are a pastor. I would love you to come in. At least you come and defend your faith. And at the same time to teach us. Don't shy away. Or I will call one myself. I have like two pastors here. I will call, I will call them. I will call them. Or let me give them signal. I will call them. So that they can tell us. Now, before I I start, Methuselah is a nickname. All my children, I'm Jack and Meha baptism. And they are still living. Well, nobody is crying that uh, God is not blessing them. I, all of them, I do baptism with my hands. So that let it, let it be that I do my own baptism in my own way. And they're not answering any English name. I want to correct my mistake. My mistakes I have done in life, I will correct it with my children. That is how I have done it. They will not near church in their life. I will teach them what is church. Church is not all about going to a very big building. You know, you don't know why they, they always big church high. Many of you don't know. It is all about when you enter there, you will be humble. Church is only, they know the reason why they put it high. The, when you enter there, you look so small. So, church is not all about building. These are the things we are going to look into. But now, what we are going to go into first, like I said, I want to lay my foundation. I want to I want to pay a very good um, homage to my mentor, uh, Sadhguru, that I met. I think I met him last uh, three days or four days. Right? I think uh, on 28th of uh, last month, I met him for the first time in my life. I said I want to meet him face to face and uh, to thank him for the job well done um now what is god for many of you that are watching me what is god is the question if there's somebody ask you now what is god or let us use our language what is chuko gadiama who is chuko gadiama how does he function the religious people now will say who are you to talk about this is he, he did he graduate from any theological school they say no is he a reverend father? They say no. Is he a pastor? What is he talking there and are talking nonsense? Just open Facebook to begin to talk nonsense. That's how they generalize it. So because they want me to pass through that their slave mentality. In that place they used to feed them with lies. They call it theology. So that I will come and I will not be using my sense. I'll be talking about Bible. Anybody that is watching me here, I don't need to be a learned man. Provided their common sense is intact. When I make sense, you will know. If I'm not making sense, you will know. That is why we must make sure we carry along people that have the same ideology. That is why we are fighting for Biafra. Anybody that has the same ideology is a Biafra. Now, let's go. Let's go to Sadhguru. 
Ah, uh, let me go to Sadhguru. Sadhguru, this is I am taking your word, Sadhguru. But um, hundred percent of what you said might not be correct to me, but I know to some extent. Um, I'm also a human being. I make use of my own conscience. Nobody can tell me what somebody have said in life. Even Mazenam the Kano, all his preaching, not hundred percent is correct to me, but I know a tangible percentage is pure and correct, and I have to go with it. It must not be hundred percent. There are some places he will say, I will, even if I see him face to face, I will say, when you see, I disagree with this side. We just talk it. He clear me or I clear him. That's how this word is. I know some people say, are you Muslim power with our own niche? Why are you Muslim power with him? No, no, you don't. If you criticize somebody positively, this is what this word wants. Any government that don't have that don't have people criticizing them, they don't move on. If I tell you how tough DOS has become now, if I tell you how smart, how vigilant DOS have become now, you will not believe it. You know why? Because of autopilot in do. They now have to buckle up. They have to buckle up to make sure that they, you know, do what they're supposed to do at the right time and close all holes of, you know, uh, uh, avenue for them to come in to begin to perpetrate their lies, propaganda, and blackmailing. So when you criticize somebody positively, it's a way to move forward. But this time around, they came in a negative way. But we will fought them. And we fought them to a stand seat. Now let's go to let's go to my man. Let's go to my man, Sad Guru. Um uh, let's go to Sad Guru. We were created by invisible being. Nobody have single. Oh, you know how to go to Gada Mabi Pule will you oh I know you join you good news. Anybody watching me here that I've seen Chugo Gadama, you will like him then so that let me know that I have seen someone that I've seen him physical. So that mom get the person in. But if you've never seen him, you are only interpreting it with your own mind. That is why I told many of you all this nonsense religion brought to us by Westerners. They are born come. It can function or may function in their own land, but not in our own environment. We must go back to our own roots conceive and at the same time to create what is suitable to our to our own environment something that is not seen something that is not visible cannot be described Chukokabama can only be interpreted in our own tradition but if he called god he said yes i know him why because they colonize you and they conquered you and impose that their dialect and their language on you. So that when somebody tells you God, he says the same thing with Chukoka, but they are not the same. As in Kumba, them bind. Call it in the name that they will, we, you know what Chukoka, but name meaning in direct. Nothing like translate. Now let's go to Sadhguru. Sadhguru is trying to define in his only two way. I think I have played this before, but it's very, very good now that I am here. Um... I want to see objection. Sometimes I need to see objection. My <laughs> brother is asking me, Meto, what is baptism? <laughs> My brother is a very good question. Uh, I will explain. I will explain. Uh, this is also a concept of the Westerner. Uh, you know, uh, Al Roman Ocha. I married a white, and I have to. I have to. I just use that name. Then the Baptist nigga, you can what is the name? Baptist name and all quite he book. I got it. I got here that I said they are not bearing any any English name, it's a native name. So I just use the word baptism, but I know that those things are also bunker. Uh let's go. Let's go to Sadhguru. Uh, let's go to Sadhguru. I think I have it here. I have it here. Yes, I have it here with me. Um, let's go. You know, if it's in Nigeria, you cannot discuss such thing. What is God? They will say, "Why? What are you talking nonsense?" The soul is sacred for people. The body is filthy. How is it possible? Yes, that's what we've been doing, isn't it? So, saying God is sacred, creation is filthy. How is it possible? Your very, the very thought of God occurred to you. Only because you saw creation, isn't it? Is he correct? Is he correct what he said now? Maybe you didn't understand it. I want if something is making sense to you, you say it makes sense. If it's not, you say no. 
this is this is what is missing in Africa, and that is why we are lost, we are daft. Here they question everything. You want to you want to know the nature like this, which are If you didn't, if you have never integrated yourself, you will be you will be out of your mind. They ask questions, and you must ask questions for you to know. This is what he said here. I don't, I don't know whether he makes sense here. What is sacred? Creation is filthy. Mm -hmm. How is it possible? Your very, the very thought of God occurred to you only because you saw creation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. When you were born and you opened your eyes, you looked around, so much creation. Mm -hmm. Before you came here, so much has happened. Obviously, you did not create it. So you thought, there must be a creator. Mm. This is how you come to the Creator, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. The moment you thought there must be a Creator, because you are in a human form, mm -hmm. you thought it must be a big man. Mm -hmm. A small man like me cannot do all this. It must be a big man. Just two hands, how can it do so much creation? Must be eight hands, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it so? If you were a buffalo, you would be really thinking, God is a huge buffalo. Isn't it so? Yes or no? You won't ask a buffalo and see. A buffalo will insist, God is a huge buffalo. Maybe four horns. <laughs> You know Idi Amin? You heard of Idi Amin? The Uganda man? Idi Amin declared, God is black. I agree with him. If a white man can have a white God, why can't a black man have a black God? That's the question he's asking you. If a white man can have a white God, why can't a black man have their own God? That's the question I wanted, I want to ask. Many of you, especially those pastors that are calling Jesus here and there. Like I think I posted, I posted, I think I made a clip today about this. What, what am I trying to derive at? I know you may not understand it if you are already deep in this mess, because sometimes it's not easy to come out from. And you will ask me, how does this affect this Biafra we are pushing now? Can't we just do our Biafra registration after? We cannot treat it, it. No, you cannot carry such mindset. To get to Biafra is not possible. People create their own chi from where they come from. The man is asking you, don't you have your, you're supposed to have your own black god. But the one we have, they say is dead. I will show you the mess that is going on in this 21st or 22nd century, I will call it. People are still believing if you hold a fowl in your hand and be shouting, you will get, you will be success in life. I don't know how to solve the problem that is hovering around the mentality of our people today, especially in Biafra land. It's not like that in other other places so, of, 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 so to say, Nigerian state. Yoruba, to some certain extent, many of them are pastors and they know why they are pastors. Some added to Juju. It's our own that do it with our own hearts. How many pastors in Biafra land now that is that is among the richest pastors in Africa? Their own is petty petty money, stealing from women that are selling crayfish. You know about pastors, they go deep, even many of them involve themselves in the federal government. Collaborate. Do fake miracle here and there. You can go to a lower level. That's the question the man is asking. I'm going to show you what they are doing this time. So, the way we see ourselves, the way we analyze issues, whatever we have assimilated in life as a way, our way of life has have impact in our life. For example, many of us believe that let's go and pray and fast so that Biafra will come. Many, many believe it. Many are praying. Many are not doing anything as far to make sure that this struggle see the light of the day. Their job is to pray. They have never done any just pray, just like that. They don't now they don't want to register, they don't want to come to meeting, they don't want to come inside to contribute to what is going on. They want to bring their own moral advice. No, 
their own job is to stay inside and play and fast. If you as they say, we are spiritual, we are we are spirit, we are inside the spirit. You people should move on. We are in the spirit. While some are doing their own online prayer for Mars and Namrican to come out, prayer and fasting, 30 days and 39 for, for Mars and Namrican to come out. Because of our leader also listening to advice. Many of you don't know. You know, I said it earlier, but many of you don't understand. 150 Psalms, many of you are reading, is from this Janja we don't know who are here now. They just try to deceive and convince Mars and Namrican to give you Psalms. That Psalms is from Nelly of Fable. Ah, my man, is a lie, but let's just leave it like that. I don't want to go into deep about that. From this prophet, this fake prophet in Nigeria, that's how they collaborate. You know, if you want to get an African man, bring religion. Just you are, you don't, bring your reverend father. Any boss now, let me ask you any boss you enter today or any taxi going to somewhere and you look, you see a pastor inside a boss or you see a reverend father, didn't you, you feel relaxed? You will not, okay, I'm, I'm in a safe hand. Is it not? Because we have already taken these people to be the people that will give us what we are looking for, to guide us spiritually. But everything is psychological, it's not spiritually. They work with your psychology. They can twist you, twist the way you reason by giving you that thing you want to be hearing. And this is what these people are doing with us in this trouble. So how do you be you are mentally tough? Nobody can deceive you. You must ask questions. So because of this kind of religion we don't see ourselves into, we tend not to ask questions. Because they tell you that Elohim said. So who are you to ask him with Elohim question? You want to ask Elohim question, you should have them. So I am going to show you a video that summarizes this. But let's go. Let's go to see what this man said about him. Um, you know, what is God? It's a concept of man, in my own definition. There's nothing bad in having your own chi. And then on our story, rules, how does it work for you? If you do something physically, you just use it to anchor, to motivate whatever you have put in place practically. That's all. If you want us to begin to argue whether God today, how he function, then I begin to ask you, and they are slaughter and all now. Where is it? It's a question. Kebon now. And now as we are talking now, go to Biafra land. People are not finding this. Many people have they, they have destroyed their homeland today in Kaduna. If I show you the pictures or scary pictures I have in Kaduna, you will run away. Children of less than seven years, age there were more than ten I have here. More than ten children. Okay, 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 those ones are sinners. Ah, okay. Let's go. Let's continue. Let's continue. But both those people are confused. We know God is brown. <laughs> They are laughing. If it's you now, you know, you take it serious. Because he visited us, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Some time ago, I was talking to a group of people in Nashville, in Tennessee. And I was telling them a joke. In the joke, I just referred to God as him. Immediately, a few ladies stood up. Do you believe God is a man? I knew where it's going. I said, see, I... <laughs> see I'm only telling you a joke. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You said him. Do you believe God is a man? They take the jokes very seriously. <laughs> now women are arguing God could be a woman. Such problems exist only in those cultures in India. We have man God, we have woman God, we have cow God, we have monkey God, we have everything. Every kind, crawling one, creeping one, flying one. Because we foresaw all the problems of the future. <laughs> See, when man was the most powerful force on the planet, Man was naturally caught. Now women are also gaining in their power. So women are questioning, why, why can't it be a woman? So tomorrow, suppose dogs gain a lot of power, which they're gaining. So dogs will ask, why not a dog god? Actually, 
my brother Chibos or Hirari, please, you know, we are on, uh, we were learning, okay? Like I said, for me to be speaking about this does not mean that I know it all. I don't want us to be writing. You can call me, we can talk, you know. You said there's God. I agree. But the truth is that there are there are some steps you need to take by yourself. I need them. I want to know that step. I want to know it. Uh, you must not wait for God to do everything for you. My brother, these are what the word of deceit. I don't want to begin to go deeply so that for now, but you know all why or why. I try I try me carbon in him, all small, small. Yes, it's a concept of man. When I say Chuko Gabama in Chinese have no meaning for them. God is not the same with Chugo Gabian, and I have explained it here time with that number. It's not the same. God and Chineke, they are not the same. So, uh, what we want to know is that go in my colleague, enjoy your pastor or your reverend father. Ask him, how does God function? Because they use what we call heaven and earth to hold many of you, and some they say they have forgotten in the Catholic Church. That's forgotten. Many of you know what is forgotten. You are you are 50 50, you are sin and your righteousness they are equal, so then they, they keep you in purgatory for Kamami Gesheba had repented, then go straight to heaven. There's no heaven, there's no hell. But let's go. But for me, there's nothing like that. When you do it, the spelling also is close, you know. <laughs> He seems to be closer than you. <laughs> so your idea of God is just an, ex an exaggerated version of yourself. Correct okay. man, correct man, correct man, correct man. <laughs> this one hit me on the chest. You are correct. You are correct. You are correct. I love that. Uh, people that are speaking the truth. If you have this kind of teachings in, in Africa, we will not have a problem. We won't have a problem. Very funny. I met him... A few days ago, very jovial, make jokes. People laugh. You, you cannot be. Don't take things of life so serious. Because I'm talking about God, I, I must be so serious so that I let me not disrespecting God. I have to be serious. I don't want to joke with it. I want to concentrate. So Africa say is a blasphemy. When you do this, is a blasphemy. Don't worry. The next child I will have, I will call him Jesus Christ. This has a concept of man. What you said now, I love it. I love it. An, ex an exaggerated version of yourself. Correct. Is that it? Yes, yes. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Actually, the spelling also is close, you know. <laughs> exactly. It seems to be closer than you. <laughs> exactly. Dog. A dog have their own God. And they can tell you that they are the ones that are closer to God. Because when you change the spelling, turn it upside down, become God. Dog, when you change it, you become God. So, if dog can begin to come out and begin to drag this God with you, people say they are the ones that are closer to him. If everything is understanding, understanding. So, your idea of God is just an, ex an exaggerated version of yourself. I know, I know, Your idea of God is just an exaggerated version of yourself. See. You are still not able to define yourself, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Whatever definition you put on yourself is not correct. Mm -hmm. Any kind of definition you put on you, it is not enough to describe this one. Mm -hmm. And this small piece of creation is like this, the source of creation. How are you going to put a definition of it? Mm -hmm. You cannot define it. At you all. cannot understand it. Correct. You cannot understand it. I agree. And I know nothing. Many of you know nothing. Don't allow any idiot to begin to explain to you who is God. They know nothing. Nothing. I said it. You are your own God. That's why I ask many of you. You know, I asked a question. said, have you seen how does it function? And somebody wrote something like him and I said, they are the way to reach God. No. You are your own God. First. And with a different God. First of all, you are your own God first. They will now have a God that takes care of everybody. In a system which they created, which they call government. Government. When the government is bad, you, the people suffer. The system they create. Can't you see what is going on in Nigeria now? People are people. Now. No, 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 they see them. 
So when you have a system that is not functioning, people will suffer. When the who is in charge of making that system to be normal, they are called government. When the government have a good policy that can give the system a very good, a, uh, I mean, um, that can create a very good system in the environment, people will enjoy. In other words, many of these government, many of you, they have destroyed their destiny. There is a place you're supposed to get to, but because of the system of the government where you live, you cannot get it. This one you're saying, uh, my let my my future will be delayed or my no, my destiny will be delayed, but it cannot be denied. Some people they have denied their own destiny. I know they tell telling myself the truth. Oh, when they are frustrated, na Nigerian state as it is now, they are so brilliant. From childhood, during their school days, they were so brilliant. But immediately they finish, there's no job, nothing. They suffocate them. Many of them die of heart attack. Their destiny has been destroyed. You are your own God. Don't allow. You know they help anybody. Now you go help yourself with Chuko Gabem as a motivator. That's what we use him for. When you are doing something, you cringe on it. And that's why you must come through your environment. You are calling God of Israel. God of Israel among you. So that Chuko Gabiama we are calling must emanate from the our way of life, our own tradition. I use my own masquerade in my own place. I cherish it. I give respect to it. I can call it my own God. Provided that when I'm listening to it, the sound of that comes from it. Give me that inspiration in order to do what I'm doing and believe that that thing will work. How will I have a God? demonstration. pick that young man out. He have been suffering, preaching the word of God to his people. They abduct him illegally. I know why name make fast praying and fasting. You honor there now. The moment we come out from this stupidity of religion. You see that our eyes will open and the fear will run away from you. That's what it does. The Western religion, what it does in our life, it instincts fear, especially the one of Christianity. The instinct fear in many of us. It is not our fault. I have to admit, it is from our from our origin. So for you to come out of it, you are blessed. Those that have never come out of it, gradually, gradually, don't force them. Can you imagine something they grew up with? Then you want to change it. You think it's easy? It's not easy. And that is why they can deceive many of them so easily. Because they are afraid to question some things. Don't question. Ah, Elohim said now. Do you know who is Elohim? You want to question Elohim? It's true, it's true, it's true. You know, it's true. He's uh, Alpha and Omega. Uh, he's the beginning and the end. Nobody should deny his statement. Okay, oh, yeah, well, I have with you. Okay, let's go. Ah, you do. You as woman, you are you. You have felt. Uh, Madam Nelly is a spiritual woman, is a powerful woman of God. She has spoken. I think I have to allow Sadhguru to round up. I have a lot where he talk about sin, what is sin. But let's go. Let's go. Any kind it. of definition you put on you, mm. it is not enough to describe this one. And this small piece of creation is like this the source of creation. How are you going to put a definition of it? You cannot define it. You cannot understand it. As that is. You can only dissolve it. Correct. correct you correct. can experience it. Yes, yes, yes. You can never know it. Can never know it. You can't make knowledge of it. At all. Whatever you knowledge have knowledge you have about God is just pure nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. I want to know God before you go get my big book on my phone. I call my phone. I call my phone. Then, what could be born or create this world? One I don't know. All these pastors now they deceive many of you. God said, God said, uh, God said in the book of this, Gabon or Wagon is a question. You know, see, blessed are those that didn't see but believe. Eh, I'm not a bushy cattle. No problem. The man said he cannot know it, it's not possible. It is the your own interpretation of. What understand about the creation? We there's a creation. If I said as I don't know what created this place, but there must be something that made this place to be like this. I don't know whether it's a robot. I'm a more one number. 
I don't know. The question is that I cannot begin to force people to believe on what I don't know and have never experienced. Some will say, you know, if you that the way you enter, you experience God. You need to experience God. Just go go and say, you just bow down and pray, you experience Him. This is what your own interpretation is giving you. That is why some people can have mind to defraud and steal the money meant for this organization. The money meant to liberate our people, but you cannot do it because our mind are not the same. People give me China and best raw money. He can know uh seventy seven hundred and seventy four thousand uh, dollars. The embezzle uh, forty seven thousand uh, dollars. Just take it ten thousand dollars. Then I wonder because to you what they call oh, magic is not possible for you because you can't do it. So the way you interpret your life, the way you see things, is not the same with others. That's why Boko Haram can kill and cut neck. You get me? No, no. Can you do it? Even many of you cannot even see blood coming out. Ordinary to go. Many of you cannot even take injection or look at accident accident scene you'll be running away but when the even the car hand away she had the phone her name like this but all of us are called human beings but the way we see things are not the same in other words you're supposed to have your own chief go and discover your own god forget about this general generosity and generalize that uh, uh, god is said we should not do this one god is saying we should do this god is saying this one no i'm not part of it Unless we have a relation of God living now, say my father, who is God, told me to tell you. But I went, I went to heaven. So we must use uh, the concept that you know the event that happens in our own environment, especially the tradition, culture. Even they define to you in English language. Culture is people's way of life. Use your own way of life to interpret your own chi. You get things gonna grab straightforward. Gonna grab Jesus in my own way. All this is in a man in the name of the Father. My boy, three in one God, one plus one plus one is equal to one. So for you, I'm at Matthew's chinook above, but they will we are swallow those things because they say, Blessed are those that do not see that they believe. So, this is what this man is telling us. I know it's from your own school, oh, own mind. I agree to him to some extent. I agree, you can never know it. You can't make knowledge out of it. Whatever you knowledge have knowledge you have about God is just pure nonsense, cultural nonsense. Ah, uh, wait, wait. Uh, which kind of culture you are in? That kind of God you have, isn't it? it can work. Wait, um, somebody wrote something. Do we have any? Do we have any any program today in Radio Biafra? Is there anybody coming to Radio Biafra? Somebody to confirm, uh, so that let it not be an act of insubordination. Somebody telling me that Mazi Radio Biafra is on now. Can you please continue? Let, uh, please, is there anything going on or normal radio or what? Is there any event? I want to know. I want to know. Bring me to my notice so that um, I want to know. Um, let's go. Let's go to let's go to the leader of Indian Biafra. I know they will not like this one. This man, this is 16th of August. Only you see, for many of you that don't know about um. Please, I need to know that question is very important for me. Our brother, our sister wrote something here. I said that's a radio Biafra is on. Please, I want to know. Please, 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 That an Igbo speaking Biafran sees any other Biafran as their flesh and their blood. The Jordan is going to get it, no? The Jordan repair a new group, you watch her express where the first name. Jordan did not. And I said to the man, but Jordan did nothing for you. He said, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the Jordan. Some of you, you are hoping, oh, don't worry, we are here, one Nigeria, we we'll protect you. I remember one idiot running to the security people, saying, we are saying, do you know what they said to them? The security USA issued a statement that said to Ghania that from Udubiwa uh, uh, Apepo Union, get away from the security man. I will tell you. We know who our brothers are. Well, they are, they are with us. They are with us. The security told you, get away from our land. We know who our brothers are. 
is on us to Germany, Niger Delta, South South, South South South, Bendel, Bendel, Ego, who said to go to the Yoruba and Agastan. I told that they are conspirators. Yoruba cannot help you. It is the part of them. They will always stab you in the back. Do you know why they will stab you in the back? Because Yoruba, most of them are Muslims. Mm -hmm. Do you expect the Yoruba Muslim to love you? That is a Biafran, Southern Biafran Christian, and not to obey Musa. Considering that Musa conquered them in Kwara, in the Lord, do you now understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you know the answer Latin? The answer I was having. So, how do you think that a Yoruba man who is a Muslim, I think I was standing with the close to me? You're from Niger. Mm -hmm. Who voted for Jonathan? More Igbo speaking people voted for Jonathan than the whole of the South South. I agree. Country. I agree Two with you. False. I agree. I have showed it here before. Two ha on you see, hold on there. Hold on there. How shall I bring it to them again? I have showed this thing before. This one, this is to tell you the useless is the is broad. Let me not talk a do generally. Bini. I grab a long one. I want to blow you. Bini. Majority of them, not all. Let me not generalize. Let me be specific. No, no, no. Especially those that I'm loyal to, the Oba of Bini, the very dirty man, Oba of Bini. The killer. They are the one that are bringing this division. They brought one of their slaves in Norway to enter us. I'm calling from Norway. I'm a consultant. I'm a consultant. What does he do? Then I got it. We are brothers, and we showed it during the last election. I think it's good for me to show it. But let me allow him to continue. In Edo State, they were dragging votes with Jonathan. Buari and Jonathan. Edo, non abake adunde. Ne sa sat. Sata, we are from Niger Delta. We, Edo, are Niger Delta Republic. Ibos, go and look for your own country. Nyamini, we are Niger Delta. Jonathan and Buari contested in 2015. You have 46 votes. And 54. 54 for Jonathan, 46 for Buhari. Only for your brother. Now, I can drag here and Buhari be a donor drag you vote with your own brother. Then we from Igbo speaking Biafran, total, Anambra can have zero percent. They don't send. I played it here, I showed it here in my last program. Anambra no send you all, all vote to go to Jonathan because he's our brother. The same thing with your. Um, Abia State, Enugu, Imo State. Is in Imo State they have eighteen percent vote given to Buhari. Then um, um, uh, 80, 80, 82 votes to Jonathan. Eighty-two percent. Sorry. Other places are solo. Oya hane jama onye oya brother. I won't have one. Then we don't have any local freedom. You know that one, yeah. Data is not Igbo. Data is Bini. We are Idu. Idu is Do Bini. Oba is our president. Biafra ended in Liva Nigeria. Kalaba, all these are quite even biased. They are Nigeria data. Nigeria data. I will tell you that we are Nigeria data. Ima work at Grassky. Edu here here. Aba Shau. Oh, what from there? They're the scene on the streets now. They don't feed you anything. I'm open again. I'm open again. I'm all who know. Many of you are afraid of uh, Bini. That is why it's good for you to test Mamba. I ain't Korea. Who show you can at school? Again, a leg or a walk. It's not good to be a, 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 a Jew, a Jew man or they have a mouth or they have a mouth. They got there as spoken. And we're not even a Jew here. And that is why they want to create division among us. Because if you lock up, on your one is Bini, on your one, you are not an Ahaka Igbo speaking here, you are not so name. If you order an Igbo, you take your own. Are they holy? No, are they holy? Secondly, are they educated? No. 
Totally. They hand they be like, you can't you see how their language is? I can even understand Yoruba more than Edo. Yeah, so I don't know how it sounds. Even if so, you got that deal. I don't know where the language comes from. I have lived there now. I have lived there for complete one year. When you wake up, that was coastal region. That dear friends. Nah, nah, baba, baba. Our brothers, they cannot decide where they want to go. Now let's go. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Our leader. Continue with your with your with your good job. Continue. They don't want to hear your voice. I agree. I agree. Exactly. Nobody had that. Only the mm -hmm. So how can we teach people who are of the same flesh and of the same blood? It is correct. Afghanistan. Go and use your tongue to count your teeth. Mm -hmm. Drive away every Yoruba person in and, your and they may be the That's in that place. Yoruba kings never meant well for Jonathan. They betrayed him according to Cardinal Okoji. Who doesn't know this Cardinal? He's a very good man. I, think. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you like people, but this one is good. Not because his record has been consistent from day one. Cardinal Okoji never changes. These are the men. Why do I respect Philip Elkin? Philip Elkin, for me, is the greatest dear fan ever. Correct, man. Philip Elkin. He is the greatest dear fan ever. Mm -hmm. A very modest man. He never sought for any position in the zoo. At all. They approached him for contracts and said he told them to go to hell. It's true. He said he was never defeated in battle. It's true. Because no one said no to no battle. This man led a very honorable life until his death. Right. Honor. Mm. Honor and dignity. Honor and dignity. This is Radio Biaf. Live you? and direct. Honor and dignity. Live and direct. To go up there, my dear. Yoruba people are not to be trusted. Even according to a cardinal. Don't trust them. They will betray you the same way they betray the Jonathan. Yoruba betrayed them. They wrote here erroneously, that is how they give you fake news. The ability to give people hope that if they work harder, they will achieve better things. That is the only antidote. The, the ability to give people I want, hope. I want that way. Um, this man led a very honorable life. Wait, let me see if what I have here. They will not allow the imposing oil mill to be refined. Now, listen, listen, for many of you that are, I want you to take this message to our governors. Those of you that are watching, if you are related to. These uh, frustrated governors, please you take this message to them. Listen, you know, I've said it, I think that was yesterday program. Do I, I couldn't do this? Uh, that was the program I was looking for. How to solve a problem in a society in case many of you will become president of Biafra tomorrow, or maybe leaders of whichever place you find yourself. The best way to solve crime is what you are going to listen to now. I'm not now, they are beefing security. If I tell the kind of killing that is going on in Nigeria, I know many of you are not getting the news. Somebody sent me, I will try to play your voice, brother, or try to show them. Our brothers are crying in Kaduna as we stand now. One of them sent me his um, shop, burnt down. I don't know what to tell him. The shop is that's completely raised down. He sent a message across, and I will read it. I will read his message. This one is not saying he has a, he saved his, his shop in Kaduna. They're not joking. They're bunch into the light. Down, down. Um, this is what our leader advice he gave us on how to solve a problem in a society. Salute about a new cook. No, 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 sit at home. I have a sit at home. I have a moon on working, working on a brain. Many of you are hoping on them now. Some are, some are, some many of our number of people. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be um, a kind of, um, you know, segregating. Many a number of people I know. Ah, so you the, the professor. At least an number now will have an intelligent man. Yeah, but I how Rolanello will sit at home. Oh, he can go the amber. Oh my what brought about that sit at home in the first place. He knew why people are sitting at home. He knew it. Instead of him to try, find a way to address such issue, or run a trade for Muslim. Uh, come, anybody that didn't come to work will not receive salary. I have the nature of a black man, especially from the Afro land. Leaves arms and bags, sells military equipment to the zoo is a lie. And I'll read it 
for you. But down, they said, uh, federal government of the zoo buy 500 assault rifles from Poland. Only 500 assault rifles. But the only thing they buy is a gun. Eh, you saw problem. They will never import machinery at all to revive economy. the economy. Hmm? They will never import any or allow any equipment to be brought in to revive gold in the no money. At all. They, they won't allow any equipment to come in to revive ceramics. You know why? They will not allow CO also I'm telling to you. To bring in anything or give him loan to revive standard polyplastic. You know why? They will not allow the imposing oil mill to be revived or bring in any machinery to revive it. Our textile mill, the same. Is it not clear factor? They won't allow you to import anything to change it. Paint and resin, you be said, no, you uh -uh. don't import anything, no. Uh -uh. They don't want it. But they will import God. As it is. Now, I want you to consider the mentality of such a people. The world knows this very well. I learned this my very first year at the university in England. That the best antidote to insecurity is employment. Correct, man. Correct, man. And the ability to give people hope right. that if they work harder, exactly. they will achieve better things. <laughs> that is the only antidote. Exactly. Insecurity. Exactly. It's very simple. Right. Empl jobs. Mm. Because by the time you go to work by seven and you come back around eight in the evening, what time do you have to go and do and I don't know. What time are you going to have to go and start planning to kill people? Mm. But do you know that black African people, mm. instead of them, to bring in import machinery, mm. revive a, a, a Jokuta steel mill, allow economy to take off, to begin to employ people, to get, oh my, they, they keep importing guns. Guns, I'm really. The more guns they import, the more insecure everybody becomes. I'm telling you. It will never ever register in their brain. That the more guns you import, the more insecure you become. Hmm? It will never register in your thick black African skull. That is why black people are backwards. Inability to reason. Hmm. Inability to reason. You must continue. They have bought power assault rifles from Poland. Okay. There was no equipment from the USA. They said may have. This is zoo journalism for you. If you read it, they will say, oh, guns are coming in. We are going to fight Poko Hattas. Rock bunker. The USA had the finest military after they won the Second World War. They fought a war in Vietnam. They lost. Before that, there was a stalemate. Some of you don't know there's something called the Korean War. I want to I want to I want to one visitor. <laughs> one visitor. They are this girl. This is how they were. This is how we knew about Uko. Yeah, I'm one year old. I can say, hey, we're going to sacrifice. I tell you, if I know you personally, I would have said, let them use you to do sacrifice. Because many of you don't deserve to lose. Every year, every year. I think I've started seeing you since how many years now? You can offer here. You're Good evening, please. I'm very sorry to, for bringing this here. Please, I need help. Please, I mean, I need 3,000 naira to get medication since in our medication since three years ago now seen on drugs to get medication for my mother Marana one for three years okay please she is in the hospital so since three years okay in the hospital and don't have three thousand need it. and we don't have anything with us please we need help Continue this. Year. Our people, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Only I got a man. What we are talking now is how to solve your mother problem. Your mother, I already came with how many years now? I met you when I was in Ukraine. Oh, it cannot be awkward. The same 3000. And even he had really low. So, can we 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 can Kembe, since three years I hit up for a decent man, and every year I saw that to three thousand. Our people. I want to, I want to do a question. Then do, I want to do a question. Then do. Let me look where now. Deka, look where, look where, look where, look where, look where. My brother, look at your brothers here. 
Two zero four knows the Chinaga Bog, you are begging money. Let me block you here, thunder, thunder, fire you, and all. I will know a car. But poor people are very wicked. Poor people are, they are, in fact, the problem of this universe is caused by poor people. And they tell you. Two zero four knows the Chinaga Bog, every every year. Three thousand every year. Three thousand. Never again. Never again. Even if you cannot, before you know it, you get what I'm going to the richest woman on the internet. If you're not there, I'm sure now. Now, now Instagram. I'm not. Um, the guy, the cool moon here. The cool moon. That that cool your brother. I'm saying, oh, what are you doing? I'm not going to be there. The guy mens. I need to mens. Mens. I need to. No, Giao. I need to do it. I need to do it. I I'm a I'm a i I'm a i i i i i i i so you yeah, have not care. You just have to change your own. Everybody, man. Then, then I'm not sure to give us a shot. Never know, yeah, no. Ah, do you know how? You get the hotel. You get the hotel. You get the foul. You get the foul. You get the foul. Yeah, my, we are trekking from. Say we are traveling from. But where I saw from on the head bridge to America. No matter where you fly, anchor you go now across to go that head bridge now. You go to America. Our brain are very far. Look here, they are begging on Jesus. Jesus, God of Jesus, Jesus, change my, change my story. No job, nothing, nothing. No employment opportunity, nothing. No, no, nothing. No hope. Look here, they are hope now. Change my story. <laughs> Yeah, this is your day, Jesus. I can't ask you to what I shouldn't apply it. I'm in Timmy, thinking that I'm going on a fast day. I'm not going to attempt to play. If you come and see the case, you can't. I'm not here. I'm not going to go on a day, man. I'm not going to go on You can see. So I said, Jesus, I can't ask you what you want. You apply it. I'm in 10 minutes. They get in a phone and I'm blasting. Now, if you're not going to go on a day, man, when you come and see it, you can see. You can see. God of only Jesus, the Zem. God of only Jesus, the Bimika. He didn't know where we go. He didn't know where we go. He went and caught the same thing, Bimika. Money, 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 money. Bank account, bank a lot. Now, my mother will just know how he finance without even trying to come back. The mentality there, they know. And do you know the problem with me? I get my hair this year now. It didn't work. I got back my hair next year. Then we get the same thing. I got back again to continuously till they get old. The same thing we are doing with our political settings. For four years, only I be here for here for only I be here for here for. It again only I hope only I change our for. The same thing that is happening now in 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 Nigeria system. Or they knock on the PDP and APC with the best party. Allah, they are crying from Jonathan. MXM worldwide demonstration for the hardship. They, they want change. They will not say we have tried PDP before and we are crying. 
and we say let us try APs is the worst. Can't we find a different thing altogether? So, okay, not party now is no more the problem. There's something that is wrong in this system that is not allowing these people to function. They want to go back to PDP. PDP are seeing themselves now as Messiah to come and rescue them. The people that they were crying before and look for somebody to rescue them, they piece up during the, the tactics, a rescue mission to come and rescue them. Now, slaughter them. Now they want to go back to PDP again. Now, and many of them are in this struggle. Many, 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 many of them. Many of them. If Obi, eh, Obi, imagine now, you know, you know, you know, you know, you change you know, you know, you you change you overnight. Now, you articulated. you know, 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 Many of them and they preach about this God, 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 God. Every time they are talking about God, heaven. Heaven and I have never seen a white man before. Listen now, uh, Mr. Brown, how are you today? I say, Nana God, though. You know they here. Okay, I'm fine. You slept away today. Say, yes. Yana Nigeria. I hope you slept away today. My brother and our God. Without God, I'm nobody. Yeah, Corona says Jewish. They are the ones that are calling God, God, God. So they're supposed to be fulfilling the as a righteous man. But in a week, he put him up. Okay, my how? Okay, get he will require somebody sweat. Okay, he can't go here. He put him. I get put him. You are not employed, no job. But he should give put him. From where? On when he give him a man to say they will go in a bank. These are the things government is supposed to take care of. But because that's why I told many when the government fails, every other thing will fail in the system. Government is supposed to make people do this. Oh no, here. You may hear here again, Gambor. You are walking, destroying the mindset of people. This idiot man I hear will just tell like a pool. On on like a Najabet. Many of us are many of many of us in Western world have succeeded in life. They never in, they never try this nonsense. They work hard, physical. This is a is a so to what do I can apply to the ministry? I'm not a I want to see how I'm going to be able to do it. I know the person. I want him to be able to do it. I want to see here. Raise your money for flight ticket. Travel, lo, bega plane, la wolo. Koga boutique, koga consort home, and so that's a week boutique. Then, yeah, I got there. Law at here, lose on it. Kinaka okay. boy. Up to now, I am a lady and we came on my bone. Our government in your wajai, go with the Kirakan. I grew up with it. All the locking at no good and yen dinner one honey. Mess, let me give you all your general mercy. So, hey, Gianni, you know, you know, I go to the TV in Finland. I don't think I have a minute problem, can I wait? My brother, I tell you, I tell you. My, my brother here, he say, my, my, sister, one, my own Jesus is eight hours work. The same with me. I can't glam today now. I glam today. How 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 can I work last month now? How can I hang on twenty on thirtieth? No, I ever tell them they are lots. Yeah, they are lots, but I'm on twenty nine. Then on thirtieth, they reflect. Yeah, I reflect on the bank. How how can I 
of our our own mess, Lady Gani. <laughs> Nigeria, how? We should not knock up. Now let's go, let's go. Here, you know, here now they get, they get more from money. But oh, why, oh, why? As a part today, I got a station of the cross. I got an idea today, station of the cross. If I'm not mistaken, I got a station of the cross now. Why do you think my brothers? So, uh, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. Um, where is the last one before I leave you people? Look at it here again. I love this. I love this. Man. Watch, watch. Okay. What is holding you? You don't want to come again? Ah. Look at him. Okay, honey. I'm doing chat every time. Man, diagnose all the problem. Name me operation. Physical. Only in case we're hanging kachi for a photo long matter. A guy you decision. It's here to wear oil for twenty one days. Any other than that, this struggle. Name me do an autopilot. Many of them have this mentality. Many. Deliver yourself. Success. I declare. Let this evil loose. Let this evil loose. Backfire. Let this evil loose. Backfire. Malua kaba. Swa bela kwa. Wamba kwa. Kaba na mana. Swa kama ya. Ni bagu kwa. Subreza. Zika. Let this thing begin to come out through your pieces. Let them begin to come out through your pieces. Let them to come out through your room. Let this come and drop. Let it be stop. Be here. Jesus mercy. Jesus mercy. And the name of a measure of your name. Every you shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that you are God. No, show this boy mercy. Show this boy mercy. Show this boy mercy. Show him mercy. Sorry. 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 No, we're going to for an hour for 21 days. Oh, I'm going to be pants. I got to go to the logo. He said, we're going to have for an hour for 21 days. I'm going to check out now. I'm going to check out the collection. Ah, oh, she did care. Oh, she did care. Oh, she did care. Oh, she did care. Oh, do what the Zia Nemadeke is doing. Do what Stella Odua does. Just keep your mouth shut for one minute. Do her. Buhari does not have to love the evil. Look at how they are disgracing evil speaking people. You know you don't listen to police. Anyway, you are black. <laughs> I don't expect black people to go to police. At all. I Somebody wrote to there in fact convincing me. Like, I don't understand being a white man, all of you be walking around exactly. and camping outside my house, maybe interviewing me, doing one thing, or maybe waiting for blessing. Exactly. Exactly. Like, um, black Africa. <laughs> That's where we're from. I should not be with that. That's where we're from, sir. No, I'm asking you. <laughs> because I'm not even going to believe. Our people. When I kneel down, close my eyes, and pray to keep up there, and I can complete it. Correct. I'm telling you the truth. I have told the so called Igbo people, on this one, I have wrong. Stop disgracing yourselves. 
the more you answer evil, the more disgraceful no, it becomes to you. Okay, I know. Okay. The more they look down upon you with disdain and condescension, the more people look at you and dismiss you. Evil doesn't stand for anything. It means nothing. Nobody's afraid of it. When somebody calls you evil, it means you compromise, you're possibly being buying and selling without conscience. I don't know. The, the type of tariff about it. <laughs> buying and selling without conscience. Hey, you know, I'm not a market. No, you can call in now. You can call in and um, you can call in. I, I think uh, 30 minutes will be enough. I will stop this program by 9 o'clock. You can call in now. You can call in, brothers. They look at you as somebody who can easily be born. Somebody who is frivolous. Can't you see unless they that one and go and they are. They answer evil. I G B O. We are a day today. Where are you going? Do you know they can never write the headline? Buhari does not have to love the Biafra or love Biafra. No. Everywhere could it, people would just stand up with it. No, Buhari does not have to love the evil. Yeah, exactly. Child. Okay. <laughs> Show me one that is good. That is good. Constitutional expert. Hey, you <laughs> Sorry. It's your name. PDP to take cautions PDP orders against insulting Buhari. And then who is he? Who is Buhari? He's a pedophile. He's a cattle rider. Is that an insult? Is it the truth? What is this thing with the black brand and so stop it? We are insulting. Exactly. If they say, then so what? Mm. And who are you? Mm. You're not going to die one day. Okay? Why can't you be insulted? Who are you? I ask you, uh, don't insult me. I'm not going to bend down. That's a news. And then people are flat out. So other days you have written news one. Is that news? Oh, please stop insulting Buhari or that is headline. People insult her Britannic Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. The queen of the, the entire Great Britain, including Northern Ireland, by the grace yes, of God, the head of the Commonwealth. Yes, can you raise your voice? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Hello. Yeah, you're welcome. What do you have for us? Yeah. Yeah, good evening from here. I am uh, Maz Yuki. Okay, well also known as Gumi of Idu. Also, Gumi of Idu. Uh, mm. I want, yes, also known as Gumi of Idu. Okay, uh, I want to contribute something concerning uh, the issue you're raising. Okay, yes, I for me, I do not believe in the concept of uh, Christianity and Jesus, mm -hmm. but then I want to uh, give an example with our leader. You know, I have heard him several times on air. He tried to he cost some people, you know, and eventually those people, when he said I'm gonna die like uh Muntua, Ab or you know, the other people that have died by him laying costs on them. You and I know that he, he was not he didn't go and do anything outside by only lay, uh, using those comments. Mm -hmm. Now, what what is the thing behind you know those things coming to pass? Is it that there is an energy or there is a force that can make those things to come to pass? So I want to know because when you link when you say there is no God or there is no God, yeah, so these two things I want to understand what is, what is the energy or what is the power that made those things to you know to come to fruition like those who who he cursed and and how on that way. I want you to you know, throw more light on this. That is my question. I also contribution. Well. Hang on, hang on, hang on, so that I'll make a my question before you go first, because you say something that I never said. Yes. I've never said there's no God. 
I only said okay. that God and Jugo Gabriel, they are not the same. That's what I said. Good. Okay. And if you want, I can explain. Um, coming to your question about what our leader has said, uh, and it's come to pass. Our leader is not Chuko Kabiam. Our leader is a human being, like me and you. Okay? So, um, if our leader have that power to begin to lay course on people and it happen, and that's a book I'm going to do a journal. Even go on is the first, will be the first victim. Okay, that you have to go down because um, you wiped out almost three point something million children in Biafra land. So, uh, when our leader is telling you, you know, that's, um, yeah, I don't know, I like to tell you from my own point of view, uh, and when there's so many people in the course of life, they are still alive. Am I correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, so I don't want to begin to link it, um, whether he has power. For me, as a human being, he is. He's not God, and he has no power over human. He can only make his own assertion. And it come to pass as he is as asserted, you know, which he can also link it to what you have said. And when there's so many things, if our leader have the power, you know, to control issues, I would I don't think he will allow the parents to die, both of them to be buried at the same day. So let us not begin to equate, you know, human nature or human existence with what we don't understand as the creation. So for him to say that this and this will happen and it happened, and when there's so many things in the could never happen. So let us not begin to equate Mazen and the Kanas to go Kabiam. But I know that um, and when people in life, I'm coming, I'm coming, let me round up. And when people in life that make prediction okay. and it come to pass, nobody didn't make prediction, I call it prediction, and it didn't come to pass. It's just like um, it's just like um, this football people play. Even when you got that now, even the tournament have never started, he will tell you that look at the people that will carry the trophy. It may happen, it may not happen. And these are the things that people are using to deceive our people. And when there's so many pastors that double into such and they come to fruition and people run to them because they said it happened. Then when we call it those pastors that also utter their mouth and say that it never happened. So it's a prediction, I call it, brother. It's a prediction. Can I just uh, say something? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I'm, I, I'm listening to you, brother. Okay, yes. Uh, let me just uh, use his own words clearly. He, he has said that anyone who, you know, who emerged as the president of Nigeria, aside Buhari, that person is going to die. And it has been happening like this until the last one that I think it is uh, Maman Darao, so which they never uh, announced to us. So I, I just want to be clarified or to understand how does, you know, does he have the power or the energy or is he that is, that is the force? That is implementing those things he's saying. So I want to. That's what I want to understand because I know he is not God and he can never be a God. But when he okay, let are, we, are you trying to say that that is a prediction? He predicted that anyone that enters as an president of Nigeria, his body is dead according to him. That that, pe that person is going to die, and they have been dying. Like three persons have died who have emerged like the president. So I want to understand from who are, who, are, just, who, are, who, are who who are who who are who who are who who died who are. Who are who died? Who are who entered there and died as a president? Who? Uh, first, there is uh, Abakiari, there is uh, Aita Puntu, and there Aba, is, uh, Aba, is, is Abakiari is Aba, is Aba, is Aba, is Aba, is Aba, is president of Nigeria. According to. No, he said, uh, well, but he knows what is there. So anyone who imagines to be the president who is sitting from Asorov, that person will always will die. Eh, hey, brother. So that's what he has said. And, yeah. Uh, brother, uh, I don't want us to. I don't. I, I know where you are going to, but I don't want you to be confused. I want that energy that is pushing you to be in this struggle. Maybe at least um, following our our struggle and at the same time supporting us to continue moving you. All these things you are bringing now. Yes. I don't think you can um, help us to achieve our end. But all I have to tell you is that no man in life have a power over their fellow man. The only power they have is guns and bullets, and at the same time with nuclear nuclear weapon. Which is physical, you understand? So all this one, somebody will tell you, I will say okay. that you die. No, no, it, it doesn't happen. It doesn't function <laughs> like that, brother. The only power we have in life is guns and bullets and uh, nuclear nuclear missile. All these uh, nuclear weapons you are seeing Russians are using. That's the only power. Outside that thing, there's nothing. From my own point of view, so if you have experienced other things other than what I've just told you, you tell me and uh, explain when it happened. 
My brother, this is this is a prediction. Okay. Yes, brother. Are you true? I hope I'm clear with okay. you. All right, all right, all right. Let me leave you. I have a lot. I have another caller. Please, I want us to get things done here. Everybody in life have things that work for them. And when they remember they praying and fasting for how many years? Even on one day, brother, like I'm one lady. I think he's in Italy. He told me that he called me when I was in Ukraine. You know what she told me? She told me that a man of God prophesied to her that she be, she will be the one that bring our leader out from DSS custom. Then he she asked the prophet, "What do I need to do?" The prophet said, "She need to do a sacrifice so that our leader will come out." Now, and she approached to me that she need money to complete. She have already started, and I was thinking that is a lie. I said, "Send me." The payment slip you have used to do the first payment so that let me confirm yes send that i'm payment slip would you call i think about 350,000 and i don't need any more whether it's 500,000 naira. so i ask i ask her why do you be doing this so you believe that you are the one that will bring our leader out you don't believe you say no the man said he's her and she herself have seen it that is her in the dream that those lawyers you will not do any is her I try to encourage her, try to, you know, discourage her, sorry, from not moving forward. She said, no. That that man prayed for her to come to Europe. So the man has been working for her. And there's no way I can discourage her. She said, she begged me not to make her open. That I should keep this information without revealing who is she, secret. I know her. I don't want to discourage her. I allow her. This is her mind. I have already tried to tell her by telling her this man that is asking you more that is our leader. You are the one that will bring our leader. Now, why am I trying to say this now? It may happen now, which is going to happen soon. The coming of our leader. Many people will be struggling to take the glory because one prophet or the other have told them this is how it's going to happen. He will be there. He will suffer. You know, they will try to bring him. They will join case and join case, and the end, at the end of the day, he will come out. Many people will take the glory. Autopilot will tell you that they are walking behind the door. Uh, Madam Elohim will tell you, he told you people that the God of the do is alive. I want to end praying and fast online. I think uh, what the other one is Pastor Maswell. He will also tell you that he himself has been doing prayers. So people will now begin to bring their own mindsets towards that event that is, is them. Then if I may ask you now, among these people, who are the ones that bring our leader out? This is what they predicted in their own way. It happened. And when they may predict it to happen, it's not that you have the power to control. People can predict. Even I remember those days, our own mentality, where I come from, we, we believe that it's mad people that will give us number. Those days, if we want to go and play pool, they say, go and look for a madman. I not try on your you know, say, give me number. I know, say, you know, no sense. You have my own cool number. Uh, two, uh, three, I can have four. You know, no sense. Give me three. You copy, you copy three. You buy a, you know, you get a whole one. Then, no, on your, okay, me, as soon as on your, on your, on your, on your number. Or buy a, yeah, there. One, no prediction. And I mean, no prediction. The only problem I have with people is not that prediction is the problem. It's when you try it in the first time, it didn't work. You try it again, it didn't work. Can't you talk to yourself? Say, no, nah, this is not working. So my brother, just call, please. Whatever you are holding on, please continue with it. Uh, but I have to tell you that no man have a power over another man. Except with guns and bullets and uh, nuclear weapons. Um, I'm running also. Okay, let me go to you, brother or sister, rather. Actually, I'm pastors. Pastors. We need pastors. Yes, can you hear me? Hello? <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, my sister, my name is Mithisola. Yeah, brother. You. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. 
Thank you. Um, I want to say this thing as I want to say now in English. Okay. In Igbo, sorry. Okay. Because sometimes when you speak English, mm -hmm. I will not get the correct direction or correct uh, this thing I'm, 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 I will try to say. Now, anyway, he knew who before Maka Ahamudo anyway, it's in Canada now. Anyway, he knew Nako, we call it Jubuka to try before Maka. Um, Christianity <laughs> So, one old man, Onyungwa, very intelligent man. The man, money, I put down on my own pocket. I'm not cool. Sim, Bob would do. Cause Sim, no, ni ni na ni ku ezioku. Man, I call Bob ezioku. Ni ni me ku ti ngwa ngwa, ongwa ngwa mo, awo mo ane ku. But Sim, na Christianity. No go tell him ne ku maga Christianity. Mana, na ngwa pu Christianity ya because Sim bata Nigeria. Mana hana ano from. Na ngwa pu Christianity ya na ngwe mi kem bata. Na hanta ni na hangi tago mweha. Mwota, nsi ake iho mini. Osi mno, ukcho te a hana agana akasi hobi. Na agwa hana oga adi mweti. Na without that, na haka kuchago do. Mwota. So, ni hii kristi, akoni ti mwye mwota 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 ni hii kristi. Because if if God is not capable, no God is not capable. Because of this, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Because I need to be a baby. I need to be a baby. Then cast your bindi on. Then cast your bindi on. Oh, yeah, na boy. Yes, yes. Then cast your bindi on. Oh, yeah, na boy. Yes, yes. Then cast your bindi on. Oh, yeah, na boy. Oh, condition no bodo. Mary, ndi 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 nda ano na pupi. Where the opportunity? Because so opportunity can na ana chora Nigeria. Opportunity go nyo wana na ato. Go you see where no ka IBM ma. Eh eh. E when when the opportunity when when di no when na abwando zo kunoga adem me china one day chi. Nka ha part. Eh when ganda ndi nege. Amam ne wata ihe ne kuma na what ndi nege ndi. Haga what yet then. Nke mbo, nke another one no emwe ihe jo na this um this um ihe onye buchi ima na si so wa ai mbai na ito puta emwe ra ha na zamo wa mbai na ito aha that name o emwe emwe ki emwe ra ni gimu ka na apo onye buchi that name o question ka jo yes and the mo bonye emwe the answer correct yeah how just simple question onye buchi then o kibu kine kibu ihe weteri ihe Oh, you hear what you hear as in a being on now. Oh, boom, I would cheer more. But you know, people ever did the very, very happy. And then, maybe I won't go among women. I remember one note that one gave me one year after the sixth of April this month. Who gave me one year, one more Canada here. Was one more time one because he got on there and wanted that one. Was one more time one made Kuria Kunyamanaka. No, Chajueba, a mother room one may pay cotton. ちこめれべらにゃんもなたらでうにゃいえのしちねけちこかびやまなんわいにゃるんねおるこみやなえにゃぎなかだけんわいにゃくまかえばっぱいずれんわげいやすいゆくりえんちえちゃいなめすせら
wesia ne kwa nwa no nwa ka nha fere na aka bakwa ni ahi igbo ukwa na oti efu na ko we na etite nko ma no mu awu oti oga we chi oga gide 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 ko choro kwa na bi o mu awu isi oti aha na eku matia denu chi wu onye ihe wetere ihe chi wu ana uchi ichi oka wu ana oka mu na gi na ata chi wu oka wu ana ana wetere ya chi chi mado wu wo ihe afuga anya wu neto ihe afuga anya o wu ho mado o wu ho um like a i7 in my name we na dimete una sometimes ina ha ko watch your for ma na go ta mi hi na eku enwe heaven ma na enwe di paradise enwe heaven heaven we ba ina na anya o ya nwa uchi heaven na ha uchi chi wu ihe wetere ihe na uwa o mpa mu uchi mo ya nwa wetere then ngu nwa na o mu gi uchi ha chi gi o chi i wu uchi mu gi Eba ndo na o aju enwe gbo sun ko mam se a nka ta po wo mu se mu na o na enwe onye uchi no so nwe e ma na ha ga ahuma so ni bere ibe because o mu aka hama na agbagari ha baga ha baputa biscuit mu na azuta ga na otu mu na azuta then iputa na agwa ha na enwe onye ozo uchi ha ga di surprise o slavery ki cho ire ha so o mu aka ha ma uchi then ha nwe ike tu puta zie no wa o na ma direct ho fo ma ufu onye chidezi ha na oru agbonya ha agbo wasi ha na enwere onye uchi na onu na ha eme ihe de etu a emu ihe aga aga ha gba ha ifu na oya nwa okoloni ha ada da ba ti ada mind beta nwa agwa ha uchi chi wu onye wetere ihe ihe wetere ihe and the chi according to ihe kuna chi ne kekere ai no yi ya ufodo feel ne etu ai super mwen pora anya mo wi ni mo wo onu mo wa aka no na chikira ino ijiye o power o ya wo ijiye o power because the supreme god or the powerful god na wakacha wo power the power ko ti ra ni me i dey to we control ni ho na me ho na to ni me no wa o ya wo ijiye ha o power wo mado wo ho physical something or the power and all the power ka ma juga be you were you were bro and on facebook or the other power ka ka da here nke microsoft of our boring buffet i think there's a here nke microsoft go on go on onye me onye me eh go on no problem it doesn't really matter i understand what you hello yeah continue brother continue we are in go on now un go na ke me me ke put to in in me hi me me aka he me we because na ha connect be with the achi ihe ngu nwa ji we no re ba awu ti if you believe in your chi oya nwa ji we the god and the way ga stop mu ge tell the stop why no nwa bi so chi wu ihe ngu ine ko ike chi ne ke dere ayo wo power to do something ma dey me to be oya nwa wo the power nwa nwa ori ya ori ti ne ke kere ayo wo power to move mountain power to o the power na o onye owo na nwe ndiri ne na kontori ihe me that chi eji eji be we na manifest ye na the afra land is because ndi na kontrol aye nwe enye by opportunity to use that chi as in that power to do something chi wu i akopi five to five finalize wu chi wu ihe wetere ihe ihe owo na ifu mu puta or something like enosti no wu chi oya nwa mu puta mu puta ha oya nwa the god of that moto you all know what put are here no wa o chi and you know i know okori si heaven o heaven o and paradise o ihe am na ri na eku now oku yi no na na stage ya na eku now then mbo se a cho em 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 metusela o na afo here e ga afo kwa ndi no na eno wa ha na si ha no metusela ku kwere o de ha o mbi mo na ri na ba e discuss ma ka the good things in no wa o ya nwa we am e wo ye ga ro ro ge o gun wa da ri no pokori si ai ko de agbu ri na apa ya ri and the all and the only thing that they are all who only know is your book that she and you so give that power by giving him it was you and you so man then and the karma or this is called this is because no one who is your book then that that power by any me when they use this year or a spirit and a fair and a or you cook or and 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 one or one you cook a hand is your book fair but I give him no you so give the money and the go and the one that has money the powerful on the money and I was again. Right. Thank you, brother. Uh, thank you, brother. I love your conversation. Yeah. Uh, let me allow you. I love your conversation. Yeah. But I have something to put in as you, because I have never gotten the response. I know the man may say that um, uh, Christianity, what has have done in our life is by giving us a false hope, which is also in a negative effect. Because I'm thinking about positive. What well, the question I'm asking, 
the positive things uh, Christianity have done in our life. Uh, what the man will say is even not good for us to be, you know, having a false hope and suffering. And that's why they gave us this nonsense music. They call him Kamam Gamu, Kam Dolewa, or Awon Dolin Dolin. That man will be like that and die. And then the children will come out again and also be like that and die, suffering and pain in anguish and dying. But in Western world, they never want to be having a hope. They go for it. This thing that is going on in Ukraine now in Russia, many of you will be thinking it's normal. They want to fertilize their area so that people will begin to respect one another. But when you begin to say, let us manage it, let's hope. Just like this, your brother, and look at what your brother said here. This is what your, your brother said. And he's coming out to contest for election. And people will also go and vote for him. Look at him here. Why is he saying this thing? Because of him. Uh, religion when he came out and say only when did you them uh, hope for it? Uh, look at it here. This is what our own brother is doing to us. Look at it. He said these people are not capable of holding anybody ransom. You know why he's saying this? Because of his past experience. Because of that man that said it Christianity give us false hope. Have you ever imagined it? if there's nothing like Christianity, there will not be like hope. We will go for them straight ahead. Since we have agreed that the government is part of God, we have, like I said, they hold our future in their hand, whether I like it or not. No matter what we try to do, in school system, they have a system that can control the school system to have a very you know conducive environment, a quality education. When the government is not functioning, the school system will be nothing to write home about. So they hold your destiny, your future in your hands somehow. So when they are not functioning, you cannot be just idle like that. Say, let us begin to live and have hope. You will go for them. And that is why we have not been going for them. That is why they can be the look at what let me repeat what he said. He said, This boy cannot hold anybody to ransom. Why? Look at this is our man. When you are talking about IPOB, they have they have sacrificed a lot. They are men, fallen men. And look at what he said here. He said, Don't mind those boys. They cannot hold anybody to ransom. These boys will help them to win elections. It's impossible. It's not our law, it's not our way. Election must be democratically done. These boys are not capable of holding anybody to ransom. Okay, no, yeah. Only this statement alone can make us to be tough. These boys say we look cannot hold anybody to ransom. Even though there are no non many our own people are better to us. Many people are called, are called other than uh, Matthew Sarah. Uh, these are non government. Uh, look at what they are doing. I say, Do I know who's a non government? Why are you calling me? No, because the, the government says IPO. Then again, I bomb now. Then, then government will not IPO. You didn't want to go to the government to ask them, How do they know that it's IPO? I'm not. Am I the spokesperson of IPO? Do I tell you I have a position in IPOB? You are calling me because you see I talk on internet to tell you how daft our people are. That these people are not capable of owning because we are also having hope. Like my brother that just called, I I I I on that I appreciate your conversation. Any day the role of being with that man, where I say that false hope is a cow act of cowardness. That is better for all of us to perish than to be living in such abject poverty. Our leader have said it in one of his brokers. Many of them that we are sold to America, in the, they are working in their plantation. I didn't mean they revolt. Who knows? They will have mouth in America. But they were doing slavery, 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 uh, building. 
they, they are building America. Now, do, the black people, do they have a say in American politics? No, 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 do they have a say? They can only sing their music, play their basketball, you end there. Even other nationalities that are, they didn't build America are coming in now to have more mouth on them. Because they didn't fight. It just so recently, they just rise up uh, through the, uh, you know, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and uh, Malcolm X them. Recently. Are they not still suffering? Do they fight? No. Are they still suffering? They are still suffering. So we can continue being in this mess if we didn't stand up. Now, I probably have one to take the bull by the horn. What are they experiencing? You've seen it now. And when other groups in the autopilot you do to divert their attention. And here, yeah, government is telling you that they, 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 they are not capable. Because of what? He's, he was right, but he's no more right. He was right then because of his own experience about our people. Our people in a megoli helem hal, hagan a church, a megoli like this. Let us put it in prayer. God, 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 fight my battle. God, fight my battle. Then when you hear that Boko Haram have done something, they're not, you start to crap. So we must wake up. Um, yes, I have you. Uh, yes, can you hear me? Hey, my brother, good evening. All right, man, you're welcome, brother. Yeah. Um, just uh, to contribute to your program. Mm -hmm. so what, you are, what you are saying is actually the truth. And uh, to ask to read, you know, I have experience of uh, somebody from my own village. He was a very handsome man, heavy man. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, he became a cripple. His two legs mm -hmm. cannot walk again. Right. And uh, he was able to, in that situation, in that condition, raise money to go to crusade. He went to about two crusades. From my place to Benin is about two hours drive. Mm -hmm. He went to crusade in Benin with the hope that he was going to come back walking again. Mm -hmm. Only to come back and he became more sad and uh, he will lose that hope that he thought he had before. Mm -hmm. When he was asked what happened, he said they said he is the problem, that mm -hmm. he does not have faith. <laughs> that, is why, that is why he did not hear. <laughs> okay. ah. Tell me, my brother, yeah. how can you say somebody who was already a cripple, mm. he not come low to doing business of uh, uh, meat. He buys seed, he uses it to do pepper soup and all that. Mm. People will come to his place and buy it. And then he sells that off, go and buy another one. Sometimes the key goes for all those business, sell a drink also, to raise money for more. And then he spent this money on transportation to a place in Benin where they are holding to stay. Right. Only to come back and hear from the pastor that uh, he does not have faith. And that is why he did not hear. What more faith can somebody like that have than using the money he so far for in his condition to want to go and uh, heal himself and come back healthy. What, what more faith do they want that that, that person can offer? Very Just simple. like the video you show of that little baby that they place in his stomach for 21 days. Yeah. Within the 21 days, it is prediction the man did though. He expected that the baby would die within 21 days. And then we come back to tell the mother, you see, normally they blame two things, two, two people. If either they blame you that you don't have faith, that is why you died. Or they would blame God that, uh, you know, God give it and God take it. Correct. Correct. That, that, way, that way, you cannot blame them for their failure. Mm. That they fail for not doing, for their or deceit. they don't have power for to deceit. have healed your problem. Exactly. They have not pushed the blame on you. of the, the repercussion that you now have. They have not pushed it to either you or God. Either you don't have faith or you know God give it and God take it. Exactly. So this is why a, a way to drive home your point that what most of these people are doing is just prejudicial. Exactly. And it's not because mm. that power is actually with them. Mm. Yeah, if right. these people actually have power, there are a lot of things that 
they can do with no power. I'm telling you. They can overturn dead human beings. Not to come back. You are going far. You are going far. You are going far, brother. They can just uh -huh. pray so that Buhari will say, oh, these people go your way. They are fraud. Yeah, 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 go your way. Exactly. Is of course exactly. Be fighting and the or they can do things so that this issue of secret that they are hiding about the death of Buhari should be revealed. Exactly. They should do it, let it be revealed. Mm -hmm. Whatever secret they are holding in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Or they should, this uh, electricity that we are not having in Nigeria, mm -hmm. they, they should be able to provide the solution, either by force or by fire. Let it be light, mm -hmm. and there will be light, like God did it. Exactly. Yeah, correct. If they want to place their faith in the position of God. Yeah. So, <clears throat> this is uh, uh, one of it that I want to spot out. Mm -hmm. Another thing I want to mention or point to is. Uh, to let our people know those people, so uh, some of our people who are waiting to hear the voice of Nandi Kano, that you may not even hear it again. Because just like when Jesus Christ came to earth, after he finished his work, he told the disciples that he was living mm -hmm. and he left, he died. MNK is alive. There is nothing that that man is going to teach that he has not done. Mm -hmm. There is nothing. And that, those are the things, every lecture and teachings he has given is what we are making reference to today. Exactly. He has helped us to realize that we are God's children. Mm -hmm. He has helped us to know that we, we, dear, we, our names represent God. Our, you can find God's name, God, in our name. For sure. We are the only one that bears that name mm -hmm. on earth. That goes to show that we are actually God's children. And, but we did not know. He has come back to refresh our memories and help us to know who we are. And the reason why people hate, hate us today is because they know who we are, but we, we don't know who we are. Exactly. I agree. And then going back to the power that you are talking of, there is a video you just showed now before I call. We are military. And let me make reference also to uh, people who were kidnapped uh, recently in Kaduna. Mm -hmm. Somebody was giving, um, um, as in wit uh, witnesses, they were giving, um, they were testifying to what they saw. That the people who are actually doing these things and leading people to forest and terrorizing Nigeria, most of them are below 18. But do you know what makes 18 year old boy or girl? powerful than 60 years old person they are living into forest. The only thing, simple thing is just that gone. For sure. It's gone. It's so gone. that is exactly the point that you mentioned when you said the power here is this weapon That's all. and uh, all those uh, uh, missiles Misai. that uh, they are launching over the, uh, from one country to the other. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly the truth. Mm -hmm. If you notice when these people start to think twice about IPOB, and the Biafra is when after ESN was launched. Exactly. exactly. They, now, they now realize that these people, if we must go to them, mm -hmm. we must go with only one thing that differs us with them now is experience. Are you hearing are you hearing you know, are you the, hearing Python dance? Are you hearing the Python dance? Again? Is, the Python question dance. now is who has more experience mm -hmm. between ESN and Nigeria terrorists? Who has more experience? The one with better experience we always get a good result mm -hmm. if they meet. Exactly. That is what, if Nigerian government want to go out today say against Biafra, to go and keep Biafra indiscriminately anyhow, if not, they will prepare, exactly. they will look into strategies, they will look into procedures, methods, that they will carry out their procedures. Yeah, correct. They will not go again on like, plan, on, on plan, yeah, yeah. because they know that there is something yeah, that they don't have that which we now have. Mm -hmm. So this is the real pure truth. Yeah, correct. But when you tell people this truth, they don't want to listen. Okay. But the only thing we want to know is that we don't want to go into confrontations with the Nigerian government. Mm -hmm. Because we just have little or nothing. Mm -hmm. When it compared to say full blown out. Yeah. And that is why we still remain on non violence. Correct. Not because we are not wise or because we don't know what to do. But as our leader said, we are going to remain on this 
and we will continue to wait for his um, instructions and follow the directions of DOS. Thank you, brother. For what to do. We should not think we are wise. Mm -hmm. Try to play smart. Mm -hmm. That smartness has never led us into anywhere mm -hmm. from uh, when we have been suffering up to date. Yes, that has not led us to anywhere. So we rather wait and obey instructions. That's what I want to advise our people. All those ones that are defrauding us because of kind of um, with impatience is one of the problem we have, impatience. Mm -hmm. We just want things to be done immediately and urgently. So day to day, mm -hmm. let it be done. Things are not done that way. So we should wait for people who have the experience, people who know uh, know the know, who know what to do, people who who have who have who are tested and trusted in this sure. movement. Sure. Follow their instructions. Sure. We should not jump jump uh, try to jump order or instruction or try to read minutes into certain things. All those persons that are not IPOB, they can never be IPOB and they can never have the experience and knowledge. Mm -hmm. that ITU be hard. Mm -hmm. So if we start following them and letting them to deceive us, we are we are just uh, like jumping from uh, uh, fire to fry pan. Right. Thank you, brother. And we will not get anything at the end of the day. Thank right now they are going down, mm -hmm. down the drain, and that is where they, they are going to to end. They will never have a, a return from the, the direction they are going now. Mm -hmm. They will continue to fight themselves until they are nowhere to be found. Right. Why IPOB will continue to remain stronger and united. Correct. Right. Thank you. Thank brother. you. Thank you, brother. I love your conversation. I love that. I love that conversation. I tell you, what he said is completely correct. But I want to tell many of you that the people that we have lost are coming back. I assure you that many of the wise men, when I say wise people that have been in this program, I'm sorry that many of you will say, Why am I calling them wise? They are returning back. They were manipulated. Like what our brother said, when they tell you to stop, you stop. You don't know their plan. And, um, let me call you. I think this is the first time for you to call me, and I think you'll be the last caller. Yes, can you hear me? Very snappy. You'll be the last caller. Yes, can you hear me? Hello, Matusel. I want to name to say Dick. All right, you'll be the last caller. Yes, you are welcome. Yes, what do you have for us? Very snappy. Mama, that's supposed to stay two hours, so it's more than yes. Because I broadcast. I broadcast. I that I was waiting for you. I couldn't find you online. But when I, I, I use another Facebook to search you now, I've seen that you have almost since two hours online. It's like these people are monitoring you, maybe. If you give the time, the actual time you're coming online, they will just re re remove those people that watch your program. That time you you made a notice that you, this is the time you're coming online. They will wait for you and they remo remove us. We cannot be able to assess your broker. <laughs> and the letter will not even mm. the, the, the watch the, the post. Mm. So it's, it's disturbing. I don't know what, oh, so I don't either know. You, you can get another platform like uh, YouTube or or uh, Instagram, so that if, if they block or if they remove on this side, you follow the other side. We must win them. Correct, correct. They are correct. correct. They are targeting you. They are now you are, you are their target now. They are targeting you. Others can confirm the, what I'm saying now. I, I watch, I check you, all that my Facebook, I couldn't find you. I said, ah, but you give us, you said you're coming by system. Then I have to use my old Facebook that I'm not using. Then I found I found that at your online. You are even about to finish. Please do something about it. You get another platform, another, another uh, YouTube, or I Instagram. I will do that. I will do that tomorrow. I would like. Yeah, what, I, mean, I, would, I will do it. Yes. I will do it tomorrow. I will do it tomorrow. Yes, right. I will do it tomorrow because of this, and I will create a new uh, YouTube uh, account tomorrow, and I will pass it on. You are correct. There's uh, so many other people that are telling me they prefer watching me from YouTube. I will do that, brother. Thank you very much for bringing that to my notice. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Correct, man. Well Correct. Done, bro. Correct, man. Correct, man. Thank I think you. I'm having other callers coming. I know this our brother have never called me before. That's why I pick his call. And um, it's a very important notice. I will create a Facebook page tomorrow. I mean, um, uh, our brother. I have to pick your call. If I didn't pick your call, you will not be complete. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. 
Hello, my dear brother. All right, man. Hello. Yes, we are hearing you, brother. Okay, good evening from here. You're welcome. Uh, let me just make a fast one because I can see that uh, mm. you are already rounding up. Mm. And what I want to say, my dear brother, is concerning those returning. Okay. Those that have just woken up from their slumber. Mm. And please, I want to plead with dear friends. Mm? Yeah. Because I have listened to a lot of people who keep on saying that in IPOB we don't forgive. Yes. In IPOB, we don't forgive. But we should also follow the footsteps of the man that is guiding us towards the right path, mm -hmm. which is Martin Nanikan. Mm -hmm. I have followed this man for a long time. And I remember when Solomon, I grew up also, a very strong supporter of Ushemefo. Ushu In fact, he left. IPOB with which may for to form the Afran customary government with Asari Dokoko. Mm -hmm. I hope you are listening to me, my brother. Yes, we are listening to you, brother. Okay, to form that the Afran customary government. And we all know how it went. But let us this our brother return back, called Mazen the Kano on an interactive section on Radio Biafra. I think it's a a somebody, somebody able, able. Yes. forgave that guy. Mm. Welcome him back into the family. I know that these people have made a lot of... Some people were saying, supposing the, the structure was destroyed, the IPOB was, was destroyed, and they are coming back. What would they mean? Yes. They made a, a whole lot of mistakes. But sometimes in life, even those people castigating those returning back, like Paul Achebe and the rest of them, they have also made mistakes. If they've not been forgiven, how would they would have moved on? I want to plead to Biafra. A lot of people are coming back. Look at Omoada today. All those PhD holders in America, they were also being misled. Engineers in America, professional doctors, they were being misled by a single lady, Nelly of Ebu. So I want people, I don't, sometimes I don't know whether this woman is using the goddess spirit. I don't really understand. People fell, a, a whole lot of people fell for her, 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 hello, hello, her, according to China Tamur. Now people are waking up, coming back. As an Amboya Tetara, or a bottle here. There are people who woke, who woke up uh, last January, some December last year, some February, some this March. Even the place, a lot of people will still be returning back to the struggle. And I want us to understand that at the earlier stage of this war, Bruhara, that people were confused. And when people were confused, remember that a lot, a lot of people were following Samuel Epa. And Samuel Epa was used to mislead people. People were following Samuel Epa because they made sure he interviewed Oyendu, and Oyendu said, okay, um, Samuel Epa is doing a good job. People should also be listening to him, just like why the different child and other um, IPOB broadcasters. And people started listening to, uh, to Samuel Epa. And Samuel Epa, I have written this thing before. If, I don't know whether most, some of our, our different uh, 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 our different brothers Knew the time we had uh, John Negolisa, uh, Fred Ajidua, those days around the late, uh, early 80s to, uh, to late 80s. If they remember how these guys operate in their 419, they will understand that Samuel Epa is playing that same smartness because they invite white men from, uh, from America or Germany anywhere. They pay them. And they will use the, They pay them. They will use the. Uh, they will use. They will pay them the to. They will, uh, just to make it to put the yeah. record straight. They will pay them to grant them interview. They pay them. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. So Continue. when this white man came, they used long convoys of cars with Nigerian government plated numbers. Drive them to be one of the biggest hotels, Sheraton, Lloyd's. Then the next day, they they take them to the Minister of Petroleum. Maybe it might be Fred Ajidua in a very mighty office. The white man will just be not, not in his bed. 
the next thing, they will fly him from Lagos direct to Bonny, where the oil is. And the white man will be seeing that this is the oil field. And this is the, 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 the ship that we carry the, 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 the crude oil he wants to push it. Mm -hmm. After all these things, my dear brother, the next thing the white man will start making call for transfer. This thing Samoyepa is doing, Samoyepa used this same thing to lure a lot of people. People started seeing golden cup, good house. You, you know, he, he, the guy is a very good, he, he, he knows he's a con artist. He knows how to manage it. So I want to plead to dear friends, eh? mm. please, let us, I know, <laughs> that already started. That already started guys, asking you questions. <laughs> I, 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 trust, I trust. I trust. I trust. I trust. So if that person is an IPOB, so that give chances. The store and uh, maybe and misbehaved and left. When he comes back, and you know, oh, Charles, mm. then we can we can accommodate the whole world. That that person can never ever have access to whatever is playing out in IPOB anymore, like top secret. If he was a former, former member of uh, the finance team or the uh, or coordinator, now those things would be stripped away from him. So, but we have to accept some of these people to come back because they were misled. Mm. The example is no more than PhD holders, engineers. Look at them today crying. So, when we were, we the media workers were shouting for many months this last year, they didn't realize that some was a scam. We were even giving proofs, even you, some Methuselah. Uh, you were bringing evidences every day, evidences about this thing. See, they didn't believe. But now they, their eyes are open. So let, let us just play brotherly role here yeah? and accept people, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. I feel you, brother. I feel brother. One family. <laughs> One family. I feel you, brother. I feel you, brother. Um, because um, in this trouble, what point you is it is just is equal nonsense. Yeah, the only person I've seen in this our struggle, I think in the entire in the entire Biafra land that they respect so much is Mazen Nandikano. If they were anything in a mass comment session or it will go some Mazen Nandikano, it has an all ideas. He made mistake. He made mistake. <laughs> he made mistake in our sentences. Even it had not to say, I can get any aggression on these people. I feel I feel I am with the media war. We're everywhere. That is why I was laughing when I see someone like, coming out and saying, I feel we were wrong. I saw no more bother. I want you on your map on. Oh, one year you gonna. Nobody's sleeping. So, like I think that one certain time somebody wrote, um, Mazen American is a good, meaning that I think a good is a great of all time or something like that. How we are saying that that you know. <laughs> I want the comment section. I love that. They say you have to, you have to write this thing. Please change that thing. Don't, don't, don't take time to be insulting our leader, our people. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Uh, what our brother said is, I agree with him. Anybody that just um, find his way out, and at the same time he come out in the open and said, "I am very sorry, I was manipulated." My, my brother, man, made a mistake. Man, made a mistake. Because I go, I'm going to some extent. It's not. We are talking about those that have been manipulated. We are not talking about the manipulators. I want to manipulate on their self. We are talking those that have been manipulated. That came and said, "We were deceived." We will allow them, but not to enter into the struggle. They can begin to preach about their from their own. If you can go there and support them, no problem. Just like um, uh, Paul Achebe is doing now. Many of you are seeing what he's doing. You can give the person support. It does not mean that uh, everybody must come inside to begin to fight for resolution of their friend. They can be in their own platform and be preaching the gospel. The only nature will judge them, but not in the manipulator. The manipulator themselves have their own penalty. There's no forgiveness in that area. The people that are the they are sitting and manipulating people. I recall that this idiot that was someone that we have that money say be friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> I go to you. I said this is really last one. People are still calling. Yes, can you hear me? Correct, man. I say shalom to you. 
Shalom, brother. And I answer, uh, answer one another, Shalom. Mm, you are welcome. And I agree today in indigenous people of Biafra. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, good evening from my own very location. Mm -hmm. I am Mazi C. Calling from my own very location. Okay. Uh, the two and the more, you know, the reason why I call is because of this last caller. Okay. The water grow. Uh, I want I want to ちゃんとのもいや、ちゃんとあ、パカって、パカって、おにねおい、おいね、どうぞ、どうぞ、どうぞ、どうぞ、どうぞ、どうぞ、どうぞ、どうぞ、どうぞ、どうぞ、どう
and the as Chukuku Adam and Habi, the struggle still stand. Nobody touch it, it's still standing. So my own analogy still remain those that have been de deceived, not the people that are deceiving, the people that have been deceived and realized it and said we are sorry. I didn't say they should come inside IPOB. I repeat, they should continue in their own stand and be working for the restoration of Biafra. Only nature will judge them. So our brother Donald, I, I don't know what I understand, but go on, my brother, just round off, round off. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to hold you up. I yes. totally agree with you. You know why I say so? The reason why I say so, the reason why I agree with you in totality, that is not on my stand. It is very clear and understandable. See, it doesn't mean that we can't work with you. It doesn't mean that we are not working with you. It doesn't mean that we are not working really. in the same line with us. But what we are saying is that Kudo Wachia just like what is happening in Nigeria. We are not telling you totally that we don't have any relationship mm -hmm. with the outer of planet. Mm -hmm. But we found out that living in the same house is not making sense with us. Mm -hmm. We want to live, live in your own house so that I will live in my own house. So that when I'm coming, I am coming as a neighbor and you will be seeing me as a neighbor. You will not be seeing me as a person who wants to take what belongs to you, or somebody who wants to take the property away from you. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is our own point. Now that the struggle has not been totally, it has not been destroyed at all. Mm -hmm. The apology is actually accepted, and we we we, we take the apology by individual. Apology accept accepted by individuals, not by the body of IPOB. By individuals. Mm. Individual. Individual, please. Oh, no, 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 no. By, uh, individual, by individuals, yes. yes. It is by just like Paul, Paul Achabena. I'm watching him. I'm I continuously watching him. I do comment on his uh, this thing. I hope you understand. Mm. Ah, August, continue. You are doing a good job. That is it. But it doesn't mean that uh, uh, we, we should bring them into that very family again. You see, let yeah. all of us, we are the same thing. We are. Biafran, we are looking for one thing. What we are saying is that know where your gap is. Know your gap. So my brother make it when you make it there. Right, like man. I said initially, I don't want to dump, I don't want to dump into religious uh, methodology because I glad, I glad this, I this, have left us with the one we have by today. I'll be talking to you about the pre-honest of what we are and who we are. But mm -hmm. when you try to gather every other religion into your brain, even Islam is there, or Menana is there, uh, Christian, Christianity is there, even that Christianity have Anglican, they have Catholic, they believe they have their own chief, the way they worship their own chief. Mm -hmm. All these things are problems to us. That is why when we came, we told them, Leave your religion, but he can't leave it because all the got part of you. Exactly. So, I want to make it better. Correct, I man. believe now somebody has, somebody has got time with the experience mm. on this religious aspect of it. Because I did not talk about something about religion now. In fact, they even confuse me more. I hate you, grand. Thank you, brother, for your contribution. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Let me. Let me solve the problem. Those of you that write it, let me solve the problem. Let me solve your problem. Pay attention. Let me solve your And I, I am a Bible. I, I, I ain't got a of uh, Let me solve this problem. I think I'll be able to see it here. This is a one zero 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 zero. Let me solve your problem. Those that are talking. Let me see if it's what I have here. Let me see if it's what I have here. But I'm telling them, yes, in Biafra, we can do anything we like to do. But in Nigeria, in so far as Nigeria is concerned, never ever condemn your own. Mm. Only those that use their mouth to condemn themselves. Like that's a minister for mm. gutter and drainage in Lagos. Those ones, uh, there's no forgiveness. Even in hell, there's no forgiveness. Mbaka said, Impeach this incompetent idiot. Instead of people to focus on what Rebecca said, to see if there is merit in it or not, you abandon what he said and you try to attack his character. Typical black people. 
Is there any merit in what he's saying? Exactly what they did to, to, to IPOB. What they did to me. They will always abandon the message and begin to attack the message. Take the man's message. This idiot here should be beat. And there were some of our people foolishly jumped on the bank, bank one on. I don't know why they're doing it. Nigeria is not normal. How many days are Biafra with Hungary as normal as you like? But the zoo is not normal. Why do you think I am paying for this late like all these accounts? As idiotic as it is. I can pay for him to do it. I can pay for him to do it. Where do you think Bolivia is? You think Bolivia is because uh, of, of, of what? Not because they are your own. They are your own. Defend your own. I have a large hair, but no, some of you don't go to the village. Some of you are attacking them back and they don't go up in the village. Because there's a the saying where we come from. I have a large hair, but I have a water. When the kite comes to bring up the chief belonging to a reward hand, a stupid uh, um, mother chicken that took <laughs> uh, to 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 <laughs> to the she shouldn't go to. The fish on the loss of a, a baby a chief to a height. I'm trying to explain this in a manner that mothers who are listening by them need and didn't again. Oh grandmothers are listening to us. That is why I speak the type of English that will make it possible for them to understand exactly what I'm saying. You know Kai Table? You can tell where it comes from. When the kite is coming to pick up the little chick. Despite the fact that you know that the hen should not have taken the, the, her kids to wear, to, 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 to wear the kite, to make it easier for the kite to attack, uh -huh. you first of all start feeling to drive the kite away. Uh -huh. And then in the evening, when the hen comes back with the chick, you now blame that hen. I put on there. 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 Why are they as nature? Individuals, people can say, okay, continue doing what you are doing. Individually. I played you what our leader is preaching about, Ojo Zoka. He can play for Ojo Zoka. This man, Mr. Hiana, starting to talk nonsense for years. As soon as that pain is under attack, you must have that danger by driving away the kite. Then you will have to go to the kite. Then you will have to go to the kite. Hold on there, our leader, I think. I think this is what I have for today. I want to thank many of you that are with me. Let me make myself clear before now. When are they confused? I said and I repeat. Many of them that said have been deceived. I am seeing a lot of comment that makes sense. So a brother that said, uh, don't uh, bring out your spit and lick it. Uh, no day for that. I still stand on my ground. And I and I told many of you each and the other. As a kind of intelligent questions our people are throwing our people are saying what of if the, that their mistake have caused death which is true it's not that if it has caused a lot of death because they follow and join that wagon to be shouting another different you know thing that led to the death of so many people individually when i say individually they can be forgiven individually. They don't need to come into IPO. And even I said, okay, forgive me, come into it. You know that we have accepted them. Individually, they can be forgiven and be listening to them and maybe use them to expose others. The nature will judge them. Each of them put on internet. Many of you are like. I am mean, many of you that are dragging US now to the mall. You want them to be watching and watching and so on, 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 on the open. You talk about everything in the open. Individually, they will be forgiven. Let them continue doing their own job in their own platform. But nature will judge them. I think at this point in time, I have to leave many of you. I want to thank you that even the Mazen Nam, the country today said, many of you don't even know the new update. Mazen Nam, the country has been included. In the enemy camp, according to Mary of Hope. You have never seen her latest post. He included everybody. Mazen Nam can or go to Ojos or Kalidem. They are in the same camp. 
so i don't want us to begin to double into that like our brother i just called last i know you you have been so you know agile with this trouble it's my choice to forgive for me i can't forgive them you see prince Valentin, you can't be forgiven <laughs> <laughs> how are we this mind you have is the mind we follow this is the kind of mind the mind we need to get our freedom you see this kind of mind now i i love what you are right many of you you've written well i cannot condemn can't you see the way i'm displaying whatever you are writing on screen because it makes sense you see it, it makes sense that's why you see me display it i will have ignored it but it makes sense. Many of you are making a lot of sense. A lot of these things many of you are writing is also by choice of the leader. Like our brother give the example of Solomon Abel that just said our leader, I'm sorry. And um, he mentioned his name. You know, this is him. He said, forgive him. He can, he can as well forgive him. Look, we care when individual will go from behind and do his own job. Say, if our leader forgives you, me, I cannot forgive you. He do and do and do. Maybe the guy has received pain because of that betrayal and of that. But only she have said, ah, yes, we forgive you. Up and him up, individually. So that is why it's not good to, in the first place, to double into what you don't want to kiss people. The, the reason why we are talking about apology, apology, because we are not into freedom fighting. Yeah, I'm a freedom fighter. In the home, I say, forgive, forgive. I can have as dead. I tell you the truth. That's why I've been shouting all those. They say we are in our awareness today. We are not free of being free of fighting. So good night from here. I want to thank you. Sarah, I want that good. Or they just ah, there's something now. This forgiveness nonsense is why black people are in the current. You are also correct. Ah, I only just got you. We are internet. Mm. Individually, you know, only, only June about her. Individually, let them continue. Can't you use them to get what you want? <laughs> Our sister says, always will be chasing you. The same way they're chasing me. That's why I'm taking it is to select a word that I say here because they're monitoring me. They're monitoring me. That's what our leader says. And um, the members, dear friend, the members is not easy task until we get to the destination. I sign out from the city of Vienna and I say good night. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, depending on where you are. And I welcome you to this program where I will be navigating through the insecurity going on in Nigeria. And not only the insecurity that we are going to be talking about, you know, we are going to be touching some things, but most importantly, we are going to be navigating the insecurity in Nigeria, just as you may, you have seen it, lamentation is all over the place. <laughs> lamentation is all over the place. While you are joining, invite others to join. I am not going to waste your time. I am actually going to make it real quick because I am also not, you know, having a lot of time at hand. And my apologies, we're supposed to start this program half past seven Biafra time, but something came up. I had to attend to something, but we are here now. A lot others that we are here to preach the gospel of freedom, the gospel of liberation, and the gospel of decolonization that's what we are here to do share this video invite others to join before we proceed with this you know gospel we want to hear the gospel from the great leader Mazi namde kano let us hear from do you believe that the zoo nigeria is a failed state you doubt me? I want you to go back again to Wikipedia, not to go to Google, type in failed state. 
what are the examples of a failed state? Do you know what makes a failed state? Now listen, they are corrupt. There is something called crony corralling of resources at the expense of other groups. Do you know what is called crony corralling of resources? Exactly what Ismaila Issa Funtua did. It is that was suffering. All Ismaila Funtua did was to go to Central Bank, tell MFL, give me money. MFL gave him money, $400 million. He went and bought it is a lot and changed it to nine mobile. He never worked for that money for one day in his life. The only thing he had going for him was that he was close to the dead Buhari. He was one of the cabal. They have nothing, they produce nothing, they generate nothing, they control everything because of our to the lamentation of by President Buhari after claiming to be from Jigawa State a few months ago. I told you people here to, to, to it's not just a joke, it's something beneath a joke. The incompetence of Fomani is there for all to see. You can see the administration, you can see them, they run everything, you can see how incompetent they are, you can see how kleptomanical they are, you can see they are thieves, they, they are Yoshi, they are thieves, you don't want to learn. They are warmongers, they are killers and they are murderers and they are rapists, you see all these things, yet you are blind. People, you are frustrated, graduates, doing other battle, riding on Kada. They are not supposed to be there at the end of the day. No job, nothing. There is a less than me. Hot water, hot drop. Kai, carry them, put it there inside the back of the air. They take them to Greek. Is that where it's supposed to be? We saw it. We are seeing it. And we continue to see it until we change our approach until we know exactly what we want until all of you in that contraption know what you want nothing is going to change nothing is going to change <laughs> the reason why we started from here the reason why we started from here is actually you know to build you you know a preamble for you to understand exactly what we are talking about it is being preached it is already been told <laughs> it's just that the people who heard it they do not have anything on top of their skull in order to make implementation to uh, you know to avert all these things that you are seeing in nigeria today i am not going to take much of your time that is the reason why i would like you to share this video we are going to you know make it very brief maybe an hour is enough an hour is enough for us to be here but we are going to be making a very very important exposition let let us run quickly we are going to run to you know straight to the lamentation of a senator from the north the lamentation of a senator from the north so that you will understand exactly what is going on i know i hope you all be all people you know exactly what happened again today another train you know derailed or fell fell off the rail or moved off the track and fell you know so it is all about it keeps happening you know train this train that insecurity everywhere but let me bring the one that is going to you know bring us towards what we are looking for there is something that i am going to use to shock you tonight all you need is to share the video pay attention you know let us do it because we must continue to debunk you know the atrocities in that damnable contraption called nigeria and there is no going back they should release Mazen Namdekano because their, 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 their thought is that once they have captured Mazen Namdekano, the gospel will no longer be preached. You know, that is the reason why we have infiltration. That is the reason why we have this, you know, people who will be there trying to, you know, make us to lose focus. 
but we need to be focusing as long as those because only as long as those that they you know that are called autopilot as long as they are doing you know they are we have drawn the line for them we told them where they should not cross once they cross it we will change our topic because there is some somebody who is in the comment section asking me you are no longer exposing simon you know but to be honest with you he is irrelevant in the things that we want to be doing but we don't have a choice when somebody come from nowhere and call themselves you know make themselves infiltrator in ipob i don't need to expose him right now you know the dead is being is busy burying the dead of course you see the religious leaders and their and their you know atrocities the dead is busy burying the dead you know once they cross the line that we have drawn we will change our topic automatically because we are here not to tolerate any nonsense from anybody. We don't tolerate, we don't take nonsense from anybody, regardless of whom you are, whether you are working for contraption, whether you are working for yourself, whether you are working for you do. Of course, you can see that you do is busy trying to, you know, control autopilot <laughs> just like we have been saying or not actually trying to control they are controlling but our preaching is making autopilot leader to understand that he cannot be you know that he's being controlled by a woman so that is the reason why they go ahead writing twitters which i am going to show you but it's not relevant right now let us go there where it is very very important which is bringing to you this where you will understand the amount of insecurity in Nigeria. Let us try to understand the insecurity in Nigeria, how, how far it is gone, how far this insecurity is gone. Listen up. To put behind the mover of this motion. Before we proceed, for you to understand who is right in front of your screen right now, it is the reps majority leader gets emotional. Call for Nigeria to bear arms. I want you to pay attention, you know, on this so that you will understand the level of insecurity that is happening in Nigeria so that you will not forget what we've been talking about in, 20, in, in 2021. We told you, are you sure that will be 2023? You know, but today we are we are we are here when it began. We are going to be here when it is going to end. We are here right here when it began. We are still here when it is going to end. And they know they know our request. Our request is simple. Give us Biafra let all this insecurity be destroyed you know because the evil that you have done against the children of chukwoki kabiyama is coming back to haunt you because we've been your major target you've been calling us your problem we've been the problem of nigeria that is the reason why we say let us leave nigeria and go our ways because you know in the before 1914 we were on our own before you know 1914 we were on our own before lord lugard and his wife you know decided to bring us together and decided to carry out an experiment on us let us mix this oil and water to see how they are going to be able to mix together and that was the problem that is no you know the, the, the you know the atrocities that was created more than you know more than five decades ago not actually more than 10 decades ago sorry more than 10 decades ago they created this contraption called nigeria nurturing it through or you know actually renewing it through the power of neo-colonialism even though the you know the experiment they conducted is expired but the people who we are used for the experiment does not understand the magnitude of what they are into the mess that they are into of course ipob mazen namdekanu say thank your god for ipob because if not because of ipob i don't believe that there will be people trying to stand up to speak just like the reps majority leaders you know even though 
though they call it he gets emotional but that is the way it is you know you are when things you know merely ban kgc yeah that um if i can't tell you know of course the inter will be emotional if i can't tell you of course they will be emotional so that is exactly what has you know, happened to them you know we've been preaching that they don't understand they it hasn't touched them but today they are all feeling the spikes of what you know the prophecy of mazen namdekano you know it will be the most shameful thing to this nigeria you know if they do not release mazen namdekano on the 8th of april if it will be a shameful thing and we are going to keep doing exposition on them at the end of the day they will know that taking mazen namdekano out of speaking is not going to spot stop the, the gospel it is not going to spot stop the exposition that is the most important lesson that we need to make these people to understand now let us go there to the majority leader majority leader of you know the majority leader calling for <laughs> nigeria to be a arm listen Mr. Speaker, to also speak in the capacity of the leader of the house, who of course is the ambassador of government on this floor. Mm -hmm. You can see how this chamber, Mr. Speaker, is thrown into disquiet. How this chamber is thrown into emotionally disturbed manner. Mm -hmm. So emotional. Mm -hmm. By the statements and pronouncements anchored by the mover of the motion when you have a government in place mr speaker honorable members the major responsibility of that government especially a democratic one which was elected by the people is to ensure safety of lives and property of its innocent citizens mr speaker when things like this continue continue on daily basis those of us who are representatives of government, Mr. Speaker, we mm -hmm. become speechless. I have to repeat, we become speechless in the discharge of our duties here to okay. defend actions by government. Okay. This is an elected government. Okay. Only now you are recognized. This popular democracy, mm -hmm. Mr. Speaker. But we continue day in, day out. Killings, massacre, wow. banditry, armed robbery all over. What did you just say? Killing massacre day in day out killing massacre arm robbery all over the place <laughs> who is the cause you know when you leave it, the, the 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 head of a finger and you want to you want to do you know as in a that is exactly something you people do not understand mazen nam the colonel was the one who was seeing all these things all of you were there but what is going on you people have taken him into captive what is going on is it still him that is making you people cry every day this cry is just a baby cry i i can assure you because what is to come because you people are now living the most important things to treat, talk about. You've been living it all, all along until, you know, it piled up. It has piled up today. Now all of you in parliament, in National Assembly, all of you are crying. You are crying. It is going to be a curse to all of you. As long as you people heard that voice that has been telling you guys that, you know, there will be an amount of insecurity in Nigeria if you do not let Biafra go. Of course, Biafra is not, you know, we are not physically causing the insecurity, but Chukwo Kikapiyama, who lives in heaven, who owns us and whom we serve, knows exactly it is time for us to leave and leave this damnable contraption called Nigeria. There is no way we you are going to keep us. Oh, if I want to you, I can't and you people believe that you are holding us on the ground you people believe that you are holding us you are killing us you are destroying our people reducing our numbers our voting numbers so that our people will not even smell the seed of leadership 
at all in this duological republic. But guess what today? You people are feeling the spikes of what we've been talking about. You people are, be are feeling the spikes of the prophecy that uh, you know our leader has been giving to you guys. But you guys neglected it that time. Call him the, the you know, he is bringing bringing in security he speak from heaven they it was causing problem in the hell called nigeria and you charge him of a treasonable felony because he you know exposed today yesterday he exposed today yesterday you called him a criminal charge him with a treasonable felony and you believe that it is going to be the solution to what you are going to be facing this is still a minor of what you is to come to the zoo i told you guys from the 2021 is there going to be 2023 in nigeria is there going to be 2023 in nigeria you believe you will silence, you know, the voice of Mazen Namde Kano. I've been, I told you guys, this is a voice of reason and perception shifter. And he's been announcing and telling you, trying to, you know, make you guys to understand because of your ignorance, because of your lack of understanding, because of your undermining people. That is the reason why you find yourselves in this sticky situation right now that everybody is crying everybody is crying i pity the lives of those who are wasting their lives calling for one nigeria every day people are dying if he never taught you you will keep calling for one nigeria but once he taught you <laughs> you will detest one nigeria let us continue let us hear from the majority reps uh, leader this is a report from just one local government out of the 774 local governments of the mm -hmm. federation. One local government, Jiwa local government. And the case of Jiwa is not just a new case that happened last week or just yesterday that is reported. It's only given us the most recent happening. Jiwa has been engulfed by budgetary crisis and killings for the past two, three years. For the past two, three years. <laughs> and for the past uh, uh, five, six years, Mazen Namdekano has been telling you this. For the past five, six years, Mazen Namdekano has been lamenting on this issue. Mazen Namdekano saw it coming. He put ESN in place. All of you call, uh, you call us a terrorist organization. You call us a saboteur. You call us miscreant. You call us criminals. What are you people going to call yourselves right now? Speaking again, the same thing Mazen Namdekano has been speaking for, about. Uh, so you are now speaking the words of a miscreant you are now crying like a miscreant because that is exactly what you people called us when we we are talking about all these things but amazon namde cannot give up swiftly extraordinary rendition so quick to nigeria extraordinary rendition him to the zoo from kenya with the help of the kenya government because they cannot deny that they don't know anything about what is going on at the end of the day they are not actually making any any effort any concerted effort to make sure that a justice is served for somebody you claim you don't know about their activities coming into your soil flying somebody away you know at the end of the day you are telling us there is no evidence to show then if there is no evidence evidence to show there was a criminal in your land what are you have to do what do you what are you doing about it what are you doing about it so that it will not happen again now the result is all over the place kenya president is crying nigeria government is crying all of you are crying and there is no way you are going to cease crying until the you know you do the needful the needful is let the children of God go. Pharaoh, let my people go. That is the needful that you have to do. We don't belong, you know, 
to that contraption created by Britain, you know, manage, you know, through neo-colonialism. They are, you know, making achievement, achieving our resources. They are benefiting from our resources. We are all over the place, running through Mediterranean Sea just to get to Europe. When we get there, we become asylum seekers. From asylum seekers, we look for many jobs. You know, what? how do you think that we are going to keep quiet for so long there is a reason why we run helter skelter from that zoo a lot of you say that the people who are pushing the agitation for biafra are the people who are in abroad are the people who are you know you know in europe and america and all over the place it is true because we have gone out there we have gone out there we have learned exactly what freedom you know looks like we are out there we have learned up from the country that does not have any resources but they have infrastructural development steady power electricity all over the place and you that call yourself nigeria colonized by britain some of you when you are talking ah, we are british colony we speak good english mad people all over the place it is english that you, we are going to eat it is english that is going to stop us from crossing mediterranean sea all we african people we are not visionary we don't see we are blind to see what is in front of us we are blind to see what is going to help us we are blind to see the freedom in front of us that is the reason why you are still maturing and nursing that damnable zoological public called Nigeria you are promoting neo-colonialism that is destroying your people that is bringing insecurity all over the place how can what God give to us as a nation in Biafra land the oil the El the thin ore the zinc the, the cocoa many things that God has blessed us with become a curse to us and it is blessing the Western world, flourishing their land, flourishing their economy. We are grappling with economic meltdown. We are grappling with insecurity. We are grappling with displacement. We are grappling with, you know, with hunger, starvation. We are grappling with what, how many of them are we going to mention and how many are we going to leave behind? Because we have incompetent people all over the place, you know, parading themselves to be our leaders. That is what it is. Uneducated people parading themselves, people with no solution parading themselves, calling the shot of what is going to happen to our lives. That is what is, you know, that is the reason why we find ourselves here where we are. How are we going to get away from this, you know, mess? sticky situation that we are found ourselves into it is only through referendum or conduct a referendum because there is a something that you know the the man in asorok said in his interview just like i played earlier on he said to destroy a, a you know the, to destroy a structure and build it again it might be difficult but he never made it make a first step he never cast a first stone so how is he going to know how difficult or you know or how easy it might be to make people to be free in that contraption called nigeria it is very very you know imperative for or to conduct a referendum let people decide where they want to be let people decide their faith let people decide their future because all this structure that is making us to run away from that place you know those structures it is not in favor of mankind those structures are the structures that is laid for animal that is the reason why we call it a zoo don't blame us we are not being insulted but that is what it is a blind man can see let us continue to listen to the lamentation of the reps majority leader 
as they call it, he got emotional because he's seen the you know all this you know prophecies, all this lamentation, all this preaching that uh, Mazen Namdekanu has been doing. It is now coming to the you know reality. It is no longer been the miscreant making noise. It is now you people are now have now become the miscreant yourselves. Let us continue. <laughs> I think government, government and officials of government, not even the security agencies. Security agencies, of course, are under democratic authority. Government, in this case, has to rise up to its responsibility. Call is paid, is paid. It is about funding. Each and every one of us here knows we have never had any cause to contemplate funding our agents, security agencies. Mm -hmm. And I believe our relevant, relevant committees are following up in terms of implementation of such fundings through our budget, through their oversight procedures, processes, then why things should continue this way? We are here for Nigerian people, and we must speak for Nigerian people. We cannot sit down here, fold our arms, see our electorate, people who elected us into our respective offices, mm -hmm. being killed by the day. Thank you. Thank you. I think if there is any other thing I should add to this motion, Mr. Speaker, with due respect, with due respect to our, our institutional existence. That Mr. Speaker, on account of this institutional failure, regimental failure on the part of our security agencies, mm -hmm. because you have just no cost to, 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 no cost to even raise any excuse for any one of them. Mm -hmm. Funding is provided. Here we are now, as an institution, we have now sent signal, invitation, come, let's, come and meet with the people of Nigeria. Confession. We are indeed the people of Nigeria here, representing our people. Come and interface with us. Let's see how we can still put face together. And confession. Confession, confession, confession time. Now you people are realizing there are people who voted you into power. <laughs> I want to inform you, Nigerianist, you know, one Nigerianist who is sitting there believing that he is speaking for you, believing that he is doing all these things because he cares about you. All of this shenanigan is because of 2023 election presidential coming. That is the only reason why you find these people you know speaking and saying all all these things that they are saying somebody said that we are echoing echo voice we can't hear him good oh okay i think you cannot hear him good because we we actually putting it from this channel straight but uh, um you will you know let me see what I can do about it. Let me reduce the volume from his side. Then I will see probably now. I will probably see if I reduce the volume from his side. Maybe it will be better. OK, now let us try again to see if it is going to be better. Address some of these problems, these perennial problems. Mm -hmm. At the end, what they did, right from head to top. So just like I was saying, I think it will be better now because they, they, there is double volume. That is the reason why it is actually a coin. So the, the thing I am saying, it is very, very important that you people understand that it is 2023 election campaign that these people are doing right now. Don't even believe them exactly that they care for you sincerely. These people, they will never ever care for you. They will never ever look out there for you. It is because they want you to come and stand in the queue as if you are the one voting. At the end of the voting, what you are going to see is selection. They will pick up whom they want to become president just like they have been doing in the last six more than six decades 
leadership by selection, not by democratical election. It is leadership by selection. So all these years, for the past three years, it is only now after people have been killed, have been maimed, have been you know raped, have been you know displaced. It is only today, only now that you people are realizing that people who voted you into power, you know, you people have now to speak about them, to speak for them. You don't realize that man that has been speaking for them. That man, that man that has been speaking for them is languishing in the DSS dungeon in the zoological republic. He's been speaking for them. He's been speaking for, you know, voiceless people. He's been speaking for every individual in that contraption called Nigeria. He's been speaking for them, but nobody paid attention. Even though he cried and asked you to pay attention, you never paid attention. All you see is the, you know, you only see the, you know, the, the, the trouble. You don't see the struggle. That is what you people keep doing. You close your eyes to see the, 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 you know, from seeing the struggle, you open your eyes wide, you know, wide to see the, 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 the trouble. That is the reason why above all the insecurity, above all the, you know, atrocities that terrorists are, you know, you know, portraying in Nigeria, that are discharging in Nigeria, all of them, they are not of that important as it is to go to Kenya, to go and steal Mazen Namde Kanu, kidnap him, you know, rendition him back to the Nigeria and place him in the DSS dungeon where he does not have access to medical checkup. He did not change his clothes. He, you know, his human rights has been violated in so many ways, in different ways. Who is going to answer for that? And your 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 reason being that he 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 broadcasted in heaven and he caused problem in hellfire. That is your reason. Very very laughable, very 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 laughable. He spoke in the in the heaven and it caused problem in hellfire. Therefore, but the same thing he's been preaching is the same thing many of you are preaching today because uh, you know it has touched you it has touched you it has touched you all of you are going to see funu melongunu pharaoh let my people go that is the language pharaoh let my people go otherwise <laughs> there will be no peace in the zoo we are not the ones which is going to bring the you know you know the insecurity the you know we are going to be safe but those of you who are oppressing our people the children of elohim who lives in heaven the god of israel the god of isaac you know the god that changed the name of you know jacob to israel the God that is unifying the two, the lost tribe of house of Jacob. That is the God that is making you people cry like a miscreant that you have called us since we've started crying the same cry. It will only get worse. It will only get worse. Let us proceed. The IG, the DSS, every one of them sent a representative. This is a matter that is beyond a mere representative. The chief, chief executive officer or the chief commanding officer of every security agency owes Nigerians a duty to come and honor the call of the parliament. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to preempt, Mr. Speaker. That was exactly what we were talking about yesterday. That after the incident of train attack, after the incident of airport attack, after all these things that happened, they were invited for a meeting. You know, they send a representative because they don't care. They don't give a damn. It never touched them. They fly aeroplane to go where they want to go. The only place that is left for them to fly aeroplane is inside their lift or inside their room. It will, they don't care about you. They become so busy. And I am going to show you their activities, the activities that they have been on, on to lately. What is more important to them?
what is more important to these security operatives they cannot go there to tackle or to fight insecurity where it is needed to be fought they will only come to tell you that um, IPOB is the problem. We are going to fish out all the ESN and kill them. That is exactly what they will keep telling you. The people who have, you know, make sure that they secure their land because of the envy and jealousy. That is the reason why. Because they understand the competency of the ESN in fighting insecurity within the walls of Biafra land, within the four walls of Biafra land. That is the reason why they cannot bear it. That is the reason why they cannot see it happening. That is the reason why they are making sure they will suppress it they are making sure they will oppress those who are tackling insecurity just like i always tell you that the criminals in nigeria they are the ones giving an award giving up you know promotion but the innocent people are the ones behind bars for what atrocities that is known by no man That is exactly how it is. That is how it is. They can never allow a good man to be free. They will always, you know, allow criminals to be free. They can spend anything to make criminals, you know, to make criminals, you know, comfortable. But they, you know, they will make sure, you know, they will spend any, everything rather to make innocent man to you know to suffer but when it comes to tackling insecurity the real deal you will not see them attending the party just like you have seen them you know lamenting the reason why i see them lamenting i am not seeing this lamentation to be the lamentation that is you know genuine because all i could i am seeing here is actually a lamentation of 2023 2023 lamentation that is exactly what i am seeing here there is no other thing that i am seeing here other than 2023 election that they are lamenting trying to act like they care when they don't care when they don't care that is exactly what is going on i am going to you know come back after a minute i want to you know i want to correct something just give me a minute to correct something. I will be back in a minute. I will be back in a minute. Do you believe that the zoo Nigeria is a failed state? Do you doubt me? I want you to go back again to Wikipedia, not to go to Google, type in failed state. What are the examples of a failed state? Do you know what makes a failed state? Now listen, they are corrupt. There is something called chronic corralling of resources at the expense of other groups. Do you know what is called chronic corralling of resources? Exactly what Ismaila Issa Funtua did. It is a lot of suffering. All Ismaila Funtua did was to go to Central Bank, tell MFL, give me money. MFL gave him money, $400 million. He went and bought it is a lot and changed it to nine mobile. He never worked for that money for one day in his life. The only thing he had going for him was that he was close to the dead Buhari. He was one of the cabal that made sure that Abakiari succeeded the dead Buhari. That's all. So he's a, he's a holder of their secret. He went to the central bank, collected $400 million. These are the people that Nigerian Union of Journalists named the building after him. Don't blame them. They are in darkness. That is their name, Nigeria. Niger people in darkness. The issue is a failed state where somebody will go and sign a deal with China, effectively saying, China, come and colonize me, I'm here, come and take me. The issue, animals. The issue is a failed state, completely failed state. So that is how it is. It is indeed a failed state. It is indeed a failed state. Because as you can see, what is going on, the lamentation is all over the place now. Let us continue where we stop.
<laughs> and the good intentions of the committee set by this honorable house. But security agency must know that they have to stand up and respect the position of the institution of the parliament because here you have the people of Nigeria represented in this capacity. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, with all sense of responsibility, with all sense of commitment, and the fact that, yes, even after this world, this very world, we shall all rise to answer our father's name in the next world to account for our actions. Thank you. Now, at least you are speaking, you know, even though, you know, I don't even have any trust in what you are saying. You are just saying it for 2023. But you are making sense in your utterances because at the end of the day, you are going to face your crime. That is the reason why it is saying that says that evil that men do will always do well with them because a lot of you believe that let's get rich this time around after all we die once that is what is making you people to be more corrupt you know to go very very stinky in your corruption you let us be rich now we all going to die once then enjoy while you can that is exactly what the structure is always telling you guys and at the end of the day at the end of the day you will see what you have ordered for it is always coming back to haunt you because you people are now only crying the people are there dying but when the table turns when the table will turn i don't think you people will be able to you know you will be able to find a way to talk again let us let me see what um there is a comment I see in my comment section. Yes, uh, zoo country, at last they are talking. They are becoming the miscreant that they used to call us. They are becoming the miscreant. Because when you speak the truth, you become a miscreant. They are now the miscreant. Jocelyn said, the most dangerous terrorist man in the history of mankind, Malam Nasiri Elufai, handwork of killing killing his own fellow human being shame on him terrorist malam nasiri elo elo five wow <laughs> wow you know tokas tokas chukus where did you where which which where did you come from which um are you just recovering from madness uh, or or what where did you come from to uh, or you want me to just bring you to the screen i don't no longer make people like you relevant zoo animals i don't make you relevant if you want to get relevant go to your fellow zoo animals they will make you relevant so in my comment section if you comment rubbish again there i am going to throw you into the dustbin where you belong that is how it is because we are moving forward we don't want to look backwards now let us continue the miscreant as they called us because we said what they were they are saying today now let us continue to hear from them I think nigerians at this moment should be allowed to also take arms nigerians must be allowed to take arms it depends on their innocent souls depend their hard and resources and property because it's like a monumental failure if the agencies of security have failed, then Nigerians should not be failed. Nigerians should not be seen as a failure. Let Nigerians organize themselves in the way, in the sense, in the name of civil defense. In the name of civil defense. <laughs> Mazen Namde Kanu is exonerated. Mazen Namde Kanu is exonerated. Now, the parliament of Nigeria is now preaching civil defense. <laughs> you are the one in a million you are the one in a million thank you for rescuing the land of biafra thank you for saving the walls of biafra thank you for saving our mothers from their farms thank you for saving our farm produce thank you mazen namdekano and you are coming out of course I am very optimistic. Although but this time okay, monyala keep as well. In this time, okay, if the way it is. Did you hear that? Civil, you know, protection, 
Civil protection simply means let people pick up, pick up arms and defend themselves. But every day when you hear about military coming from the you know north, repented Boko Haram, they will shift them into this the 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 the, the east, the south. They will tell you, they will be bragging, we are going to fish out all the ESN, we are going to kill them. Mad people all over the place. You could not fish out, uh, fish out uh, the, uh, um, the terrorist Boko Haram bandit all over the place. You could not fish them out to kill them. All you are, you know, you are very good at is to, every time ESN, this is ESN, that. That is the only thing that you people are very, very strong when it, when it comes to that. ESN is your problem. IPOB is your problem. Anything that has any, anything that, you know, that is to do with Mazen um, Namdekano, IPOB is your problem. Bandit is terrorizing you, killing you you know displacing you raping your women Osman Danfodio's agenda is still alive and kicking and your people uh all you see is is, is all over the place Mazen Nam the Kano Mazen Nam the Kano your problem don't release him what you are seeing is a baby if you don't release Mazen Nam the Kano on the 8th of April the plague that is going to come upon Nigeria, it is going to be worse than what you have seen today. But sorry for those who are one Nigerianist, because if you are one Nigerianist, whether you are from, you know, Biafra land, whether you are from the north, whether you are from the south or west or wherever you are from, as long as you are one Nigerianist, the plague that is going to come upon Nigeria is going to meet with you. It is going to meet with you. <laughs> of course, you know, IPOB, we just say it, it will come to pass. Because when we are behind the mic, Chukwoki Kabia must speak through us. Well, of course, if you don't understand the meaning of Chukwoki Kabia, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which is the man that his name was changed from, Isaac, from Jacob to Israelite. That is the Chukwoki Kabiyama we are talking about. The same God who told Pharaoh, let my people go. And Pharaoh believed that he is stronger than every other thing. Pharaoh believed that he is better than every other person. Pharaoh refused to let my people go. And at the end of the day, Nigeria, you should go and ask Pharaoh, Karodia, in this time around. Of course, you will not ask Pharaoh how he, he did. But we must continue. Let us continue to hear their lamentation. They are now lamenting like us, which we are called miscreant. So of course, now they are now the miscreant. Let us continue. This what it says. Let's them organize and raise defense for their own souls, innocent souls. Mm -hmm. Because if the responsibility of the government agencies cannot be carried out democratically then let's go to jungle everyone has to go to defend himself mm -hmm. nigeria should no longer be running away from attacks nigeria should no longer be running away from unnecessary quality in mm -hmm. the face of helpless and when you are talking about nigeria should no longer be running away from the attack you should know that Nigeria is actually integrating the criminals into their defense force. How can those, of course, you are making a very important because of course you have understand or you are you have understood that Nigeria is making sure that their army, their military, and their you know security forces are being you know filled up with so-called repented terrorists only in nigeria terrorists repent they become the military only in nigeria terrorists repent they become the police only in nigeria terrorists when they repent they become you know have or part of the navy security operatives then when you go out there to fight with them to fight their own fellow terrorists they will abandon you there just like they have abandoned one of their own which the military is busy denying that is nothing like that 
But at the end of the day, you will see, see, the truth is there in the open. You can never cover the truth. You can only try to, you know, cover the truth, but you will never, you will not cover it for so long. That is it. You will never cover it for so long. Let me show you that video, that uh, image. Because I forgot to download the video. No, I am. I will not be able to show you because I am actually picking up this voice direct from where it is made. So I cannot, when I'm done here, I will show you the, the, the image of the soldier which was abandoned in the bush. They abandoned him in the bush today and they are denying it. <laughs> How wouldn't they abandon you? You are one Nigerianist. You go and join Boko Haram to fight Boko Haram. Why would they not abandon you? You are even lucky that you came out with your life. You are very lucky. Let us proceed. And, and this is a situation when government and security agencies is like they are failing in their basic responsibility. They are failing. It's not it's like that is your problem as politicians. It's not it's like it is it is not it's like they have failed woefully. They have failed woefully because where they're supposed to, you know, concentrate on, where they're supposed to show their manpower, where they're supposed to exercise their operation, Python dance or crocodile smile, it is on terrorists not going to smile on the innocent people, harmless people. Now, when it comes to terrorists, there will be no crocodile smiling again. You are saying it is like they failed it is like what where is the, it is like uh, coming from can't you see that they are failure nigeria is a failed state you are talking about the security operative it is like tell yourself the truth for once His name is Hassan Dogua, Majority Leader, House of Representatives. That is him speaking in front of your screen. He is now, they call him being emotional. They call him because he wants people to pick up arms and defend themselves. Pay very good attention. You might hear it once more where you will understand it better. Let us listen to him and finalize it and move into something else because we are unraveling we are exposing one after another you see the way he is crying right now i will show you what we are the security operatives where they become strong i will show you where they become very strong when it comes to terrorism when it comes to tackling criminals they will not be strong but when it comes to people who are normal individual harmless people they become strong listen and, and listen attentively share the video you have allowed other people to join build on this that the committee that was set by this committee yes by this honorable house yesterday to interface and engage with the security agencies will be taken with all sense of seriousness and if any one of them fails to come mr speaker we let him we let we enforce the wrath of the law on him because we have the instrumentality of the mm. parliament here as an institution to summon anyone
for today and for the remaining legislative hours we have today that we suspend even we suspend plenary and all committee activities for today and resume on Tuesday I think second or fourth fourth of April fifth of April Tuesday fifth of April to 2022 by 11 a.m. Mr. Speaker, I, on behalf of the leadership and entire membership, Father, extend our condolences to the lives that were involved in this dastardly development all over the Federation. Mm. That's how we see it. That is how it is. Okutakwa Kore Anon. He is done talking. He is done talking because at the end of the day, you should understand that, you know, talking, talking, even a, a devil can quote Bible interpretation is over the bar. But at the end of the day, he is actually speaking up for his community. He is speaking up for his community, not actually the whole country. He's speaking up for his community. But we are IPOB. We speak for humanity that is what makes us different from these people we speak for humanity we are speaking for humanity they are speaking for community <laughs> they are speaking for their people that is what makes us very different from them it is very very important that you understand the reason why we are very special people in that contraption and the reason why we are most you know marginalized they do not want you to breathe because they know that if you have a free mindset you are going to change the perception of that zoological republic you are going to change the narrative of that zoological republic but they will never give you a chance so that is the reason why we are leaving them behind we are now going to where we are going to be they call us uh, um you know we, we if we give the Igbo man or um bring them to where they are working they will want to take over a labor camp they will want to take over the place and start calling the shot so we don't want to be calling the shot in with you again we want to go and, and do it on our own and it becomes a problem for you as well if easy did not go was must go that is how it is and that is the IPOB that we are today. There is no way it is, nothing is going to change, you know, this IPOB because we are formidable, we are resolute, there is nothing, you know. Now, there is something I must show you so that you will understand what is going on where the security operatives where they have their own strength where they have their own power let me show you i want to bring this to you let me bring this to you because i have shown you the <coughs> insecurity itself let me now bring to you the security of nigeria where they are very very strong issue now because okay here let me bring it to you where their power they exercise their power in the south they exercise their power in the south channel okay when we talk about let me show you the video of abandoned soldier the video of abandoned the okay the Im, the image of the abandoned soldier this is him of course many of you must have seen this guy many of you must have seen this guy where he is abandoned where he is you know 
trying to you know tell you that he is you know his life is in danger that is exactly what is this but let me read the news for you right now let me read the news their claim what they have claimed today with regards to this soldier let me bring it to you to your screen then i read it then we go to where the security operatives where their power is very very effective let me bring this one moment now let us see it because did you see what is going on here let us see what is going on here let us read let us read the army dismisses the viral video of soldier allegedly abandoned by colleagues <laughs> of course they will discharge it now look at this place the Nigeria army on Thursday described as misleading the as misleading the viral video of a soldier who claimed he had been abandoned by his colleagues have suffered a lot. The soldier with the name tag Musa said in the video, I am trying to save my life. I am I'm the only I'm the only one in the bush. The remaining soldiers have run and left me god help me god help me protect my life in a statement signed by a spokesperson brigadier general onye mawachuku the army said that the video was shot by the soldier after absconded from his duty troops swap okay look at that look at that I think we are going to digress. Of course, I have given you what it is. Troops swap on IPOB ESN hideout in Anambra State to recover arm. Let us read that news. Let's see if that news is go. Okay, it is open. It is open. And I believe you can still see it in front of your screen. Did you hear? Did you see what they say? That is always what the, the type of news that this, you know zoo will be bringing to you they will never tell you how many boko haram killed in the north they will never tell you how many soldiers they are sending to go and uh, look for uh okay it says on the 28th of march did you see what they have presented here that's what they have presented here troop of 82 division nigeria army Conducting clearance operation along Anambra Imo border community. Today, this lodged 28th of, okay, a few days ago, a criminal hideout used by the indigenous people of Biafra and its armed affiliate. He says security network in Osumohu, here a local government area of Anambra State. In a statement, military spokesperson Brigadier General Onye Mawachuku explained that the notorious group have you know serially launched attack on defenseless civilians and security target from the hideout during the clearance operation along the border community troops we are met with stiff resistance from the dissident element as they close in their enclave as they close in their enclave they were overwhelmed by troops' superior firepower, forcing them to abandon their hideout. After over, overrunning their camp, the gallant troops carried out further uh, exploitation and recovered a catchy of arms comprising 22 pump actions, rifle, 19 dan guns, and six machetes. Other items recovered, including assorted mobile phones, SIM cards, monitor, and laptops. Is this still a, a new news? Is it, is it a news of update March 28, 2022? Uh, this news looks like the one that we have seen previously.
one operational helos vehicle and various voodoo items and charms we are also recovered the arms spokesperson enunciated according to him investigation revealed that the hideout served as the operational base of one innocent obieke aka double lion who is said to be the head of the vigilante group in the area but you know surreptitiously coordinate the criminal activities of ipop and esn in the area wow wow general wachuku general wachuku every day you got you and esn general wachuku sukwe nike Every time you anybody you catch around, you call them ESN. Zupenike, why don't you go to the north and fight Boko Haram, General Wachuku? General Wachuku said the suspect is currently on the run while the troops have intensified operation to close in on him and his cohort. He urged members of the general public to continue to support troops and other security agencies with credible and timely information that will lead to the arrest of criminal elements in vicinity. Wow. 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 Now we are going to know where we, we need to get to the bottom of this. We need to get to the bottom of this to see exactly if it is what prompted the burning of houses in Anambra State. If it is what prompted the burning of houses in Anambra State, because we need to know who is these people that they are calling ESN. We need to understand who are the people they are calling ESN. That is the reason why we keep telling people, stop using the name of ESN to do your activity, your, your, your dirty activities Stop using the name of ESN. Whatever you want to do, do it on your own. Leave the, the you leave the men on duty alone. That is the reason why it you know once you do anything they, they do, they call them ESN. I don't even know if they see ESN, if they will be able to recognize them. That is a digression, actually, but um I think it's a is a good very, very important digression so that we will continue to investigate the activities of all these people you know that are parading themselves to be esn we are going to you know try to find out those parading themselves as esn we are not going to back down we are going to find out whom they are and we are going to debunk it for the world to see it let us now let me bring to you the one i told you where the security operatives where their power lies for you to see exactly where their power you know where they exercise their 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 power listen here i want to show you what is going on here I understand Olu Phillips has an update at the Lekki, uh, concerning this Lekki Toge issue. Olu, what's the issue? What's new? What? Did you see that? Did you see that? Do you see this hand in front of this camera, in front of your screen? That is a security operative trying to block, trying to block a security media camera. They actually have the audacity to go to the media camera. They use their hands to block it. That's how they block their atrocities. This is Lekki Target. You know, Lekki Target does not have a very, very good history. Lekki Target does not have any good history. That is exactly what is going on. This is what is happening today. They were trying to block because they have fixed Lekki Tollgate. They have fixed everything. Lekki Tollgate is now start is now ready to start charging the motorists while they are driving via the Tollgate. 
they are ready to start charging the motorist again that is the reason why the you know there are people i think there are people people are actually saying they don't want to pay lekki toll gate anymore people who lives in lekki they don't want to pay lekki toll gate anymore so the 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 the, the channel tv and other media houses they went out there to see what is going on only to find out security operatives blocking them using their hands to block their camera it you know when we call this place a zoo you don't get surprised because that is exactly what zoo does there is no other place you will find on the face of a planet which will block the media even in ukraine the war is going on the media is on the ground you know but i don't blame them most of these media houses they are not so they are not reporting what they're supposed to be reporting they like brand envelope that is the reason why these people are taking advantage of them at any time because if i give you brand envelope it means that you are my you know you are my subject i can actually tell you do whatever i want with you but if these are brave media houses in nigeria you know they will not be intimidated just like that listen up listen up for you to hear it yourself because when i am talking about it they call us propagandist listen listen to it from the host's mouth i understand that the, 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 the security man is covering our camera right now from what you can see he's using his hand to cover the camera the lens of our camera so that you don't get to see what is happening right now i don't know how this is playing out but um, just as we just heard let people be allowed to do their jobs the main challenge we have seen about this issue is that of communication the absence of communication the lack of communication from the government to the people already as you can hear you can hear people's voices people are agitated about one thing or the other and people need to know exactly what is happening someone is covering our lenses so that you don't see what is happening i don't know what you make of this but this is what is happening right now at the lucky toll gate we don't know whether it's the one at Admiralty junction or the one at the lucky Colonial bridge but we will definitely get an update on this just so you know that this is exactly what is happening right now that is it did you see it they are now you see <laughs> they are still blocking they are still blocking look at them they are still blocking <laughs> security operatives can you just see the you know the the amount of the you know the idiocy that you see in the zoo blocking the media camera from showing <laughs> wow when we call you that this is a zoo you believe that we are just insultive or we are just you know youth with no respect but this is actually what it is it is what it is look at it look at it why do you need to block the media because of they don't want them to show their atrocities they do not want them to show their atrocities look at them all over the place mad people everywhere listen to but them that we bring you this report as and when we ought to bring it here is calling the Lagos state commissioner of police to make the appropriate calls let us do our jobs you do yours we do ours we want the same thing we all want the same thing let's see if we can listen in and hear the conversation going on now
So that is it. That is it. This security, I am going to leave it there actually. These security operatives you see here, they are here. They are here trying to stop the media house from performing their duty because they know what they want to do. If you know, if you understand it perfectly, you will know that breaking toll gate does not have a good history. And I should, I should make it clear to you, there is a mass burial going on in the north. Mass burial going on in the north. The security operatives are here blocking the media. The North people, they are burying their loved ones in mass, insecurity, all these things, you know, that Mazen Namdekano lamented about. All of them is coming to the in reality. It is coming to reality. The cry you see the representatives in the parliament crying is a baby. <laughs> like I told you, it's a baby. And I have been telling you that they are under-reporting what is befalling the zoo. They are under-reporting them. They cannot tell you exactly what is going on. They cannot tell you exactly what is going on. But at the end of the day, Pharaoh let my people go. One who innocent. <laughs> what I who are you actually calling, you know, career agitator? You say career agitator. Why do you change your topic today? No more Simon. Eh? And they really, after some times, you will fizzle away like your colleagues, the Irat. One who are you, the problem is that all of you, Janja Weedy, you will just go and get a you are watching from youtube actually you you will just go and get a you know be a biafra name come to comment section e rat sewage rat writing rubbish i don't blame you i don't blame you because you, all of you are the people who are paid by recharge card if you don't comment this rubbish you will not get your your path and the recharge card you will not get your share of the recharge card so i i will actually con you know i wouldn't block you so that you know you will be fooling yourself for a recharge card you know you, you are calling people career agitator at least they, they are career agitator you you are recharge card comment section <laughs> recharge a recharge card or data you know comment section daily lady mad people everywhere you want me to bring you to my screen i don't make people relevant go to your fellow autopilot they will make you relevant mad person at your age you don't you haven't you don't know anything at your age you don't know anything so now let us continue let us continue. Like I was saying, the people in the north, they are burying their, their loved ones in mass. And I am calling for all these people in the north. The only thing I am calling for you to do is for you to understand that what you see today is as a result of what you people have been propagating against Biafra. What you people have been propagating against Biafra, you might be waiting for us Biafrans to be the ones to be fighting you guys. We we cannot. We don't. A wuna wara do do. A fiwa hordo do. A cow that does not have a tail, God will always chase a fly for him, for it rather. God is fighting our battle for us. But my problem with this battle that it is that God is fighting for us is exactly because, you know, it is exactly now the innocent people are the ones dying. The innocent people are the ones feeling the spikes. You know, the culprits are the ones flying themselves all over, all over the place. You know? Mass burial is conducted all over the place in the north. People have died. Terrorists is killing many in their villages, in their high numbers. 
<laughs> you know, all you see to be your problem is Mazen Namdekano. Release Mazen Namdekano. Our request is very clear. Or conduct a referendum. What is causing insecurity in the north is as a result of your action against Biafra. A direct result of your actions against Biafra. That is the reason why there is a lot of insecurities all over the place. Direct result of your actions against Biafra. And the earlier you start correcting your 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 ancestral mistakes, the better it will be for you. For this generation, the ones that are still alive in that place. The earlier you start advocating for the release of Mazen Namdekano, the better for you and your community to be saved. That is the truth. And the truth is bitter. And that is the reason why I am telling you that truth just the way it is. If you release Mazen Namdekano, maybe God will. I'm not, I'm not assuring you, but maybe God will have mercy those who now see the truth speak it out if you do not rise up to speak out the truth against the injustices being done against our people by the people we put in power by the people that we are our employees but because they don't understand what leadership signifies when they climb that place, they see it as a throne and they see themselves as God and see us as their subject. They see us as their object that they will use to play soccer. They forget you ball. That's what they see us to be. And the same reason why we have said enough is enough. We have released every spirit in Biafra land to rise up and go and the, the fight against those who is fighting against us. Destroy those who want to destroy us. Of course, God is busy trying, you know, preparing it for the West as well, for Britain and uh, their uh, cohorts. All these colonial mindsets, God is busy cooking it for them as well. It is not only you that is being, you know, the contraption called Nigeria. All of those who have ha ha who have hands in our operation, all of you around the world who has hands in the, you know, in the death of our people prior 1967, death is going to befall you because you people will you have done it. You did what you did prior to 1967. Our people died in millions. More, almost, you know, almost six million people died prior, prior to 1967 till date. They are still dying in the hands of neo-colonialists, in the hands of Nigeria created by Britain. Buying our people, taking them to America, you know, suffering them, making them forget whom they are, making them forget where they come from. It is not enough, but the spirit of the land of Biafra, the spirit of the ancestral land, the spirit of the land of Eden, the spirit is risen up now. It is bringing confusion to every, you know, stakeholders that are involved in the oppression of our people across african continent across south america across you know all over wherever our people are being oppressed it is time to rise up they are rising up actually to fight their battle for them remember we are not we pity what is to come for them but they don't listen they do not pay attention they are selfish they are ignorant that is the reason why what is to come is going to take them by force. As you can see, Russia is there are on peace talk. Now they went in and bombed Russia, you know, the Russia oil, oil, oil well, oil base. They went in and bombed it. What is it to you? Is it still going to be a peace talk? That you know, when you think things will get better, it will escalate. It will escalate because the god of vengeance 
is on the horizon. The God of vengeance is rising. They are the God of vengeance that is going to liberate Africa, that is going to allow we black people to breathe again. It is, it is risen. He is risen already, ready to fight. And he said, whoever that is found amongst them, the enemy will be dashed. We've called our people, it is time to return home and fix your home and make your home a better place. It is time to go back home, make your home a place where it's worth living so that when the vengeance is risen, remember it says, it will not spare you if he find you with the enemy. You will be dashed. <laughs> so that is the, that is the condition that is the condition so if many of you believe we are in america we are in you know we are in uh, europe we are in south europe eastern europe we are here we are there we are in china we are in israel we are in uh, iran all of them there is no safety anywhere because a kingdom must be destroyed for another to rise. I say it again. A kingdom must be destroyed for another kingdom to rise. The way you are seeing things happening, Nigeria will be destroyed for Biafra to rise. And that is what is going on because of their ignorance, because of their wickedness, because they don't listen. God hardened their heart so that they will not pay attention to the reality in front of them. So that when it comes, it will take them by surprise. They will be, you know, proud people. Very, very proud set of bigots. They will never listen until it comes. They don't know how to run for rain because God has blocked their ears not to listen so that the book will fulfill so that the book will fulfill remember what the bible say it says that no word of god will return to him void that is the reason why any when now it is the world of the meek, the world of the oppressed is going to now come up for the oppressed to be free. Nigeria, stakeholders all over the place. You know, just like, you know, we Biafran's IPOB, we tell you what is to come. Just like Mazen Namdekanu has been telling you guys, because the truth is bitter. The truth has been biting you in your ears. That is the reason why you cannot stand it anymore. You can no longer stand the truth. And that is the reason why the truth is going to consume you. It is going to consume you because at the end of the day, we are going to emerge as a nation because our nation is a nation that is, you know, God already, you know, God knows about us. God knows about us. It was only the length of time for us to pay for the rebellious nature of our lives you know that is the reason why we've been with you you've been suffering us but god will not forget to pay you back for using you to oppress her people no sin goes unpunished if i am a child of god you because you believe you can you make yourself available just like uh, all these infiltrators making themselves available to sabotage the struggle just you know when things go south they begin the new exposition all these things it will not count at the end of the day 
God is going to be pushing them, pushing them, pushing them, push so far for to the call the fact. Or the call of us, or the call we call. That is how it is. No sin goes unpunished. There is nothing on earth that you do. If you do good, you do yourself. You do bad, you do yourself. At the end of the day, I watch all cycle mile. That is the one thing that is certain. All of those that are from Biafra land that has hands in there on what is the predicament of Mazen Namdekano. Go and write today's date. Your doom is near. Your doom is near. It is not a talk. I am not saying it to make anybody to feel good. As long as you have hand in what happened to Mazen Namdekano, your doom is near. Even though God used you to, you know, to, you know, to elevate our struggle to the next level, but he will not forget to punish you for making yourself available for the enemy to use you. Because as no Madakeji, Billy Madakeji, Aga, Madakana, Aya. So for God to make any move, he will use you. But are you making yourself available to be used for a positive thing? Or are you making yourself available to be used for a negative thing? Because whatever you do, you will give account of everything you do. It is not about our uh, Fumbia. E obunu wa bo fun bia wa ye ja sige that in evil that men does dwell with them. Wa pro fun bia. That is how it is. You will pay for your crime. You will. If you don't pay it none do you pay it now. That is how it is. There is a lot of things that you know people does not know and they don't learn. People don't learn from the history. They don't learn from their mistakes. They don't learn from their mistakes. Biafra is a mandate from Chukwoki Kabiam Elohim. It is a mandate. It is something that no man born of a woman will be able to stop. It is. God can destroy the whole world for the sake of this unification of the lost tribe. <laughs> People don't know about it. God can destroy the whole world for the sake of that 12 tribe unification of these 12 tribes. God can destroy the whole world because he said that my supplant will bring their offerings for beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. For beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. That's where we are going to bring our offering. To thank God when the whole world is burning. That is how it is. Okay, Tinyan Pochin Tinan Tionyo Obuna. Tionyo Obuna that is not amongst the covenant. And that is not amongst the covenant. Be you the one you call yourself Biafra, but you are mixed blood. Be you the one you call yourself Biafra, but you are sabotaging what we are doing one way or the other. Whether you sabotage today, tomorrow you preach good. Whether you sabotage tomorrow, next tomorrow you preach good. All of you, all of you, your doom is near. Write it down. You cannot play with a spirit. A spirit is what you cannot see, but he sees you. A spirit is what you cannot move, but he can move you. You have laid a curse in your generation. If you have ever sabotaged the movement of freedom of, you know, indigenous people of Biafra. But let me leave it there and proceed. There is something I came across. You know, I came across this and I believe that Chukwo Kikabiyama is busy starting to expose the enemies in our midst. There is a Twitter that uh, um, Idu, Idu Madam, Madam Elohim, you know, tweeted. You know, he's in that Twitter, she said, 
She said, Uncle Max and Brother Ben, Simon Eba recently announced that these men were sponsoring Enugu and Airborne State, Voice of Biafra. These two individuals are Tony Nadi's zoo agents, zoo agents brought by Madam Bridget. If anything happened to our radio, people involved hold them responsible. The reason why I brought this, it is it caught my attention when I saw it, you know, I decided to bring it as well so that I will show you the most important thing, the enemy that, go, you know, the enemy that is coming in a friendly attire, they are going to be exposed. They are all going to be exposed. All of them, they will be exposed. Imagine Nelly telling you that now Simon recently announced that this man were sponsoring Enugu and their point of state. And that is the reason why you will see him now focusing, focusing to take your mind off these things. Tony Nadi, Tony Nadi. <laughs> wow. That is the reason why you don't be surprised if he's focusing, doing normal exposition because there is a you know there is a problem in the enemy's camp there is a problem in the enemy's camp and i must tell you without being apologetic apologetic to anybody you should understand that what is going on now you know because what they want ipob to you know they want to hijack ipob in order to use ipob as a political you know political like gang whoever the highest bidder gets it all that's what they want to use ipob let me tell you what is going on what is going on and i think now they will use autopilot for that the reason why i am telling you they are going to use autopilot for that is that when you have a problem with me as a big shot in biafra land or in nigeria in biafra land mostly if you are APP, APC and I am PDP and I have problem with you, I will take all your record and I will go and give it to autopilot to debunk you. If you are a reverend father and I am a reverend father, because me and you, we are not in a good term, I will give your record to autopilot to debunk you. <laughs> that is what is going on. And I don't want to comment much on that because the Bible call it, let the dead bury the dead. <laughs> that is the reason why I, it is not going to move me because, you know, they will at the end of the day do one or two that will, you know, that will be significant. But at the end of the day, the evil that men do dwells with them. The evil that man does dwell with them. That is how it is. Because in the, at the end of the day, Look at what Nelly is writing here. And there is a voice, there is something these people who are gone. If you hear what the Agaba said this morning, this early morning, they will be gone, but it is not why I'm here. But I, I, I thought I might share this with you as well. When we have time for that, we will do the normal exposition on this. Tony Nadi, zoo agent, Madame Bridget brought them now you will understand exactly what we've been talking about you will understand exactly what we've been talking about the enemies of ipob those who pass through ipob and they were not able to stay they are now unifying themselves to use them to fight IPOB. And the only primary, you know, their plan is to, to use IPOB, to hijack IPOB, to use as a political tag. So that, you know, to use IPOB as a political tag, the highest bidder gets it all. That is the plan. And make sure you remember this day what i am telling you because it will let her unfold it will let her unfold but for now let the dead keep burying the dead 
we know everything about them we know everything every of their moves but let the dead continue to bury the dead until they decide to kill the innocent in order to continue burying the dead we are going to not we are not going to allow them we are going to come in we are going to buff an arm we are going to expose them that is how it is we must continue we must continue we are live we are direct it is 20 minutes on top of the hour if you are in biafra land it is 20 minutes past 10 in biafra land in the land of elohim where there is zero zero latitude and zero longitude where the world began and the end of the world is babylon the america united states where the end of the world and that is where the end is going to come from and we are the beginning they are the end you know but this uh what the words the proverbs is not for everybody to understand it is not for everyone to understand you know it is very very important let us i think we have delivered the message we are going to leave it here i don't know if there is anything that i am leaving behind of course you have seen the activities of this you know this uh so-called security operatives in nigeria their activities is never in favor of anybody all they do is when they see innocent people they become very strong they become very very you know harsh and physical when they see the enemy when they see the terrorist they will on run for their life even leaving some of their members behind that is exactly what they do day by day but at the end of the day I am giving Nigeria, I am telling Nigeria, release Mazen Nam de Kano. Release Mazen Nam de Kano. Somalia will be better than you if you don't release Mazen Nam de Kano this, this, this April 8th. I know that I get you for 42 nunte. They, you know, I got 42 nunte. All those stakeholders, that so called stakeholders in Biafra land, you don't want to lend your voice. Release Mazen Nam de Kano now otherwise otherwise what you are going to see now we jan one i don't know it is not i it is not like we are doing anything <laughs> it is not like we are doing anything but the dead will continue to bury the dead that is all i can tell you now that is all i can tell you someone is asking me to place the link okay let me bring in the link let me bring in the link uh, because i will not take calls i will not be able to take calls at least the link will help me i will be able to have time to run off while you are in the link is there on YouTube and Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube and Facebook, you want to come in with the link, you can actually make your way through. But for now, I think we have delivered the message that brought us here tonight. And I believe that tomorrow is a better day. We are going to have a better audience, you know, to share this message. Oh, Maz, it's you too. It is you. Welcome. Welcome, yes, Marcy, you too. Yes, my brother, Judge Money. I thank you very much, Marcy. Thank you, are you. Doing a, you are doing a very good job. After thank doing you. your after doing your normal job and then you come back to you know let your friends know what is going on on that uh com, com, that deadly mat, uh, mortuary and burial ground at the same time. Burial ground. Burial ground. It is burial ground. The zoo yeah. is you know when yes. Mazula Bekaro called that place zoo, uh, people were shouting, why did he call Nigeria zoo? Even them themselves now have beginning to say that Nigeria is more than, if in fact the zoo is a very good place where the even animals even, you know, take bath and uh, look after themselves. Yeah. Them themselves are beginning to confirm that even self, Mazula Bekaro, 
uh, even the zoo you call Nigeria, <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a very good name. Now that place is a barrier ground, you know. Yeah. So in everything, there's in everything, in everything the zoo like let them do Mazenam the carnival has been vindicated in every of war. Mazenam the carnival must be vindicated. But my problem is this, Mazi, you know. Um, I'm trying to let our people know that we shouldn't fall the victim of Nigeria this time around. <coughs> the dead, we bury their dead. Of course. Of course. Hage Jaka, Do you know that um, my, my, um, my, uh, how am I going to put it? My, my worries is here is that uh, our people never learn that Nigeria is not for us. Uh, our people never learn that the zoo is not for us if the zoo like let it continue they will still see it as hellfire because our people will see zoo the zoo is a hellfire and uh, like as you said <laughs> we are the beginning and the end is the other side but like as you said people <laughs> people are got what yeah but we do yes they won't understand it so until you know what was in american is saying until the 12 tribes complete if that 12 tribe did not complete <laughs> the whole world exactly. will suffer it and um you see it now that the whole world are suffering it because uh from one calamity to another but you place the the the, the, the main place that the whole world is coming to an end and is between this thing that is happening in russia and uh russia and the whole world because that is what it is now and you know the worst part of it is that um the countries that have nuclear weapon now are beginning to service it nobody knows where the next one will go out from because if one goes out the next one will follow it and uh, the 12 tribes will complete and then we will go to our where to go cabin we want us to go it will surely happen if the last miracle. Miracle. of course the last miracle you know when mazin namdekano say that something must happen before biafra comes Hey, our no more understand here. Yes. The kind of man we never understand it, but we do. Something wants to happen, and it has starts happening, because very soon, very soon, this man they are pushing. This man they are pushing. I am trying to let him understand that um, he shouldn't allow them to do do him what they do to Gaddafi, because that is what they where they are coming from, you know. And the man mm. himself is a very clever man. He first of all attack. You know the best the 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 best way to defeat your enemy is to attack. Mm -hmm. You know, uh -huh. because if you allow them to attack force, then you lose. But no, the, they have made a very big mistake by bringing it into Russia. As, exactly. You know, they think that place is uh, just uh, maybe Libya and uh, other countries, but uh, little do they know that that place is no go area. But I'm praying, I'm praying for Chukwu Kabiyama to complete exactly what he sent his he, he, he child to come and do on this earth, which is Mazen Namdekano. He said that uh, Biafra is the last miracle and something was to happen. And everybody will witness it with their two eyes. Everybody will witness it. And, uh, uh, you know, when we are talking about these infiltrators, people might not understand. You know, people say we stop calling them Sabo uh mm -hmm. if he treat us because when you call them if he treat us the world will understand you know if he treat us is the best word for them because the world understand you know the western world does not play with if if he treat us hence they know. they know that you are an if they will take you out immediately immediately they don't waste time so this is the word we are using for them and what, there's something you said here that caught my attention you know what is um uh let me give him his title mazi kenga said that is mazi mazi you do uh, you do tell your for because right now we are calling him mazi he wants to become he wants to become mazi and then we give him that mazi you see that thing he tweeted out now he vindicate mm -hmm. everything we have been saying about them and very soon like i say very soon all the people that is sponsoring them anybody that did not bring that money again now they will attack him you know mm. they will start blackmailing him and uh, <laughs> if he refuse they will send his uh his to other person who is going to the highest bidder 
if the highest bidder want to, you know, it, it will eventually go into political way because that is what they want to use this epidemic. But that is why you see these people that are calling their name, people like this Tony Nadi. These are the people that want Mars and Nam the kind of dead. But mm. little do they know that if they know that now they are beginning to understand it. I don't manage, uh, just like just like uh, we tell uh, this criminal call Uche before. That uh, you have been shouting Mazin Nam the Kano this, Mazin Nam the Kano that. You don't know that your own family, you have your own family. You think if anything happened to Mazin Nam the Kano, are you safe? Is your family safe? We made it clear to him. And if you look at him now, he say he has beginning to understand it. He has beginning to understand it very well. You think, you know, these people think that this IPOB they are seeing, that we fold our hand, watch them. Uh, to fold our, our hand, watch anything happen to Mazen Namdekan. <laughs> they think, they think, uh, there is, um, C2, let me interrupt you there. There is something I picked up today. The reason, the primary reason why they picked up Mazen Namdekan, they believe we will be emotional and start destroying the Afra land. There is a, a comment I picked up today. Now, my, my inner self told me that this comment is beyond the ordinary understanding let me bring it to the screen let me read that comment for you to understand it now the name of the person who commented there is is it adeyemi come on let me okay let me try to see it in front of the screen and read it out because i will not be able to zoom it the the comment says we used to um before we used to hear any day they touch our supreme ranta we burned down the zoo. But after the Supreme Ranta was captured like a rat, like a like a bat, he is put in DSS cage. Now the story changed to if they kill our Supreme Ranta, is you know, if they kill our Supreme Ranta, is crying for food in the DSS cage. So Biafra people mad people everywhere or brainwashed people everywhere that's what he wrote there so when i picked up this uh, comment now i realized the reason why we were inf infiltrated because they believe that if we pick up mazen nam the can hide him away for you to believe that they have they, that he is dead you know even that time it is very important that our people we supposed to be listening to our spirit because during that time, what I discovered was that these people are doing what they are doing. The reason why they were doing what they're doing is for us to lose it so that they will now label us, they will end us. That was their plan. Taking Mazen Nam the Kanu is not exactly what we are thinking. Because those people who are not following the struggle, but they are just out there, passerby, they will not understand that they took Mazen Nam the Kanu making him if we lose it that is dead on arrival that was their plan you can go ahead yes ma exactly you just you just said it all and uh, if you watch what is happening now uh um um uh, that is why immediately uh this thing happened they now send that uh mazi idu nearly of to go and uh, see how he can uh, manipulate uh, DOS by calling China Sangwaru to change uh, DOS to uh, ESN command. That our people have, uh, there is demonic hole. You know, all this is uh, 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 prophecy and all this is demosia. Uh, uh, that is why we are where we are today. Because they use those things. If you want to destroy a black man, just uh, quote a Bible for just bring that that book and you know tell him uh, one or two things that, that yes that happened when we don't even know if what have started. That is why you can see uh, a man uh, say that uh, he's a pastor. We carry we bring uh, to his member be washing his face on top of the, his member. That is a miracle. Is a miracle, you know washing washing his leg on top of the is a member if it's, these things cannot happen in western one immediately the man will be arrested the okay. man will be arrested immediately immediately as i'm talking to you i'm put in jail 
but it happens in the zoo because they, these people knows that they are laughing at us this what the what the westerners are laughing at us the way we carry this religion in our head they know that we are foolish i'm telling if you look at if you look at what happened in, in kenya there is a man in uh, from america this is what i'm telling you is two years ago the video is there this man from america uh, he equipped himself the man looks like jesus christ i'm telling you the gospel truth he went straight to kenya and 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 make himself he was walking the way jesus christ was walking do you know the black people was following this man following him they even a pastor invite him in a church to preach people were saying jesus have come immediately the man was arrested and bundled back to america do you know this no i didn't hear about it i'm telling you you know we don't say what we don't know the man was bundled back to 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 to, to america a foreign man dressed himself like a jesus christ and uh, he was going on the on the street and people were pursuing him touching him you know all this wow. type of you know and he went to the church and preached this man i'm telling you before before the news now start going on they arrested him and then keep him for some days and bundle him back to america i'm telling you so you see how black man you see how they, they you know they use us to you know be playing this their card and all that is because the man knows that black people are daft to the core they know why westerners know that the black people when he, if you want to deceive us use that name that we do, just make yourself relevant as as in as in as in that uh that man they are calling you don't you see the one that happened in uh, in, uh, in anambra state when 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 there's a statue of jesus christ they moved it there and there may be rain rain that fall maybe the the statue was open somewhere rain fall inside and somebody went there and be videoing it that jesus christ is bringing out uh, miracle water our people were <laughs> there and touching it and um, some bring their bucket some bring it there uh, what i'm telling you happens the video is i don't have time for though i'm telling you when i look at this video one day my tears are chai look at what how people have become you know that statue was gushing out water from his leg this man a man was videoing it shouting miracle god you know this is now so good this are the this are the, this one this thing i'm telling you is the source of our problem today is this we cannot shy away from it we can if we shy away from it we have lost it we have can never shy away from it and uh you know, before uh, these uh, infiltrators, Mazi said, uh, Opa Brown uh, will leave the Kenyan here. They went and kidnapped Mazi Namdekano, thinking that uh, when they kidnap him, IPOB will, uh, will fall apart. They, you see, what is happening now, it has been planned. They have, they have planned this thing for a long time, waiting for the day they will, you know, execute their plan. We, they have planned it. You see this money, audio money that uh, these American people give, donate to uh, uh, IPOB. It, it's politicians that give it to them. Do this and let's see if we can work from this side. And uh, they did it and uh, he worked for them. But uh, thinking that uh, if you work for them in that way, they donated that money. Look at the people that donated that money now. The people now fighting themselves, looking for crops to, uh, to eat. So how can somebody who donate that type of money is now looking, you know, now people are going around and they are begging for money every day. Donate, donate, uh, give me start. Do you, you see all those things? And people are beginning to let them. Uh, have you seen them come for to say they want to do a uh, donation again? Because our people have seen all these things will come out. Our people are beginning to reason that uh, so this money they uh, they have been donating, they have been using it to you know for something else for themselves. Some of them are riding motor. I see the one in living in uh, in the UK. He's driving a car now. These are idiots that always make a video walking uh, with his bare leg. The video is here. Yeah walking with his bare leg now he's driving a car he's driving a car to show you that you are cool these are the these are the idiot who come out and and call uh Igbo names and names that his father told him beware of Igbo people this idiot that our people our people say they are listening to called Igbo names a lot of names say in in in, 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 in this uh, this thing call us on a lot of names and now that his father said he shall be, he, 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 they should be aware of evil people that we love money this this but the same idiot that's why when i look uh, when i look at our people sometimes i laugh because i know that our people are so gullible 
you know yeah. some of them are fighting this freedom with uh with emotion i said to them you cannot fight freedom with emotion freedom is you have to tie your 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 your, your, your mind at the back tie it at the back. anything you see you overlook it you see so that is why they send nelly first of all go to dos and see if you can destroy dos from that side and uh, tina samoro to should come and, and announce that uh, they are not under uh, commander control dos commander control name it esm esm uh, you see now is what this uh, my finland come out and say is esm because it didn't work out if he if tina samoro fall that victim now he is uh everyone uh, will answer esm command that he is one commanding esm just like the one he's the way he's putting it now you see their plan and our people this the first of all that thing that nelly did could have showed he have already you know showed the handwriting on the wall but our people did not get it but i do so mm -hmm. say, i will talk you for other people chance to speak yeah thank you very much for that impute i'm going to bring in mazi justice mazi justice i'm unmuting your mic for you okay you can unmute it as well and bring your impute thank you for joining us as well today uh mr george thank you again good evening good evening and uh good evening to other contributors uh first and foremost uh i want to uh, i my apology for uh, there was uh, the other program you had two or three days ago or four days ago i not i not watch it live but when i was watching it the the next day I was look, uh, you know, you used to look at the co comments people made, and uh, <laughs> I saw my. You mentioned my name as uh, having sent you something red head. I said, "How come I, I didn't watch it live? Who sent red head on my behalf? I didn't do that." Oh, uh, do you remember? <laughs> was it you? It was my name, my full name oh no 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 i didn't know you know when they give me red hair i see the person who gives me red hair you know, uh, but my name you, my, my, you, you did not manufacture the name because you didn't know my full name if my no, name I appeared there and somebody I pressed somebody is using your name and uh, that's what i mean that's what i mean you know yeah i don't know i mm, didn't even i didn't even think about you because i know it can be you I, I know that this day, I know I know I know I know I know, I know. They, they will be using any Igbo name any name that comes yeah. to their head is made for yeah you. yeah I was waiting for because you you said the person should comment again to for you to know what he really meant and the oh, person no. didn't go further so I said okay maybe I <laughs> let me I will continue to monitor whether somebody is using my name, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. to do one thing or the other. Right. Um, I think today's topic again is uh, interesting, you know, because uh, uh, you touched a lot of things, you know, even uh, uh, you know, opinions of uh, uh, you know, the the perceptions of uh, our people and uh, different opinions like that. What would I say? Uh, the situation now we find ourselves, you know, uh, is very appalling. It's very, very appalling because it is very, very difficult now to, you know, define uh, the 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 people in that contraption called Nigeria the, the, to pinpoint where they stand for, you know, because um, in short everybody has been reduced to a standard that is a standard which those in power now have remember that if a fool is controlled every other subject under him will become fools yes you understand so if an irritate takes over he will make sure that even professors will behave like him or less than him and that's what we have now found ourselves i pity people when you know when you listen to somebody you know that controls billion speak because someone who controls billion 
is not a pamper again. He is not begging for food. Because where somebody is desperate is when he cannot, you know, he look around and he's not sure of his where his next bread will come from. He will be desperate to do anything you ask him to do. But when you look at people who are very rich, who have stolen enough, you know, economically they are independent, and yet they cannot stand, say yes, and stand by that yes. You, in short, is you know, Nigeria. We are in a, you know, everybody is in a difficult situation, in a situation that is difficult for people to make a decision. Now. Um, look at uh, what is happening in the north and what is happening in the east. Look, I'm not interested in what happens in the in the north. I'm not interested because they invited their own. Uh, we did not invite our own. All we ask him, give us a space to live our life. Just give us a space. And that space that God has, in his infinite mercy, given us, it's not that we conquered the space and took a portion of land from some people. No. The space, the geographical location we found ourselves was by the grace of God. So what is difficult there? It's not difficult. So the army left everything in the north, <laughs> left the north empty. And then in the south, especially in this eastern region, block by block, street by street, if you have block by uh, modern city, block by block, street by street, you have police, you have army, you have air force, you have custom, even custom, and immigration, and road safety everywhere. And then in the north, uh, I saw one video the other time in Niger State. It was in Niger State. More than 10,000 women and children and women and men, old men, we are running, you know, because bandit, they call it bandit. They call it bandit, in quotes, but it's not bandit. If you look at the uh, dictionary meaning of bandit, bandit cannot stand, you know, and uh, operate for hours. Bandit will strike and steal something. They came to steal that bandit. Well, that's what bandit means. You know, wait for you in a tight corner and rob you. They are robbers. But this group now you call bandit that comes into a society, a, a community, wipe away the community, bring <laughs> fairly in their own people. And settle them. Are they still bandit? The character does not to know, know they are left from their right. That's why they are zoo. And now, um, a train a train was bombed, and people were killed, and you still call them bandit. <laughs> and the Gumi was, uh, a, you know, courageous enough to go to a television station to. Say that they were banned, they killed people by accident. They, they are not used to killing people. They only catch people to extort money, you know? And nobody has invited them. But by the way, that is uh, the other aspect. I'm not interested. If they want, want to wipe away the North, but my fear is that what the army and police are doing in the East is to soften the ground for the invaders to take over um that is so the world should be aware of this they are just making it easy so at the end of the day when they have wiped away the young boys that will defend our place they will give way for this ginger weed to take over and that is their plan you know and i'm coming to our struggle, the IPOB. I've told you uh, the other time that what we have is not 
uh, saboteurs. This is an organized spy and agent. If you listen to, if I listen to the interview, this guy, um, this guy in South Africa, Ikenga, had with uh, one lady from America. The lady is a psychologist, and she's an IPOB. She gave a review. He gave a picture. A, in short, he diagnosed and brought out facts that everybody should, you know, try to listen to that lady. A moment, a minute. Hello, I'm on. Okay. I'll call you back. Right. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. okay, he's back. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. Um, the lady was, you know, she had all the information that is required about the background of these people. She mentioned Oyibo. Oyibo was the architect. Somebody she said, said she, the lady is from Maryland. Okay. She said Oyibo is still a politician till today. She mentioned Nelly Ofebu. She's still a politician till today. And she mentioned Simon. Ma, ma Adam Marian Hedin. Oh, yeah. ma Adam Marian yeah. Hedin. Thank you very much, Karen oh. Wada. Good. Yeah. He said this three. It was Oyibo that came first and brought hundred thousand dollars, as she said, and nobody knows how she brought that money. Where? What is the source of the money? He said in America, in in, in the West, you can't just walk up, wake up uh, you know, and uh, start donating uh -huh. such huge amount of money somebody it must come from somewhere yes. now or you pay again brought in this Mary of Yebu. she was the one who introduced mary into the uh, into ipob it was teach her that recommended mary to onyendu to be the um the the decision of ipob um uh auditor and now simon joined started his own program you know they started this in planned this in and they came in in a group simon did not register because if he registered they may blow their cover Do you understand according to this lady so simon waited and start preaching and uh, you know advocating that he's um uh the onion uh, disciple and so on and so forth and so they were laying ground waiting the fact that this lady nelly of because she is she speaks affluently you know they made her the spokesperson and they planned this uh umeri account because they were heading to something one hijack IPOB uh, finance to go to their headquarters, hold them. And then if Nigerian uh, government was able to hold Mars and Namdekan, that is the captation, you know, caught the the snake, the snake's head, and the rest body will just die off. That was their thinking. And now, to buttress her point, she mentioned that Two days after Mazu was arrest, um, captured in Kenya, she went to the US, that went to China's own world. It's enough evidence. And she went there and mentioned to Simon, recommended Simon. And if you listen to Mary's, uh, you know, trying to explain how she went to uh, China, she mentioned Simon. She said that that God has chosen somebody. Which God? It is them that has chosen Simon. And the essence was to, they are not, this you do of a thing is just a cover up. Because I, the way I see you do is not that they have a purpose or they have a project, you do project. No, they are just holding you do as a way to draw, you know, to create confusion. You know, 
how do you quench fire? You know, take away the oxygen, the fire will die off. Is it not true? They are trying to take oxygen out of IPOB uh, body to remove the oxygen. So they, they, in short, they, 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 their cover has been blown. And uh, I think uh, 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 those of you who are gifted, you know, in exposing these guys, should let you know, you, uh, uh, especially you, George. I should uh, uh, request that you, you know, one day use uh, that interview to do a program because uh, you have wider audience, you know, and there is uh, you have a methodology that uh, you know brings this into a level that everybody will understand. Let me hold it there and uh, allow others, you know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that input. I will, I will, I know what you said and I will work on it. Um, I am going to bring Grace Ebuka. Grace Ebuka, are you there? If you are there, unmute your mic, unmute yourself. We cannot hear you. Okay. Good evening, Bia France. Good evening. Good evening, Omo Uh George Money, Yekel and Gofuma, the Watamaka, only in a role for restoration of Biafra, the water. God will bless you. Uh, keep it on. So far, you are on the right side. Don't deviate, water. Come on. Behind them, we hand them on water go. Biafra have come to stay. So, what I want our people to understand is that you see this struggle, like our leader has said before, that you have crossed the road become there is nothing anybody, any woman be living on this planet can do about it. This is our generation who must restore Biafra. We must with collective effort, water. Overall, yes. of onion and water go onion do onion that I got on your for too much. Still on stay, I can attack that for for Niger just because of the freedom of uh, the Afrian people. Conno, Conno, Bull and Weekend, Bissararo, Biendo, a civilized world, water. So, it pain me a lot that some of our people, I don't know what is wrong with them. I don't know what have come over some of our people. You are seeing the facts. In Chori, you were white. They just say white, it was black. Seen a black or white. He no pana, no pana, no ezi opu kobo. No onya na, no borai pi opi member. Not better for destruction. Like Simon Abana and Nelly uh, Rita Eze, they have planned this thing right from the one. They have an agenda. And Rita Eze and Nelly Ofebu, they signed a contract. Go destroy IPOP, destroy the structure. Then we can we can keep the enemies of our leader this is all their plan because if you watch immediately they kidnap our leader from kenya it was this woman this jezebel nearly of went immediately to coaching us and tell him that he should take over the tos that uh, chico dozem have fair that chico dozem so that our leader are to the enemy just imagine but unfortunately thank god na as i disappointed her as a hard call of water our leader said there are people who are born many are born but few are choosing there are people who are born as a hard call to restore biafra people like china Sanworu and DOS, HOD. 
Now, so anybody saying that you don't want to follow the structure or the leadership which our leader left behind, that person is not genuinely, it's not with us. That person have interior motive, that person have an agenda. To understand? So what I'm saying now is that our people should wake up. Let us come to reality. You see, this struggle, people have died. Oh. We have lost many souls in this struggle. We have lost. After all this so that we have lost, and somebody from nowhere come to destroy a POP. You say the way this thing is near with them, the way this thing is near with them, what our leader built for many years, years ago, all of a sudden, somebody she from nowhere called destroyer this IPOP. I believe that the blood of innocent Biafras that have died for this struggle will be on their head. They will never know peace. And they will not live to follow us to the promised land. They will die before Biafra come. He say, he say. He say, I don't, but in a, in a situation like that, I don't pray for them actually to die. Before, to be, they must leave to see us entering Biafra. Why we leave them behind? <laughs> they, okay. We, we okay. Because, uh, uh, because uh, when uh, the thing about my memory, the water go on about my memory too much. Okay. Uh, during 2017, when they zoom, our leader's compound, he had a model 28, 28 people. Okay, Guru Dadi, a butcher, you to a butcher, one like this. Mada Pota, or Janana Gunners, Filena, Abata Gomego, you know, consign me. I'm rich, I have bodyguard. Forgetting that. That money you collected without your freedom is absolutely rubbish or nothing cobble. Look at uh, Willow Biano. The day you finish your tenor, that same day, you never reach 48 hours. The next day you want to run to America. Hmm. You are running, are you, are you running to America? America, you are running to are they hosts? They don't learn from history. In our water, Owega, Owega, you go Bodo, you go, you get very short chan, every short chan, you go off from Manusia, 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 if we see the fellow, we beg you. If we are buga parando chawa, if we go na ndisho ji amare ife, oni oni si kuri eku that na the problem of a black people is in their brain. At this twenty first century, this twenty first century, tell me any other leader from the world, people like, uh, for example, Donald Trump. They do not Trump have any investment in Africa. <laughs> the answer is no. When you call you shit holes. <laughs> eh? Upon that, you still call Africa a shit hole. <laughs> so when uh, this is our generation now, we need to wake up. We must restore Biafra, whether the zoo like it or not. Because uh, Ebam no bodo ibona obi adoro mo ma no no na la ndo ozo mpota mpota otu a ndo cha fun egupe ihu ma nde na abu asa onda na eshuge mishi na 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 adoro ma asa aro imagine i ka gugo mo obru na na ebe eba ho fa wa no no na to ho to no de hamma mo i ka gugo mo an obodo ibe ni deme lo lo no place like home Exactly. That's why we must do everything possible to release our leader. 
and for the restoration of Biafra. Our leader is coming out. And our leader must be released unconditionally. No two ways about it. Then, because himself, the water go. Hansina, Hansina, maybe, na how to negotiate, release our leader, and any date of referendum, and you allow in peace. Open the option, and you allow in peace. Now, we have a war. One day, eh, our leader could go here, we will make sure that everything from that operation go down. Everything from beginning to the end. Water go. Yes, so one uh, thank you. Very you she can in the Biafra because you should you can we are already there. Just a little thing. We are already there. Everybody should remain focused. Water because my name I have been our promised land. Of course, you are the freedom of the race. We have paid the price, people have died for this freedom 3.5 million died during the biafra uh, nigeria genocide against biafra that is not war it's a genocide against us it's a genocide it's not war so um, 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 biko, thank you very much uh, uh great Thank you, Thank you. All right. I'm bringing Mazi Chisom EGK, man. Mazi Chisom EGK, man. Thank you for holding on. The platform is yours. Bringing your contribution. Yeah. Good morning. Over here. Good morning. morning. Good morning. Good morning, dear friends all over the world. The genuine ones. May God protect our leader our DOS and our HOD and our ESN and all our presenter and all our media warriors. May yes, God sir. grant them strength. Yes, sir. Yes, um, my brothers, you see um, what is going on now is uh, we know that a thing like this will come to pass and it will happen. Yes, we know that these things will happen. I told somebody last time that I know that our leader is passing a lot of pain. He prepared for it. He prepared for it. And I say, I were to assassinate him. It was to assassinate him. But today we know where our leader is. When we yes. find him, we know where he is today. So that is my number one happiness. Yes. Two again, when you check other freedom fighters in Africa or in any other places, you will see that the way we have our team of lawyers going after our leader, other people don't have such strength and it's such true. force. They don't have such strength and such force. Then when you now check our DOS and our HOD, they don't normally come out to speak what they want to do. They go on the ground and do whatever they want to do. We yes. see the tweet from our council, Ejimako, say that Bruce Fame are still in his, his uh, love, is uh, still in the uh, 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 council. That is We are losing you there. When they say Bruce, we are talking to Ejofo to quit. After two weeks or three weeks, our leader now said message. Say he's that Bruce is still among the team. So when we watch what is going on, it has what they say about the Bogare. Yes. That is, that is what they are putting in the face of the of those infiltrators, those that don't know what is going on. That is what they put to them now, to now catch them and change them so that they will not know how to penetrate again. 
that is my number three happiness what is going on now when you watch them they are just floating they are like floater they are like floater now they are just floating only the fools can be listening to them only the fool among 10 agenda just like when when uh, later Yaradua we are coming as a president he said he has only three three point agenda they say it's only three because man, this man this criminal has more than 20 or 1 million agenda has never fulfilled even one he has never fulfilled even one so those people are those people we think that are following him are the people that they are paying Maya Mohammed and co Nigerian military if we can remember when Nigerian military say they want to recruit 10 10 10,000 bloggers 10,000 bloggers that this war Maya Mohammed said that this war is no longer gone and bullet that this war is in the internet in social media that is where they will fight the war and Lai Mohammed, as when he come to defend his bill in in Senate, the the quote he gave to them, they say it's too much. He said, if they will not fight, uh, finance the information minister, the office of information minister, that everything that he will quit and everything will. We are losing you again. I don't know whether we understand. They fast and give him that money, so that he can pay all those bloggers. With Lorita no change, they were going on the ground in our people mm -hmm. because she's an old harlot in those mm -hmm. days that they used to loot women to, to, to Italy when Italy were raining. Lorita no change, we are the first line in Italy. Go wow. and do your investigation. She was the wow. first line in Italy. I you understand. So she know the underground, under, uh, she know the underground politics. They now ask her, she know how to recruit small children and harlots so she's still what they call madame up to today because she have girls and when you have pretty girls around you you can get men that can succumb <laughs> at any time i don't know whether that can succumb at any time they yeah. use lorito onoche that's what they are using her for they use lorito onoche to recruit and as they are Your network is frustrating. Huh? Your network is frustrating a little bit. Oh, go ahead, maybe. go ahead. Okay. The 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 Eberimana will now come out and start telling you that um, DOS we end so 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 day we end so 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 day with thinking that they have gained the ground to shoot, but they didn't know that they have never even started to do anything. They have never started to do anything. So when you watch them, you know that these people they have they 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 have shot themselves in the leg. All the whole promises, all everything that they have put, they did not execute even one. They don't even have their own lawyer. So I want confirm what you anything. said. So I want confirm what you said about uh, Loretta or Jesse. Someone said Ezra, he says she was here in Napoli, a place called Castel Val yeah. to Vatuno. Yeah. Wow. Go ahead. To go and see a leader. They don't have any lawyer standing for them. So tell me, what are they doing? What are they doing? They are doing nothing. IPOB are in every corner. IPOB are agitating. IPOB are in the law firm. IPOB are in the in, in to protect the Fulani from entering our bush and rape our women. Then ask them which one are they doing? They have nothing doing. They are even worse than they have nothing doing. They only come out to do what? To ask for something that they know that they cannot be able to do. And when you watch any man that is mad, any crazy man will first say you are mad. Mm -hmm. When you watch any criminal who first out and say you are a criminal, whenever you be seeing those people, those days that we are little, we are still in primary school. First person that first pollute in the class is the first person that will say, "Hmm, who do this?" Is the person that did it. <laughs> I don't know whether we understand. So we.
You are right. <laughs> that is what they are doing. And I want our people to really understand because they used to carry our people, carry away most of the things they are doing. They should learn how to how to be how to be using their brain. Not anything they tell them, they'll just agree. Not anything they tell them, they just agree. That's why sometimes I will say that our problem, most of our problem are religion, are this Christian religion. That is most of our problem. But when you say yes. it, you will become an enemy of many people. I will say, I myself, I came from a Christian woman. I'm a Christian too. I say, but our problem is this Christianity. Likewise, me, it's true. Yes, our problem is this Christianity. Because they now made our people to be so weak that everything that God and Jesus will come and do it for you. Our people stop to invent. Our people stop to do things that they so. The time that they will use to do to, to, to help themselves, they will use it to go to knife with you. You will see somebody, they will see somebody selling market. When he sees that his shop is not moving the way it's supposed to move, instead of him to go and look for loan or look for strategies and art. Because every day, women being are like women being like evolution. Every day, new thing coming. Every day, new thing coming. Instead of him to be changing his pattern, he will start going to one prayer house or the other. The time he's supposed to call his customer, he's in the prayer house. Tell me, how can that person go on? Tomorrow, he will say the Pawai Tapa in the village is killing him. You see the problem our people are having. But when you come to the Western world today, you will see those in the church are mostly old men. The time you are working 16 hours, 12 hours, which time do you have to go to church? <laughs> which time will you have to go to church? When you come back home, that is where they are deceiving our people. That is where they are bringing our people down. Talking of what is happening in the north, yes, what is happening in the north is what they deserve. But we will not overlook them. We will keep on talking to them for them to wake up. If they will wake up, no time is late for them to wake up. Young Arawa, who can who can make a game one number gonna cause a putachi putachi. One down when they aka a came militium who when they aka chira. Akekira Buhari, Sohon Aura, Yareswai, Yareswai, Shiba, Shiba, when they came in Miniki Wuring Eye, Nagia Mukugaskia, Kosa Kutashi Kutashi, Zaku Dinka Kukalo, Platanche Zaku Kashi, Yumuku Pana Dukanku, Bazaku Samu Utumtea, Akoyoku, Yekamata Dukanku Kutashi, Kutashi. Mukeyu if you people don't stand up now, you will not have a home where you call your home. Mazin Nandekalo tell you people, as you are coming to the east, your backyard is open. Before you will go back, you will not have a place to call your home again. And that is what is going on. That is what is going on. And we believe that all these things will come to pass. If it's for IPOB, IPOB is remedy. IPOB is remedy. Let the whole world and Africa as a whole thank Mazen Nandekalo for opening. Come, that Fulani from Saha, from everywhere we come, and they will kill and nobody will ask. Till today, there were no arrests. Till today, there were no arrests. Had it been in the East, they will burn all the whole houses. What they did in train station. They did in the my road in the express. They did in the they did in the airport. Kaduna is the home of the military. 
Kaduna is the home of the military. Most of us were born there. We have we have Kotoko Barak. We have we have uh, we have depot there. We have NDA there. We have legacy school there. So the, the place is the home of military. If Kaduna can be invaded, there's nowhere cannot be invaded in that contraction called Nigeria. If Kaduna can be invaded, because you cannot move five kilometers without you seeing a military vehicle in Kaduna. And we are born and brought know about it british government know about it we will not take them out of this contention the british government know about it let, let katrina line go and enter train to, from abuja to kaduna let's see let she go and enter train a high commission that are doing grassroots work going house to house recruiting people telling them what they're supposed to do will be of our nature with due respect, we have respected you too much. And time for you to come back. Every time you are with the British, telling them how to how to slave us more. That Iran has gone. That Iran has gone. This era now, I will be in. I will be in Onicha. I will be talking to somebody in White House now. That is the era we are now. God bless you. For now, they won. Thank you very much. Um, as this is too. Um, I think you will handle the program. You will go ahead and handle the program if you are still here. Let me take my refreshment. Mazi C2, are you there? Yes, I'm here, George Money. I'm here, my brother. Yes, please handle the program. I am going to excuse you guys for now. Let me do one or two things on the background. And I salute you, Master Justice. I salute you, Grace Ebukachi. So thank you guys for what, for joining us. Uh, Master, you too will still carry on with the program. When you guys are done, I will be here, you know, to end the program. Thank you very much. Great beer friends all over the world. So see you too, over to you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Mazi. Um, like I see, uh, uh, she just uh, said there. Uh, Thank you for giving us the platform for Biafras to, you know, let our people to understand what is going on and then um, you can go and do your rest of your things you have tried. And Biafras, uh, as you can see, it's our duty to enlighten our people. Our people, our oh, sure, sure. Uh, leader, Mazin Namdekano, nobody should be confused. The man have done a lot. He have done his best. And what left for him now, where he is now, he'll be asking us, are we doing our own? <clears throat> so if you go where he is now, he will be asking, are we actually doing our own? Because we cannot let what that man have suffered to just uh, went in, to, to just drown inside the ocean. You know, Ayaga Hekweka, Ayaga Hekweka or Damri, because all that million all all a big crime to us. So you know what, yeah? uh, Imagine if there is no IPOB. Imagine if there is no IPOB by this time around. Do you know what our land will look like? Oh no, my our land will look like. You see, we should be asking ourselves: This Fulani is we are coming into our land, uh, killing our people raping our mothers you know destroying farms with their cattle and you, we never see any of any northern any northern elders condemn what they are doing they keep silent as if they they did not see the cries other people were crying they keep silent all this why watching all the whole crimes these fulanis have been committed imagine if there is no no ipob no esm to to checkmate these people do you know what will be happening now in fact, these people will be bold to come and these people, my brother, Ienda Bunobi, eh? Ienda Bunobi, Karekwai Honohana Menau. I am telling you the gospel. What Ienda Bunobi, if I get so Ienda Bunobi, Karekwai Honohana Menau, if not because of Mazin Namdekan and IPOB, my, my brother, by now, eh, who will challenge? Look at all these governors. 
Look at all the who the whole governors in our land. Do you know that these all these politicians in our land, all these politicians, do you know that these politicians, eh, the Fulanese deceived them? On to say that, are you going to stand here and watch your 2023 election drown drown to the ocean? Are you going to watch it? I am telling you the gospel to Nekuna we they they persuade them. Even the Anambra election, they persuade them. Are you going to stay here and watch Anambra election, you know, turn into something like this? Are you going to watch your 2023 election, you know, run away from you? This full of needs, uh, you know, is to get this thing to Igbo politicians. And Igbo politicians carry this things. Have we an issue for a long time? Have we an issue? You know what they did? They now start planning, I get because Fulani knows that if they go it alone, they will fail. What they do is to use evil politicians. And he see immediately he work out for them. Is the evil politicians that uh, adopt uh, adopt mass in Namdikani. They plan they they Fulani instigate it to are you going to watch your 2023 election go? Are you going to watch uh, 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 uh election go now you have to go and make sure you stop uh, uh and these people think that what fulani are telling them what that, that the plan of fulani you know uh, is what exactly they wanted to do but they little did they know that fulani have another agenda these politicians in our land couple with this solido you are seeing here all the politicians among the people that bring the the the, the went and kidnapped mass in Namdekan. I am telling you, and even upon that, upon that, how they were their own private debt, their own private debt, Fulani refused to bring. How come? How come the Fulani did not bring their own private debt? Ele hemre he buto hubwe luka. Opo kwandi ibo. Opo kwandi ibo bubo takuru hubwe luka. The jebuto one neha one neha na fight. Look at what is happening in in the north now. Why not What they are doing? I don't, everybody has money. Game play. This politician is on the Let the 2023. The same 2023. So, all, of, all the politicians in Biafra and my ego, them, my exactly how they could not. They planned it. How much? They were at Walata one and a half. But in the 2023, do you see? I put a hundred hundred that the game full and they plan it. Against them, about five. Nah, they can't bring. Even the Messiah, he will not use a car like one. Amaka, he will not do. He will not see. You will not do. For my now, if we are, I command the reality now. We have been one allegation. You see, how they using Kenyan footage? How they use the Etile here there? How they push our youth? How they they know what they mean? How they push our youth? They reduce the inflation of the people. That's all. Watch any of them when it is she now. Hey, hey, be your allegation. You know, I heard the example of Dave Omai. Hey, make the here. Up and up and the full and you could not propose the number. Can not be politicians. Up you go politicians. I can have to look up for you. Uh, I greet lovers of freedom. Biafra across the world. Good evening from here. Good morning. Good afternoon. Wherever you are. You are the present location. Uh, one in a cheap number of politicians. You see, let us not hope on them that one day they will retrieve their step or they will repent. They can never because here they have sold their soul because of. Uh, a porridge, yam of a porridge, water. So, here the bike was remarked that 
Eh? All these civil politicians, all of them, they prefer to be slave to the Fulani than to do the right thing to the Biafran people. Now, what are some of the people far like a go, far like a go too much. And though if I know an army, bring the go by you, you I'm on that in a barrel or juku. What some of Nanya, the go by me, Reparo Juku, or Juku. Lose while I humba. Ubana, a dogopa, over the same thing again. A potas now, you so wicky. Obu, a potra that now, never in a hand where is a Uporishi. Iji church, church of the Fedema, the Roman Haka, Cobona, Kehab Problema, Kehab so and never in the car in Bobula. I Bobula, never in Baron Ota. Da kono kai bu izuku munne kai de fero ba kai nyoro wa aka ihe na me bi kare sabotage o e ka tanara nde fula de ego opota oru munne ya this thing has been long and in the theory ha no ana na wonde ba anye on the fula ni am british because British really understand that Ibu man is very, very wise. He's fast in thinking. Ibu man is very, very intelligent, natural. So for them to penetrate, continue their colonial master of a thing, they have to go to the full anil. and sign a deal, give power to the Fulani. Okay, let's come to the fact now. For Nigeria now, since they said one Nigeria, Army General is a Fulani man. Inspector General of Police is a Fulani man. Senate President is a Fulani man. Uh, House of Speaker, it's a full animal. Another chief, it's a full animal. So one day, a little chief here and there, you see, up and the go by, now they are smart. Yes, in here, misery, in the full energy, you are a child, now for her power. Away with her work. Full and this is her, not ever, far, not ever. Fula ni se ha, ok, je bu mundege, fa je. Wa godin, bandit. Do you know how many thousand, how many uh, people now every day na not? Nde bandit ti debu. Do you know how many bandits are killing? Boko Haram is from the north. Iswap is from the north. Bandit is from the north. Fula ni hesmen is from the north. All these stories, you will now understand that these things have been planned with the British and the Fulani to take over the entire country as their own. But some, some of our people don't see to wake up from their slumber. They don't see to understand all these things. I thank God for Hamadike. I really thank God for Hamadike because uh, if not a Hamadike, our leader Mnandekano, he was uh, gone. I'm telling you, if it's not the coming of our leader to open our eye, to make us realize who we are, to make us understand the plan of the Fulani and British, I think by now our race is gone, but I still thank God. Here we are. All we need to do now is we need to open our eye 
pass information for people where they house to understand the plan of the Fulani. Okay, how many times have you seen uh, Erofai, the governor of Kaduna, go uh, start to the bombard the, uh, the bushes? He, he said it by himself. Erofai, Erofai said the military, they know where these bandits camp are. They communicate with them. So why not them carry their fighter jet, go there and bombard them? So you will not see that this whole thing, this whole thing are well planned by Fulani and the British to conquer the people and take over the country as their, as their own country. After all, this Fulani, they are not even Nigeria. They don't have ancestral land. Osma, their photo say that Nigeria belongs to them. That's why you see all these things are going on now. But our leader tell them one thing. Our leader say, you will send your terrorist uniform to Biafra land. And before you go back, terrorists have taken over the land. And it's happened gradually, gradually. He said it. So let me come in here. Mazi Justice, uh, let me come jog you for Ajujo so that King Wika Kawarande by very well. If he can go to English, fine. If he can go to Igbo, fine. Because our people are listening. Can you hear many these governors, uh, these uh, criminals in our land, in the name of governors, Igwe PG, and other things? Hana Huyeni Lane Menugausa, that a full honey, all these uh, terrorist Mieti Allah, and all these uh, Boko Haram, and all these uh, seven, they have about seven terrorist armed groups in the north. And these are their foot soldiers. They are, you know what they are doing, they are waiting. Or Bugini Mere, Atom Keko, what to go in the bike, or Bugini Mere, that this go all these politicians in our land. Nijeme, any little chin in our land. Eh? How or if the Hagap operation, Python dance, how or a crocodile smile, Hagap or crocodile, how or a go don't dance. Can you mean that Jay Bute upon the exposition nearly the whole everybody name, Monday Rubao, Monday Bo. My everybody there, but now these people who Boko Haram, they have and not not na hana ha idea. Ha je ha opo ta hana he have repented Boko Haram. He he uniform, tola ha red carpet. You know, them ha na ti ha na na AC. Ne ji di ho wo. Ponda me, nda me na administrate o to to them. Ne integrate ha to army and all these all the security apparatus in Nigeria. But to this, uh, uh, our people in the east are watching these things. They are not hiding it. But they are really little something. I got solve it in our own our land. These people are all the, the same people. Ne na bombo train and all that things. Pro our land. Hanibu our people na bombo. And uh, you know, uh, 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 destroy our homes. You know, they were our people. I adopted the uh, the they can have a woo. I adopt all how to go outside a prison. They did the media from our land. I adopt our people. They didn't go outside. But to run in the bike of a green man, these people just made that one. Because you mean that now they try your own because of that now people will be you know, resist the way they are uh, hold the atrocity on them. They resist here. How now what are these people? They were our people. Uh, um, yeah, your question is uh, an interesting question. You know, it's not only the southeastern governors, the southeast, because if you say southeastern, it's a uh, old eastern region. But I think uh, uh, th this question you raised now goes to every indigenous indigenous nationality in nigeria from north to to the atlantic why the fulanis is not up to 40 
uh, million. Uh, but we say we are 100, uh, 200 million, the Fulani population in Nigeria as a whole. But you look at the North, as massive as it is, uh, the North has 19 states. Out of that 19 states, you can count only Benue, uh, Kogi State, Taraba, and uh, Plateau State. These are the four states governed by non Fulani in the 19 states of the North. The rest is Fulani. The same thing goes to House of Reps, House of uh, uh, Senate in all those states. So this and uh, these people has captured the political power, the uh, economic power, and the military power of Nigeria. It's 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 a uh, an appalling situation for our people. For you know for you know you know it's shameless for shameful not shame shameless shameful for our people especially the southern politicians you know uh if you if you look at uh 1979 uh, uh uh arrangement that arrangement the south especially the easterners had a say in government and remember, it was just immediately after the war, the civil war. That is uh, about uh, nine years after the civil war. You understand? Yes. Yet the Igbo politicians were able to maneuver and find themselves in the center of politics. Uh, that then the governance was more reasonable. Was more, was progressive. But the, the thing about Fulani, the way I see them, is a progressive movement. The way I see them, if you defeat, defeat Fulani in one way, they move to the other side. Remember, historically, they said the Fulani were moving towards east. But when they got to Benue, the TV people were able to confront them. They turned back towards Kwara. And that was how they entered the Yolo Valley. So the Fulani has their eyes on the ball. Yeah, I think somebody's um, mic, uh, this thing is uh, echoing back to me. I don't know who who's back, mic. You can mute your mic. Yeah, thank you. So the Fulani has captured everything. And the problem we have in the Southeast most of our political leaders are compromised. You know, if somebody is not clean in politics, if you are not clean, especially where the Fulani now has everything, they have the police, they have the army, they have the EFCC, they have the DS, DSS, they have everything. Most of these politicians see their files every day, they travel to Abuja. You won't uh, understand this. Thing. Most of them remember after 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 the election 2015. This guy Tinubu was shot out of the uh, the whole uh, uh, arrangement to the extent that Tinubu left Nigeria and went to France. He never came back, and he only came back when the APC had a big problem. They called him to co come and reconcile APC. Do you understand? Tinubu was the leader of APC. They, they call him the national leader. He has the his investment into APC can make and or make APC if he has his clout, you know. But after the election, the Fulani took everything from him. Took everything shot him out of power and therefore each time he tried to ask questions he's giving his file do you understand and once you see your file where it will land you you think Oju Zokali is speaking from his heart no he's defending his prison that's what he's doing you think uh this uh uh 
a um, Supreme Court uh, uh, governor of Imo State is doing everything from his heart? No. He's being told what to do. If he doesn't do it, you know where he's going. But one thing they, they don't understand is the fear of the unknown is the greatest, the greatest enemy of every man. This unknown we push them to do things they will never recover from. And uh, they are doing it. This is the problem we have. The crop of politicians we have today is not, is unlike the Igbos before. Remember, uh, uh, remember, um, uh, you know, a lot of them, these people, after the war, you can see the vibration of politics in Ebola. Zeke, even though he was a minority party, he still was influential. Jim, uh, Jim Wobodo, you, you know how he was protecting Anambra State. But our problem is that these people we have today are not chosen by us. They just, you know, you go and buy a ticket from Abuja, you buy a lobby. And in most cases, what I've discovered that this government, I don't know if I'm coming clear out. Yes, you are. Mas, you are coming okay. out clear. Okay. Uh, most of the appointees of this government are people that have problems, people that are not genuine, people that have been indicted. For instance, the present chairman of AP, national chairman of APC now, was he not in PDP? And this is somebody who has been indicted for billions. You know, will have been in jail. But they put him there because once they put you there, then you are told what to do. Otherwise, remember Binta Inyako self, there, there is this allegation that her husband and uh, son is under uh, EFCC investigation or has been indicted, something like that. So everything this Buhari is doing or this regime is doing, they are using stick and carrot. They are using hide and seek. They are using, you know, using crime, you know, people who has committed crime. You know, when he won election, he was saying that most of the politicians have been compromised. At the end of the day, he brought people he recruited are people who were compromised. For instance, the first uh, Inspector General of Police under Buhari was the Commissioner of Police in Kano State, where they bond the returning officer of INEC, who will have declared the elect election uh, unlawful. In Kano State, they burnt him alive, his house. He was the commissioner of police in that state where such a crime was committed. He made him commissioner, uh, inspector general of police. And look at them, Brutai, for instance. You know what Brutai was under Jonathan? He was in charge of, uh, uh, I don't know, he has to do with stock. You know, he, is the one who says that what was ordered was bought. So every money that is uh, the army said they spent on weapon, it is it was brutal that would say yes, this equipment was bought, this one was not bought, and therefore brutal has a hand in the missing billions that army had, but yet he made him chief of army staff. So it is an organized crime and organized, well organized. And that's how they got into this, trying to use, you know, use uh, criminality to break IPOB because they know this thing has no work. Bullet and bomb has no work. This is, this struggle is not just a word of mouth. It is an idea. It is propelled by spirit, by an ideology. We feel the pain. For instance, uh, you know, uh, people, uh, you know, somebody was talking about Christianity and uh, this and that. This nature is a fabulous vacuum. Government has failed. And since government has failed to provide 
the necessary things that government used to provide in any state, then people has decided to fill that vacuum. And that's where you see smartness, you know, people, anything, anybody, anything goes. Now, you can be, say, claim you are a pastor, you see vision and so on and so forth. In a state of hunger and poverty, people reason, doesn't reason very well. And that is a, a problem our people, of facing our people. You pity them. I'm sorry for, you know, you pity them. You know that, you know, people who have money don't go to native doctor when they are sick. Do you know why? They can afford to go to hospital. But the poor ones will choose to visit native doctor because he knows that he can go there and get help, little help. Do you understand? Or he can, uh, native doctor can uh, tell him to worship this one idol or the other. The same thing, somebody who is sick can always walk to a chemist without that, uh, going to doctor for diagnosis because he buys paracetamol, just take it, you know, and be by faith. There's no money. But if he has money, he would like to know what is wrong with him to go to hospital. So our people has been reduced to just bread, bread. If you, there was uh, this video of a woman I saw, she's a, uh, I don't know whether a pastor or something, uh, you know, uh, she gives, he helps people, you know. I saw her, she was in, uh, in Delta and, uh, a crowd, a multitude, not just a crowd, a multitude of people came and she was giving them help. Some for prayer, some came, said they want just prayer. The others came for, they want help. And uh, one guy was struggling to be in the front, you know? At, at the point, the guy was allowed to be in the front. When she finished with the those who wanted prayers, she went to those who has financial problems. This guy was the first person she spoke to. And the guy said he, he is a pastor. And the, in the church he is pastoring, they pay him uh, 4,000 naira a month. And uh, the, the, uh, the overseer or something like the GO could not increase her, his salary. You know, now that he has problem with his uh, house, the, the the landlord has uh, threatened to throw him away. He said, how much are you owe? He said, 12,000 euro. You know, she gave her, him, 50,000 naira. Do you know this guy w fell on the ground, tears, crying, tear of joy. You can see just 50,000 naira. You know, poverty. Poverty is the... Mas, it just is. Uh, yes. Sorry to cut you up. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's because uh, there is no job. Um, uh, yeah, that, in that's what I, that, If yeah. there is a job, what is yeah. that guy can go and look for uh, a job and 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 feed himself and his family, all because or no, that is why they run that, to. That's church. why I said that government has failed. If government has provided job, government doesn't create job, but there is specific things government should do to create job, if there is security, if there is roads, if there is electricity, private sectors will start creating jobs. You know how many companies that are left in Nigeria? And in 1979, in Aba or Imo State, we have a lot of industries. I know ceramic was in a, uh, Imo State. I know how many industries Samu Bakwe built in Imo State. It was booming. G M G uh, GMO, uh, in those days, in 1980, uh, there about, white men were, were working uh, for GMO at Onisha. They have tire industry. They were producing tires in Nigeria. As at that time, 80s, you understand? Yeah, we are busy. Everybody were busy. Farmers were busy. Today, farmers can't go to their work, uh, to their farm. Do you understand? So a lot of things have been dislocated. The, the society has been dislocated. There's no, 
you know, a, a disjointed society that is not progressing normal. There's no normal life of a society. You know, the societal uh, process has a normal progression. But Marzi, today, Marzi, Marzi yeah. Justice, let me hold it there for now. Let me let me come back to you later on. Let me go Sorry. to our brother Marzi Chisom. Marzi, Marzi, can I unmute yourself? Marzi, can you hear us? Yeah. Marzi, let me go to you and uh, ask you this question so that you can explain to our people. You know, there's some certain things I want our people to be understanding. You know, because of the way we gather here now is the same way uh, our people are listening. Don't think they are not those ones that are still awake that are listening and they need to get We are trying to put all these things in their score so that they can understand the danger we are in nigeria at the same at the same time these people that we call ourselves uh, the these uh, criminals in the name of politicians in our land because as far as i'm concerned these people are not evil people and uh, the same way british put them there as a spy to spy us you know after the war they don't want us to ask questions they don't want us to raise to ask questions exactly you see what they are doing today is uh is being laid down by by the people that is ruling them and um that is why you don't see them uh even though they can kill another two million in biafra land as i'm talking to you now they are not ready to say because you know why they don't want anybody to challenge them like you know just like an election is coming now they will come and throw corn by you know give our mothers uh one cup of uh, one cup of rice and the onion and tomato our people will be dancing you see our mothers dancing then you know happy that they collected tomato and the artist things. and little do we know that before mazinda become come out oh we all witness all these things they will carry it and come my and you know how will happen her hair care you know will be you know everybody will be thinking that this is how it is but we, little do we know that this is not is a crime against our people now the question i'm going to you since they know that uh, you see ever since they they kidnapped Mazen Nambekan, they brought him to to the zoo and they be scavenging for evidence to nail Mazen Nambekan. and the zoo know that there is no evidence to nail Mazen Nambekan. Mazen Nambekan did not committed any crime whatsoever the what he's preaching and whatever he's doing to free his people is uh, in international uh, in is in the UN charter is his right to ask the, the the UN and the world that this atrocity method against my people is wrong it's not right and he must go it in a peaceful way until otherwise until the zoo says otherwise before we can know what to do and now even since they kidnapped him you can see what they have been doing i join him from one case to another going up and down nothing nothing because the people think oh well then kidnap mass and american it is all the you know uh, this and this but let me ask you since they know that they have a political uh how, how did they call it um, they said that they are going to um, go to uh political uh whatever they are talking about when they gathers our elders to go to abuja you know they're looking you know one way or the other to political, political solution. solution yes political solution the way they put it but uh, may i ask if you can explain more better when mazin namdekano was with us why can't they call him since this man has been lamenting and you know pointing to one finger and everything look at what i want why can't they call him instead of uh, kidnapping him why can't they call him and say okay uh, let's go let's see if let's uh, you know come down to political solution and see how mazin namdekan will send his own delegate to go and see whatever they have and see how they can uh, resolve it so why can't they do it then and they did do it and they went and kidnapped him and come back to the asking for political solution because some things and what what is going on with these people go on yeah um thank you my brother for the question um i will start from i hope my voice is coming out yes we can hear you okay i will start from from the beginning um all of us know what why they came for the operation python dance 
Nandi Kalo and his late father, Eze Israel Kano, they went to Enugu for negotiation. Nandi Kalo did not want to go because Nandi Kalo has met all the elite in their house and tell them what is going on. There's no seaport, there's no airport, there's no road, there's no hospital. So that they should fix this thing. Then if you want to travel from, from Biafra land, you can, you can come out in Enugu, you enter flight to anywhere you want to go. They, they should do the seaport, the Yugosha seaport, the Onicha seaport, the Kalapa seaport, the One the worry seaport and the one in Akwete, <clears throat> that they should do it why are they leaving all those sleep holes and when they do this seaport our people will get job our people will not be going and dying in the material scene and the women will not be going for halotin and it will less criminal criminality in our land Nandi Kalo starts preaching before he even came out. Start start preaching with them. You know that Nandi Kalo were a chairman before. Do you know Nandi Kalo was Apoga, European rep, European national chairman Apoga. So Nandi Kalo start telling them all these things. They were closing their deaf ear. Then Nandi Kalo now started this agitation. When this agitation starts, they now see that Nandi Kalo is pulling weight. Before you know it, people were asking him, if you are serious, come back home, come back home. Obasanjo have arrested him before, even Jonathan. Come back home, come back home. He come back. They arrested him in, a, in a, what they call it, in a Lagos, in the hotel room. After everything, they brought him to Kujie. After everything, Justice Adimola set him free, discharged and acquitted. The DSS and the Kabao government say no. So after everything, they call on Nandi. When Nandi Kalo came back from Kujie, when Nandi Kalo came back from Kujie, they call on Nandi Kalo. And then Nandi Kalo say he will not. Uh, and uh, Ugochuku Elliot. Now say, now say that they will be in that meeting. Nandi Kalo say, if Professor Mwabeze will not be in that meeting, that he will not go because Professor Mwabeze, Ben Mwabeze has come of age, that he will respect that man and evangelist Ugochuku Elliot to be in that meeting. And when Nandi Kalo were going, he, he went with his father, his late father. So after, after they, they, they start talking, after everything, Nandi Kalo now tell them what he, they will do for him to stop the agitation. They say, okay, stop the agitation. He say, see what you people will do. Then let me go and meet the people that sent me, being the IPOB. Then I will get back to you people. They agree. After that, they agree. Nandi Kalo now go to a boy state, coming back from a boy state. They now come with this operation. take away his life because they believe all they have believed that Nandi Kalo will not do what will not hear anything but Nandi Kalo have told them what they want in the southeast in Biafra land once they brought all these things that he would he will leave the agitation if they can be able to do it that was the agreement then let him go and tell the IPOBs the meeting he had with them Nandi Kalo coming back home with hope that he was talking with people. The next thing you see that to carry battalion of army with MPG tank to come to assassinate him. It was war. And most of us watch it in a video. Watch it in a video before God now made Nandi Kalo to run for his dear life. So there we are a meeting. Just that these people are evil people. Upon the whole things that one 
all their plan is to take away his life. Then when they take away his life, then everything will end there. The whole Southeast governors, the whole politicians, they sign for that operation by Todans to come and do away with Martin Nandekalo. And as God may have it, they did not succeed. So then we are in a meeting, series of meetings. The problem there that these people that we call our politician are not, they are not there to serve us. They are there in their pocket, their belly, infrastructure stomach. When you talk to them, you say, Nan de Kalu, go, leave this agitation, let me finish my tenor. Then the, the upcoming governor will say, uh, let, me, let me rule for eight years before you start this your agitation. That was all what they are saying. And then now the Carlo have got this message that the Flanis are coming. These jihadis are coming. The Flanis are coming. And now the Carlo were rushing to put this in order. To make sure that he go where he's supposed to go, that grassroots agitation, which God single him out to finish before that operation Python has now came. So then we are negotiation, just that the governors, the politicians reject it. They did not accept it. So for them now to be calling that they need political solution. That political solution you are seeing is what they call eye service. Because they have seen that there's nothing they can do again. Because all their mind is that Nande Kalu will die in Kenya to, to kill him in Kenya. But as they did not succeed, they now use that political solution. To DSS to see him. You can watch um Capital Law Ilifan Yoba. Before the election, if I knew about where we are, we are chasing him now, the car will everywhere to see him. Then after the election, where do you see him again? So all of them are going for their interests, not for the interests of the people. They are going for their own interests. That's why I call them infrastructure stomach. They are not going for the masses. They are not working for the masses. They are the willing tools that they are using. The British are there. The British are using the Fulanese, and the Fulanese are using them. So then we are a huge negotiation. So for you to see them coming out today and say they are going for political, since they are going for this political uh, 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 solution, what have they come out of it? They have never come out with any tangible matter. That's why that's why I give tip up for. Uh, 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 Or you see one governor now come out single-handed, say, what has he done? None of them have done that. But when you think that they are going there to negotiate for you, they will go and they will go and meet the, the cabal and tell them, forget about him. Let him be there. If you can put me to be to be to be a minister, or you make me the governor, I will do this for you, I will do this for you. I will slave my people more. That is what they are doing. That is what they are doing. So when you see anybody coming to rob Putina and the Carlo, he is not coming genuinely. He is not, his or her is not coming genuinely. He is coming for his own, to negotiate on his own. Nayamodo did it. Nayamodo did it. Ojus Okali did it. So where will we mention them to? Where would we measure them to? We, we scattered. Joe Ibokwe said it. It's on the line of it. You Google it, you will see. He said, once you get him, all his disciples will scatter. They should get him. So for now, for the federal government to be looking for allegations to take to hold him, they say when anybody are going to equity, should go with clean hand. They have for the international law. They have fought the international law for doing what for extraordinary redemption that they did to him, 
which even even the Nandekalo is controlling more than more than hundred million people. More than hundred million people Nandekalo is controlling. The 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 how uh, what is the population of what is the population of Germany? You change the population of Germany. You change the population of uh, of uh, of uh, Holland. Are there how many million? It has some country that are, are even are, are not up to ten thousand. Are controlling more than seven hundred million people. So when they kidnapped, when they 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 say that when you get him, all the followers we 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 scatter. They thought that it will be like that. It will not be like that because this is a divine call. He did not come there on his own. He said it if it on his own, he will not, we will not even know him. That he will not come. That the most difficult people to deal with is our race. The most difficult people to deal with on earth is our own people. So he prepared for this. He prepared well and come. I keep on telling people he prepared well and come. And that's why I'm following him to any length and to anywhere he go. And that's why I can give my time to speak about him. I can put my money, I can put my sweat, I can put anything to stand on his side, shoulder to shoulder. Uh, uh, Jigolon or political what they are what they are, what they are trying to do. What they are doing is fallacy. What they are doing is fallacy. They are not honest. They are not honest. All of them from A to Z are not honest. All they are planning today, they are not happy that Nandekalo is alive today. Nigeria will not see anything to hold him down. Nigeria will not see anything to hold him down because they did not go through the normal process. And anytime they hold Nandekalu, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, God will raise him up more than the way he is before. Even people that don't want to speak, we speak. A prime minister of India has speak about Biafra. And we believe that one day, another prime minister will still come up to talk about Biafra issue. It's a, it's a, 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 it's a process. And we are on. We will never go back. We'll be constant in this issue. And when we keep on hitting, 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 one day we will score the goal. And they will ask us to go. And all your prophecy has come to pass, except one. I stop for here. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, Mazi Chisom. You just uh, uh, hit, uh, you made it clear, you know, for people to understand, you know, for those who are reasonable enough to understand it, because Mazi said we should come with our, always come with our uh, uh, pen and paper to jot things down. It's for our people. For we, we have understand everything that is wrong uh, with Nigeria. I have understand it. And uh, people like us here today have understand it. And there is nothing will stop us from getting our freedom. Nothing. Nothing at all will stop us from getting our freedom. That is why I throw that question for you to, you know, put uh, enlighten us to, to see if there is a, a things our people will pick up from there. Now, let me go to Mazib. I don't know if he's still there. Can you hear us? As I'm with you, Mazi. Mazi, I will go to you. There's a things uh, uh, I need you. I uh, want you to explain to our people. It's very, okay. very important because you know that we have a lot to uh, okay. explain to our people, so that we can begin to, you know, uh, find solution. Because I shared you, I you in here to Oji before it reappear, because it reappear now. You remember oh, oh, when Tom, was hitting the, the you know 
he was hitting it everywhere. He, he, he made it clear that he will speak the truth. It doesn't matter even though if he takes his life that is he here. He's been mandated to speak the truth. And we see Mazi has been speaking the truth without even know, without without even looking anybody's face. It doesn't matter okay. whoever that stands on his way, he will tell you the way it is. And Nigeria said we should hold our our uh, politicians we should hold them responsible these are the nigerians words if you go to china uh, china's tv all this uh, arrive uh, arise news blah 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 and mm. you know any person they bring out and even when they want to do all these things if they want to come against us they will bring uh, the, the nigerians uh, you know in a way you know in a way if they want to really to uh, co uh come against us to let the whole world know you know that uh uh how am i going to put it if they want to you know lie against us they will bring somebody who who a nigerian but he will answer your name but inside him is a core nigeria just like the way we are looking at Namdi Azikiwe today, you think Namdi Azikiwe is an Igbo man, he's never an Igbo man. Namdi Azikiwe was born in Zingeru, and he grew up like uh, like uh, Dangomal Zingeru. He has no Igbo blood in him. He just answered Namdi Azikiwe, but Obu Honi Igbo. Don't be deceived. Okay. The same way you see Okorocha now, in the answer mm. Okorocha, but he's a Malam, he's a pure Malam blood on the name here. Okrocha is his father, his, his biological father is a Fulani man. Now, oh, this so question me. is with you. Why is for you in the Fulani? He's not denying it. You know, when Mazu was saying it, people were thinking it was a joke. But now, Okrocha is not denying it. Now, they were telling us, Nigeria were telling us to, oh, hold your politicians responsible. Hold your politicians responsible. Is there. When Ekwadamadu was held responsible in Germany to ask him a question, where was the money that was given to you by Jonathan to build uh, that um, express Enugu on the expressway? Exactly. You know, they asked him that question. And they <laughs> yes, he <laughs> coat of arm Nigeria, fire as an Isha Gundi. Women all he came to mock us. If you watch that attack, mm. oh attack in Dibu. But instead uh, of what he shago, he now come there to put it Nigeria coat of arm. He come to mock us. Uh, now we hold him responsible to ask him questions. What happened to that money that was given to you to to that okay, chef that the chef and Rihanna? No. Some forgetting the slide. Yeah, we now hold him responsible to ask him that question. And you see, the same Nigeria and Nigeria they are, uh, himself that was asking us to hold our politicians responsible. We asked a mother that question. Now Nigeria turned back again and asked that, oh, Ibu people are molesting their politicians. Uh, molesting their politicians, this and that, they start talking, talking. They start, it's only one Igbo man, one Igbo man that came out in Arise television. I think it's in Arise television or one of the he condemned Kuramadu totally. I still have that, that video in my phone. The man condemned somebody, I've forgotten that man's name. Let's go back. The man condemned Kuramadu who totally, he did not look face mm. now. Mm. Since Nigeria asked us to hold our, our politicians responsible, now we hold the Kuramadu responsible and they turn they turn back to black blackmail us. What do you have to uh, because when Mazin Namdekano they were asking Mazin Namdekano, oh, why do you have to go to all the way to Abuja? Why do you have to start for the federal government? Why can't you, you know, hold the uh, politicians responsible and all these uh, things that is good? And he said to them, no, the, he's going where the problem started from because we are the, our problem started today is, is the Abuja himself, this Fulanis. That is where our problem started today. And we know. Now, what are you going to tell our people? That statement they made and what happened to Ekuramato, and they turn against us again. Nigeria that asked us that question, they turn against us again. 
tell our people what do you think is the right thing to do to these politicians go on okay mm, first and foremost is that the politicians we have in our land they are not there for us they are not there for the masses they are, are not for us our people should understand that they are there as a toy you understand me they are just there for their own selfish interests they are not there to serve the people or to build infrastructure or to build the schools electricity pothole as western world used to do if itself let me tell you one thing could you believe that eh, if dog common dog die for western world here eh, before a minute ambulance don't they there to save the life of that dog this one is animal no? and they give animal dog here special treatment every week you see so you're not going to africa general let me put it in that way you now understand that black people we are we are the cause of our problem because why we do not value ourselves we don't know what is democracy we don't know what is religion you know anything that white man brought to africa we accept it within within questions would you ask ah this you are bringing to us what is this all about what is the definition you understand me now you come to our politicians there is nothing nothing ever in this world that will make them to change their mindset or to work for the people it can never happen not in this our generation not in the next generation to come so if they say we should hold our uh, politicians accountable then they must know that eh, if we the people choose who we want to rule us at the end of the day the feather the fulani kaba put who they like to serve the interests of that Fulani Janjaweed, to serve the interests of the colonial master. Okay, for example, look at uh, what happened in Imo State, which is clear to everybody that hope Uzodema come forth in Imo State election. Now, Fulani now called him fourth position. No, sign a deal with him to give them land for ruga to fulanize emo state people they now bring him to power bring him as first position so if you begin to see all those things you will now realize that this thing so-called uh, democracy is not for africa it's fake white man bring it to us to keep us in slavery to keep on slavery in us understand to keep on keeping us for slavery so that we will not ever ever open eye or enlighten our people what is going on understand me even religion this christianity of a thing that's why i say that if Biafra come today, we will put law. We will know we will put law to know how many churches, and church will be will be under government. We will put we have a limit of religions of churches. How many church in the city? Like if you come to Europe here, like 
full local government, we only have one church. And that one church is Catholic. And that Catholic church, how many people are even going there? You can only see all these old people going to that church. Europeans don't believe on uh, all those religions. You sit down there, you pray. God will come and help you. God will throw money from heaven. God will do this and that. Why people don't believe on all those things? They believe on physical, mm -hmm. on practical. Mazebuka, let me interrupt eh? you here a little bit. Uh, uh, can I, know, uh, Mazi, can I, can I comment? Uh, yes, Mazi, Justin, I... Mazi, Justin, I coming to you. There's one thing I wanted to no, throw no, to you. No, I, I want to add something to uh, a point of foundation to what uh, Ebuka was saying. Okay, go okay, on. Okay, ask me. Go on, Mazi. Uh, yes, uh, Mazi, please, Justin, go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, by your intro, before you introduce the equation, you are talking about. Uh, the position of our leader, why he should hold Abuja responsible for a problem. Look at it. No, I'm coming for that side. I'm just coming. I'm just saying, I will come back to that side. This Mazi, is part of Mazi, the education. Mazi, you can hold on. Uh, Mazi Justice wants to uh, throw something to you. He wants to explain something okay. before you can carry on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Mazi Justice, okay, go on. Sir. Okay, yeah. okay, sir. I'm listening. The independent constitution you remember we have first three regions and those three regions okay. we are independent and contributing to the federal government you okay. in that constitution the division of uh, uh, responsibility or constitutional powers they were clearly spelled out so every region knows where its power begins and ends and federal government okay. knows where its own power ends so it was like what you have in the west and that's the western countries like europe okay. america and so on and so forth okay. in 1979 there was also the the constitutional provision was better than this present constitution which is a fulani constitution because okay. what fulani does they will always use you and dump you the people who drafted this constitution, it was uh, this um, the former, uh, the last military head of state. I don't think he's uh, really a full animal. He's not a full animal. But they used him to achieve that purpose. And that was why this man continued to contest for election, because this arrangement fits what the full animal wanted. It fits because it touches everything. Everything, everything, including borehole you have in your house, the federal government can seize that borehole. Do you understand? And so that is yeah. where our problem lies. Uh, continue with uh, uh, your analysis. You know. Mazi Buka, you can now go on and summarize so that I can throw one question to Mazi Justice. That question is very, very important for him to explain it to our people. You can go on now. Okay, okay. So, anybody say, uh, telling us to hold uh, our politicians account accountable is a medicine after death because if it's possibly that we can hold them accountable, eh, then there must change a system of government which is federalism. It comes to that federalism. This is the system of government that Western are practicing today, including America. America become great today because every region control their economy. Every region have their own policing. Every region have their own thing, if you, including their, their own courts. The only thing that consigns a region with the federal is only giving them their distinct tax. Maybe the remaining one, maybe 10% or 20% to the federal. The rest, they use it to develop their region. Understand me? So the system of government is not possible that we, the masses, can hold our politicians are accountable because the power 
is not with them. The power is fe is Fedra. Fedra controls them. Okay, imagine if power is with uh, uh, the state, Fedra have no right to deploy military to your state without your consent or police. It doesn't happen anywhere in Western world. You can remember when uh, uh, during America, this last election, Trump and uh, Joe Biden, that election, the one cause war. So there was a state that uh, Trump said that he would deploy military. He would declare state of emergency. The governor, they are either California or, or somewhere else. The governor said no, that you can't deploy military in my state. You should be the one to ask for it. You understand? So, that kind of thing can never happen in Nigeria because the way Nigeria structure is not for the interest of the people. It's for the interest of the colonial master. That's why the colonial master, which is the British, quickly understand and know how to manipulate people through the Fulani. Make this Fulani through the government. To conquer the race, the other people in Nigeria, so that nobody can talk to challenge them. So you see where the problem comes from. So that is where I will stop, Mazi. Okay. <clears throat> yes, <clears throat> Mazi Buka. Thank you very much. That's me. That means that everything that we are doing and the IPOB and Mazin Namdekano uh, uh, is doing is down, down to the main root what why we are suffering, which is, uh, which is Abuja, which is uh, the yes. main federal capital himself. So I have yes. thought of, I have go up and down and see that our problem remains in that Abuja, in this yes. Pagmaya de Putos, because you cannot tell me that uh, you see what happened in uh, the the trend that these terrorists are uh, bombed. These are Buhari people. These are his brothers. Yes, you they know, are terrorists. They are brothers. They cannot brothers. deploy military sure. to go there and begin to bomb people's house and begin to kill people and begin to adopt them to bring them to Omaha prison or uh, or where the prison. They can't do that. You know, they can't do. They can't deploy uh, military. But if any little thing happen in our side, they will deploy all the whole military. Oh, and start killing our people now. That brings me to that the, the our problem, our, our it's Abuja is Abuja because if not because of any, the, let me tell you, they love to kill us, they love yes. to see our blood being spilled. This is Nigeria himself, because I call it Nigeria because all the only earthly group, anyone that bears anyone that uh don't want to answer nigeria should remove himself to say oh we are not part of nigeria this is what we want to so that we can co all come to run table and say okay this uh, uh, everybody to go their separate way that is why i'm still calling yes. the and make our own laws that will yes, work I'm for still us them. i'm still calling them nigeria because all the ethnic groups there if you don't want to belong to, if you don't want to hear anything from any bad thing from us Come out and tell your people we don't belong to Nigeria. Let's come to round table and let everybody go their separate way. So because you are killing us and we are not going to fold our hands. So what Nigeria is killing us? And Mazi, you know, you know one thing. You see, for example, look at how Puzo the manner. Like few few months ago, you see how Hope Puzo the man deploying military, bombarding everywhere. What happened? Just because uh, People, they are, they, they arm. This politician arm this or non government to cause havoc in the state. If you don't know, let me tell you now. All those or non government you hear about are sponsored by politicians who put those, those are them so that when a non government commit crime, they can have the access to bombard our people, our homes, and kill us. Because they love killing us. Do you understand? Okay, why not Aerofy start bombarding Kaduna, those bushes that those stories are staying? 
or a Niger state a governor. So if you see all those things, you now realize that it's a well planned game. Fulani, they have planned this game long time ago with Britain to conquer the people through their terrorism. Ma and people Buka, don't seem to understand it. Let me, let me, let me uh, 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 interrupt you there. Uh, no, the thing, the, uh, the, the main issue there is anybody that can kill as much as you were people, they will give him power. They will, you know, as long as you are ready to kill you were people, as you are ready to split our blood, destroy our market, kill our mothers, you know, destroy, burn down our homes, Fulanese will give you power. Now, let me go to Mazi Justice. Uh, there's something I need to uh, ask you so that you can explain to our people uh, very, very well. What advice do you actually have for Soludo? Because I am watching Soludo with the two eyes open, my two eyes, not one, my two eyes open. Um, because if you watch one certain time, there is a video of Soludo that trends very, very well, where he said that if you think that these people, uh, we, these children you are seeing now, if you go, you will go to Abuja to collect deal on behalf of them and come down and say to them, you know, trying to deceive them, time shall come that they will start hunting you people. The video is there, you know. He made it clear that uh, you think you can go to Abuja and cut deal on these guys and come down and start playing politics with them. That time shall come, they will, you know, they will start reacting and the other things. He made that clear in one of their gathering. This gather, I call it to the gathering. They are gathering to deceive our people, because I know what he's doing now is to, you know, trying to. Uh, by the heart of our people then to go into this position he is now but i am not saying about the position he is because everything everybody says is in social media when the time comes we'll remind him now if you the reason why i want you to explain to our people what advice do you have for soludo and if you look at what happens to Imo state uh, uh he had your one election and the fulanese give it to this criminal this 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 criminal that uh, our people have, our people have right is dead for him. He, you know, power uh, is uh, something that sweet. But when it's about, when they are about to lose it, they will start crying. Dave Omar is, uh, is is number one example. Okorocha, when he was living, he thought he would stay there forever. And now, if somebody that Okorocha, if uh, anyway, let me not go there. Now, uh, who puts Odema came in? Uh, uh, our people was not fighting him. Um, uh, IPOB was not fighting him. ESM was not fighting him. The reason why ESM was in Nabush is to checkmate our uh, the Fulanese that is killing our people. That was the reason why Mazi from uh, ESM to to safeguard our people because there will be a time. Uh, Fulani will come out in the open and kidnap and take them to Bush and collect uh, uh, ransom, which they have started doing before ESM was created. And the good job that ESM was doing is the record is there, not until uh, these infiltrators come. And they start, uh, you know, the first thing is to start hammering DOS a criminal to sink it into the uh, marrow of the gullible ones. That is why he see them ask, saying yeah, DSS, uh, DOS are criminal, DOS are criminal, so that they will try to convince our people that they, they have eaten the money that made for ESM. They are sinking that song into the ESM so that they will think it's true. That is the reason why you see this criminal in Finland was doing. I know where he was going. And the uh, hope was them, ESM was not fighting him. IPOB was not fighting him. Rather, the Northerners put said to him, no, go in there. We will do everything. Go in there and start killing your own people. And do everything. Because I know what this, uh, I think Shetima Irima said in one certain time. I understand what that man said one certain time, and I laugh. Now, Hopu Zodema, since then, he has been killing our people. He has been massacring our people. Because this is the what the Fulanis asked him to do. That was the, since he came in, can you show us any factory or any 
thing tangible that hope of them have done to Imo State. No, apart from death, apart from misery, apart from you know, you know, subjugating our people into hardship and other uh, diseases and other you know, you know, worst things you can ever name. And since then, he has been finding it so so bitter as well. Now, what uh, uh, um, uh, advice do you have for Soludo? Because Soludo, IPOB is not going to fight you. IPOB is not there to fight anybody until you show your ugly face if Fulanis wants to use you. So tell us, Marze, Justice, what advice do you have for Soludo himself? Because I'm still watching Soludo. And I know nobody should see him as a messiah, but there's something I don't want, there's one mistake I don't want him to make. And people, what I'm saying now, people, some people that, uh, you know, uh, see in, 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 uh, because if he made that mistakes, not only that, if Solu don't make a mistake, not only that he will find it hot, you know, these criminals that cause and, and Yuba, and these kakus and uh, the other ones uh, they are there these are vultures they are there to make sure that uh, they can do undo so what advice do you have for soludo mazi justice please uh, tell our people um mazi you know um i'll start from you know ipob you know is a peaceful movement you know it's a it's a non-violent movement and everybody knows that And that's why you see a lot of vultures, you know, rearing his head here and there. Because if IPOB has adopted the, the violent method, you know, some of these people, some of these people knows that the moment you misbehave, think about, for instance, Hamas in uh, Palestinian. If you're a member of Hamas, or if you're a Palestinian, and you speak against Hamas in the open, you have signed your death warrant. Do you know that? But IPOB is not like that. Because IPOB has truth and facts as its weapon. And it is that facts and truth that drives the agenda. It is that, that that drives the agenda. So, in you know, in politics, there is difference between campaign and actual governance. When you are campaigning, you say you make a lot of promises, mm. but when you get into the office, you see there is a gap. What we call theory and practice. There is a gap between theory and I'm putting it into practice. And it is always more difficult for a professional to perform very well in, in, in politics because he is not gifted with these uh, lying tongues, you know? Because he has a lot of statements he has made in writing I'm sure that Sonudo, Sonudo has books he has written. I'm sure that he has given addresses, you know, you know, made addresses in some places he has written. I'm also sure that I can always download Sonudo where he spoke uh, about the release of Nam the Kanu and the reasons to release him. Do you understand? now he's in government you know just like it is it boils down to what i said it takes a strong man with a strong heart that has a ball eh, to call a spade a spade now the most of the politicians in the east southeast they are full of fears one they don't have the commission of police they cannot come uh, tell their commission of police in their state do this or do that if you ask for, uh, for instance when the fulani attacked a place in enugu state called nimbo 
the information that they will attack was there known three weeks or four weeks before and the governor called the uh, GOC Enugu a two div called the uh, the Air Force called the commissioner and they all declined to you know send the, their forces unless they get clearance from the Abuja you know so Soludo should understand that his own is different. That is different between a tout and a professional. If he makes a mistake, he has rubbish everything he has done in his life as a professor, as a career professor, uh, uh, professional. He has rubbish it because everyone hopes that Soludo will be able to manage this storm you know, and uh, find a balance. But his utterance is now to begin to say, this one drop your gun and come out of the bushes and uh, we will discuss, you know. So the, a state cannot discuss with IPOB. An Ambra state has nothing to offer IPOB. IPOB is not asking an Ambra state for a referendum. So he has nothing to discuss with IPOB. Rather, he can speak on behalf of IPOB, asking the federal government to do the right thing. That this gun of 18, this bullet, is not going to solve the situation. He's supposed to think like that. So my advice to him is to understand, one, this idea of Monday sit at home is not by force. IPOB said, we have called sit at home uh we have cancelled it but if you volunteer to sit at home good and fine just like ipob cancelled the boycott of election that brought him into power the ipob said if you want to vote go and vote but with the boycott we have cancelled it but what, what what kind of election is that you know IPOB have given you option to make a decision. Our people now volunteer to sit at home. What I don't know, uh, want is some group of people going around to say we are forcing the sit at home. So some you don't should know that if we rush into trying to please the government in power at the center, he has no way to fall in back to, you know? And like, uh, if you look at uh, Femi Fani Kayode, you know, these people will bring you out. When they bring you out and they promise you, yeah, yeah, and you come out, you disappoint a lot of people. They will throw you back and you will be alone. So they will do the same thing. They, what, he should be careful because these people will rubbish him. Rubbish him. There's no any politician now, governor in Southeast that has the respect of Igbos. There's no governor in Southeast. Think, uh, who is that? None, zero. Because you go there to please them. Uh, they, you, these people, you know, they are full of takia. They don't tell you the truth. You discover with them, they promise you heaven and earth. The, this political solution was suggested by federal government to uh, Igbo leaders, and they took it. Who can uh, listen without question, you know, without guarantees? So, this Soludo, well, he's a good man, you know, he, he performed well during Obasanjo, he worked hard during Obasanjo, you know, when he was governor of Central Bank. But his central bank uh, governorship did not favor the Igbos. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. This governor opportunity he has now, he has to prove himself. To pay he back. has to prove, uh, of course, he has to prove himself. Thank you, man. Okay. Uh, Master Justice, uh, thank you. You have nailed it. Uh, exactly what I have in mind, because if he rush into uh, something that uh, he think he can please his uh, masters and make a mistake, eventually he will regret it. So there's something I wanted him to do, 
and uh, first of all he has to call make it bold enough stand bold enough the way uh Obadiah uh, Lafia which the Fulani is killed because that man was killed because you know he think that they knew quite very well that, that their people will never do anything if they kill him just the way they cannot tamper man's in Africa. they know what IPOB and Igbo people are capable to do they know quite very well they know this and they will never uh, do anything to tamper with him they know that is why you see them scavenging all around now let me go to my brother chisholm there's something i need to uh, throw to you so that you can uh, enlighten our people very well and then so we can understand it if you remember during the man, end man, sorry before before you switch over to chisholm at least i'm taking a excuse because i have a guest waiting for me no problem yeah thank you thank no you problem. sir good night y'all yeah thank you sir bye yeah okay sir thank you right Mazi Chisom, you see during the answers um uh, there's something that brought that answers it's about all these killings and the nations you know uh, a young man was killed uh, you know they dragged his body you know parading him an innocent man that lead to that answers and then you know even as at that the people that said that they are Nigeria, they played their legend to Nigeria. They went to uh, Lake uh, Tollgate to, uh, you know, um, to uh, you know, try to let the whole world knows what SARS has been doing to them. And that Lake Tollgate, it would even with their own zoo flag, they were shot to death without remorse they were being killed shot like animals and now and uh, up to now there is no inquiry from lie to lie from deceive to deceive that is why Mazin Namdekan vowed that he will never fall into that they are deceived that he has learned Nigeria very very well and what transpired between them and our late general Dimodmugujuku he learned a lot from what the deceive of Nigeria. So, and Nigeria himself, the citizens of Nigeria don't want to learn. Now, if you look at what happens to Obiwo, Omuike was the governor of Obiwo. And you know, Obiwo is full of Igbo people, you know. And um, this answers was, uh, as a result of the killings of uh, the youth and the uh, and the humiliation and the, all, the, all the atrocity they have been doing, the whole Nigeria came out to say to say they don't want answers and it triggers what they call uh, revelation. But the revelation the is triggered. I was uh, praying for that revelation to hold and see if it's going to come to end of nigeria you know it was everywhere all the whole country feel the heat of it before they play their divider okay but we can took it upon his his own and we can be an, an evil man and he denied that he's not an evil man he locked up of our people in obibo in only obibo and call uh, uh, for uh, this their coffin. He locked up people for, for months, placed them on that coffin. And uh, the zoo military, he called on the zoo military. And you know that these people hate us very well. They are looking any opportunity to kill Ndibo because they know. You can see how they went to uh, uh, this uh, uh, market in, uh, in Lagos, where our people always said they are their motor pass they went there because somebody sell a uh, motor pass for them and they feel that they can use it for long and then when it gets spoiled they bring it back instead of them to uh sort it out they, they shoot our people and then kill people there nobody said anything 
because this is how Nigeria has been killing our people. Now, we can lock our people and the military came in, you know, because this is any, any they are waiting, any slightest mistake, they will come and kill our people. They love to see our people bleed. Now, um, what do you have to say about uh, uh, what Wike did, because some of the people Wike killed, the Igbo people he killed, the Nobi Igbo, some of them, uh, their family are still asking for justice, and some of them are still in languishing in jail. Some of them, they lift them, lift them from Nobi Igbo to, 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 to the north, and some of them are still there. Some are being released through the help of um, IPOB and our intelligence, you know, they try to find out where our people are, where they dump them, and we can show no remorse about it, and it's gonna back it out because he think that he can kill our people and get away with it. He think he's playing the politics of uh, uh, kill Igbo people because, as far as I'm concerned, we can we pay for what he did for killing our people. Now, what do you have to say about? Because that thing is still it is still inching me. Anytime I see Wike, I ask God for one thing. So, what do you have to say about our people? Wike uh, uh, knows exactly what he was doing. He, event, he planned it very well to put place curfew on Obi alone. Military was going house to house, killing our people you know doing committing genocide against our people and the media has never talked about it so what do you have to say because this answers was something that goes around all the whole nigeria but we can took it upon himself to commit another genocide against our people because this what i'm what i'm telling you now is genocide hanging against on top of wicked's head against evil people you know people so what do you have to say about that crime that we can committed Yeah, my brother, yeah, you have said it all. Um, Wike sin is unforgivable. Do you know what gave Wike the gods that Wike did not show any remorse? When it happened, when Martin and the Carlo were shouting, the answers is something that went went all over the Federation. Then in Obibu, they are still doing what other people are doing in other other states. In Obibu, so for Obibu own to be to be an, a different thing, that Mwike has the ambition to come to to come as a president, to come contest as a president with the Tambawal. So Mwike has to show these people that he is mean. Because You know, during the war, they were singing, you capture Uzua call a double portion. You capture, you capture Potakot, you go a double portion. You capture Iherambi, say double portion. You capture Onicha, double portion. So that, those double portion you hear is the Obasanjo. That's why they rule two, two times, both late Buharin is double portion. Then if a politician, you kill, you kill our own people, they give you senator or minister or you became governor or you go to president so to to wipe our people out is something that they have planned for years they start killing us from 1945 even before 1945 once they start the amalgamation they start killing our people because british told them that these people are they have that spirit of rebellion they will rebel against anything you are doing that they don't. You have to be killing them like a Christmas ram, a Christmas goat. Without like that, if you allow them to balance, your own has finished. So that's why they are doing what they are doing. It is written, whenever you kill your people, see what will be give to you. See what we will give to you. But they are disappointing them. And when we are not showing you the most, when this thing ends, 
Ohaneze, Nayamodo. You know, I too much hate that man. I hate him with passion. Nayamodo, Devo Mahe, Okezi Bazo. All of them went to Ibosha government house where you were stalking cock and bush. Somebody kill your children. You came there, you start singing for him. You start singing for him. You start singing for him. Then, what do you expect? The community. If somebody have a drunkard as a father, people will be beating the children. And they will be sending the children a kind of any kind of error. Because they know he has no father. They know he has no father. Nobody will stand for him. But somebody that is rooted, you cannot send his son or his daughter anyhow, or to beat him anyhow. You know that the father will come out for a child. The father will ask you, why? Why do you do this? They know that nobody will come out for us apart from Mazen Nandekalo and the life of IPOB. No any other people. So they went to government house to go and sing and take 150,000 naira or 1, 1 million from, from the governor and go that was what they did and that's why we did not show any remorse to our people and that's why we cannot even show any remorse today to our people that is exactly what happened and today we are saying something that we cannot we if if you say that this is uh a grassroots polit uh, politics Wike cannot even win his word. Talkless of to become a president. He cannot win his word. Talkless of to become a president. EFCC are going after all of them. EFCC are going after all of them. Even the Enugu state governor. EFCC on him now. The vessel he bought. He has a vessel. The vessel that carry how many, how many, the vessel that he bought that is working for him in, in South Africa. They're investigating him seriously. That's why Nandekalu say once you serve zoo finish, you come back with his grace. So it is written, it is written. So we can must pay for what he did. You know, one thing is that one thing is that they don't want this Biafra to come, but we we are pushing that no time the light, the, the, the darkness can comprehend light. Light must surely shine over the darkness. And we will get to our promised land, and these people will be nailed for it. Thank you. Are you okay. still with me? Yes, Mazi. Okay, it's like uh, Mazi Buka have uh, left. I can't see him anymore. Okay, but, uh, thank you. Yeah, I will, yeah, I will... yeah, so before we go now, uh, before we go, the, in two minutes, uh, there's something I want you to, uh, uh, you know, enlight to our people, because okay. our people is going to watch this program tomorrow, and okay. uh, all the people that are still watching it. The, uh, if you watch uh, when my brother George Money come up, there's a video of one of these uh, sil uh, senator in the lawyer chamber. Um, that was I don't know if you were following him when he came on board. He was playing the video of the man in lawyer chamber. This man was actually now calling for Nigerians to to take a, to arm yourself. He was actually calling for Nigerians now to he made it open. To, 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 yes, to take up arms to defend themselves. He made it clear to take up arms to defend themselves. And now that reminds me when Mazen Namdekan was shouting for all Igbo politicians to 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 come together to form, uh, you know, to do something tangible for our people. And then he gave them the roadmap that look at what is going to happen. Look at the plan of these people. They call him all manner of names. Now a senator from the north was calling was calling for the nigerian citizens to take up arms to defend themselves that's that come that uh, brings me back to our security esm and that is why you see when this criminal you people don't know how i hated this idiot in finland because he has no right he's no, number one he's not an IPOB member he has no whatsoever right to go start prognosing his nose into ESM, the security that was formed by Mazen Namdekan. He has no right just because 
he wants to prove it. he wants people to see him as somebody who can challenge him as in Namdekano. He wants people to believe actually that he can he can talk with IP, he can poke his his hand into IPOB's eyes. He can challenge Mazin Namdekano because Mazin Namdekano is being kidnapped. You know, when I look at that idiot, when I look at that guy, I I just I laugh. I just believe you me, I just don't know how I look at myself. You know, he thinks he has grown way and this guy think that because he's living in Finland and he feel he can be pushing out all manner of rubbish in something Mazin Namdekano. Oh, Chineke, now when I look at these things, I, I laugh. Now, this man that is calling for Nigerians to take up arms to defend yourself, that justifies the same thing anywhere they go. Anything Nigeria do today, vindicate Mazen Namdekan. When Mazen Namdekan went to Igbo uh, organization in America, ask them to that we need guns and bullets to defend our land look at what is happening look at what is going to happen look at exactly they call him some people laugh him some people say oh which passport are you using this that 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 they call him all names some of these people now that laughed man in them they can in that Igbo uh, this thing they can't even come home they are afraid because they don't know if they come home if they are going to be killed or kidnapped or you know you know so those things that man in them can tell them are happening in, in every you can see it happens now now, what are you going to tell our people about these senators that call for Nigerians to take up arms to defend themselves? What are you actually going to, you know, tell our people? And what are you going to drive home to this Efulev, all these politicians in our land, that Mazen Namdekane has been vindicated? And without IPOB and ESM, our land could have been like a, a brony or Zampara, or worse than Somalia by now. So tell our people what in two minutes before we, we go, what are you going to, you know, let our people understand about what that man was calling for? Please. This is not a crime. Is there an international law where you, when self-defense is, is still in the competence of the law? So you have the right to defend yourself. So what Nande Kalu did to form ESN is self-defense. So when when somebody came with machet to rape your mother or to rape your sister or your wife, you see the person with machet, you will chase the person with the same machet he came for. He came with. When somebody came with rifle, you came exactly with that rifle he came with. That is the only way to comfort that criminal, that that rapist that bandit that terrorist so you cannot chase the person with bare hand when you go with bare hand the person will defeat you and they will kill the person so you must go with the mission that he came with so self-defense is not a crime yes what the senator is saying that him nandi kali always always he has seen it years years before all these people start saying it today. So for you to, to defend yourself is the right thing for you to do. Even naturally, your eyes, when, when, you, when you do hand or somebody do like this, your eye will blink. That is self-defense. Your eye will blink. You will blink your eye. That is self-defense. Let something not fall into your eye. You will blink your eye <coughs> to defend your to defend that eye. So what Mazen and the Kalu did is the right thing, is still the competent of the law to defend yourself. It's never a crime for the ESN. That's why the ESN are the, in the bush for the flying terrorists. And the flying terrorists are the most deadliest terrorists, number third or second in the whole world. And the whole world know what it stands for, what the Mieti Allah stands for. The whole world know just that Nigerians are gullible. Just that Nigeria are gullibles. Killing people every day and night. They are still sitting down. In, in, a, in a country that they call, in a, a country, because Nigeria is not a nation, people could have been in the street. 
even the fuel increment, people have could have been in the street and march to talk about the governors. The governors has nothing to do because they are not for us. We keep on saying it. We have said it. We have elaborated many times. They are not for us. The governors has all of them has their private jets that once it happened that day we run, but they don't know that that runway that that jet will run before it will take off. That we will destroy that runway. That they will not see where to go. They don't know. They don't know that we will bring that plane down. They don't know. They think that they think that they will do all these things and go free. The law, the nature will catch them. Everything will catch them. So that is what I will say. Thank you, my brother. I think we will see. Today again. Yes, Bless thank you. you very much. You right. just nailed it. You just nailed it. Uh, I will okay. appreciate every one of us that came on board to educate our people because our people is going to watch these things and they learn a lot from what we have just you know passed to them today is very very important and our hod and the, and the dos are going to see it if they're not watching as well they are going to see it because we're all going to stand with them and uh, get justice to our people and make sure mazin namdekan is being released mazin namdekan must must be released must on condition, Muazin Namdekan will be, never be attached any, any whatsoever, uh, any additional caution or you know whatever. He must be released unconditionally. So uh, that brings me to whatever uh, the zoo did now. That brings to uh what Mazin Namdekan have been saying and Mazin Namdekan will be vindicated by the zoo theirself just like this man that called for Nigerians to bear arms to defend themselves he has vindicated Mazin Namdekan so therefore Mazin Namdekan has no any question to answer to the zoo court they should release him unconditionally and apologize to him and give him and grant him whatever he's asking to them so that they will hold their zoo and we will hold our nation biafra that is what we are asking thank you very much uh, fellow biafrans uh, that are listening tonight i say me chuko kakabia my guide and protect you may he protect our leader anywhere he is and may he see us through in the mighty name of chuko kakabia he said he said he said good night to biafrans <laughs>